So how about that Wii music? I haven't heard this in a little while. Last time I heard Wii music was probably a shovelware showcase. So it wasn't at all nostalgic for me in any way. Oh yeah, well I guess it's not really music, is it? <laughs> how about the Wii Shop channel? You guys want to check it out? Never mind. <laughs> I can't- I'm not gonna do that now, but it doesn't even work anyway. It shut down. Moment of silence. Um, it is not 3.03 p.m. Uh, this is actually being played on a Wii. It's a real Wii. I mean, we haven't seen this in a while. Now, this is a Wii that someone gave me that they weren't using because my- my Wii's disk drive is busted. It still works. But it's just fucking broken. So I can't really do a whole lot with it. Aside from... You know, like, homebrew. But, uh, anyway, welcome to the stream. Thank you, whoever gave me this Wii. Thank you, whoever gave me Super Paper Mario. I- you know my memory is so fucking garbage. I wish I could remember your names, but you have my thanks. God bless. Um... I've been meaning to play Super Paper Mario for a long time. And I will tell you about this. As I play. I'll tell you my story with this game, because I have a little bit of a story here. And I'd like to let you know that I'm also uh, lowering the volume, and I'm drinking coffee tonight. Yes, coffee at midnight, just about. I'm not going to drink all of the coffee, but I did not sleep very well last night. Had a very long day today. It's, um, this is that, um, the Insta coffee. It's Waka. Waka Flocka. I'm okay. I'm doing well. I'm doing okay. It's just, I'm tired. This is, believe it or not, a surprisingly tasty. Insta coffee. I'm surprised that they did such a good job with it. So yeah, Super Paper Mario, I'm playing this because I've been in the mood for a Mario game in the paper or RPG series. Lehehe. <laughs> oh, you're awake, princess. Huh? Look at the edge crust. Bowser! Whoa. It's like Mario Odyssey came to pass. What's going on here? Yeah, um, okay, so preparations are complete. Mm, then it shall be uh, then it shall be begun. And stuff. Oh, oh I do What? Luigi. What in the world? Eh? What am I doing here? Huh? Is that Princess Peach over there? I don't, I'm, I don't know which Luigi voice should, I should do. Alright, I'll do the Super Show Luigi voice. Fine, fine, fine. I, I can't do Charles Martinet Mario, uh, Luigi anyway. Blank. All precisely is written in the Dark Prognosticus. Already it is unleashed, the Chaos Heart. It's Kingdom Hearts, finally? Oh yeah, um, congratulations, Count. HALT! I meant, um... HALT! And just, who are you? Oh no, I didn't... <clears throat> I didn't give my name to scoundrels! Just watch as Luigi punishes you for your badness! Here I go! Yeah, I'm gonna need you to stop right this second, okay? Oh god, this character. If you interrupt this now... Man, I didn't think I could pick out 2008, but here it is. Here's where Luigi rescues the princess. Huh? The voice is gonna be weird, sorry. It's gonna be all over the place for a couple minutes. Also, I don't have any control over these text boxes speed, so I can't do this at my own pace. I have to just go. Open your mouth, darkness! Consume everything and destroy all worlds, as told in the prophecy. This is a lot more story than I expected from this. And it'll t take me a while to find a voice to do. Oh, wow. Didn't even start the game yet. No, fuck you. I mean, I'll replace them when I damn well please. Mario, help! 
I'm just gonna assume it's a toad. It's a toad. It's shit! It's shocking! Mushroom Castle! Raided! Princess Peach stolen! What? What? Why, that's ridiculous! Ooh, who in the world would do such a thing? You know, just, just think about it for a second, Luigi. Oh, is this where, um, the sword falls from the sky into the castle? A different game. Today is the day that I make my beloved Princess Peach all mine. And if that weren't awesome enough, I'll also stop our little mustache buddies. We're under attack. Whoa, it's our turn. We're under attack. What is this we're under attack shit? Yeah, we're under attack. Oh, we're under attack. You jokers are the best. Uh, Mario and Luigi. How'd you get in here? What? My front gate was open? How many times have I told these idiots? If you're the last in, lock the gate! Oh. Princess Peach? Black. Your princess has been taken by Count Black. Not even Mario's jump. Sure, this game isn't Super Paper Luigi? Big bro! This man deserves ridicule. Weaklings cannot face Count Black. Hey, here's a thought. Can you calm down and free the princess, or else? Black. I'm not doing the laugh. I'm, it's just not happening. Alright, I'll do one. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Black. Count Black's preparations are now in order. All that remains is for the dimensional void to appear as foretold in the prophecy. I, I, I'm already sick of saying the word Black. I've uh, read chat and there's like, I've read like seven or eight different in, in, um, interpretations of how I should be doing Count Black's voice. And that means Count Black is even now beginning from the form of the void. No, I'm not. Motherfucker, we haven't much time. You must come with me. Let us go. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing old lady in Atlantic City smoking cigarettes until death voice. I'll do Jay Leno for the pixel. Hey, how you doing, Mario? It's me, Jay Leno. You got any cards? I busy myself studying musty ancient text to forestall the end of the world. You want to know about these? The hero with the power of eight pure hearts will rise to the task. So it is written. This is Kingdom Hearts. I know very little about Kingdom Hearts, but I do know that this is Kingdom Hearts. Mario, take this and save all worlds from destruction. Nah. What? How can you refuse? If you do not accept this, all worlds will end. You must. Nah. I don't want- I don't wanna. After all I have told you, you still refuse? Y you are our very last soap. Wait, whoa, whoa, what did I say? Hope! Your very last hope! This is the final time I will ask you. Please, save the world. Still no. I see. Well, then all worlds are as good as doomed. Oh. <laughs> Oh no! Oh god, is there a skip cutscene? Well, I... I finished the game at least. I didn't... Listen! I didn't know that was gonna happen. I, I guess I kinda do deserve this. When, hey, well, when, this is like Far Cry before Far Cry. Like when you fucking like... Play Far Cry 4 and you could just like... What, what, what did you do? You, you ate the Crab Rangoon with the guy and then the game would end. And you would just win. Time to overclock? No, this is actually being played on a Wii. For real, this is... on a real Wii. I like how chat doesn't actually believe me. <laughs> they, they don't fucking believe me at all. Until I show them proof and even then still people don't believe me. No, the reason I didn't do this on, on Dolphin or anything like that is because... I was worried about the Wii mote and I don't have the, uh, the sensor. And I, I figured it would make for a nostalgic experience to use a Wii. I regret this decision now. Yeah, I guess I'll replace my batteries. These batteries... 
are in here from the last Shuffleware showcase. So I don't know how long ago that was, but... Alright, so I guess while we're doing this, I can tell you that, yes, I've never played this game. I have played Paper Mario 64. I've streamed Thousand Year Door, like, a long time ago. I can't actually sharpen this any further. This is as blurry as, uh, this is as sharp as it can get. Uh, what else? Oh, oh, okay, so yeah, I played part Paper Mario 64. At one point, I've never completed Paper Mario 64, but I've, I like the game, obviously. Mario RPG, I love. And, uh, I'd like to stream Paper Mario 64 eventually, but I know this isn't the same type of game as the, the previous two games, and I have heard that this game has its own little fan base. Like, at the time it came out, some people gave it a little bit of shit because it wasn't exactly like the previous two games. From what I understand, the game has a bit of a cult following. It's been vindicated. And it's it's viewed as the last great Paper Mario game. And, um... Anyway, before the game came out, I was interested in it for a long time. And I liked the 2D, 3D mechanic, but I just didn't have money at the time. And I was like, oh, I'll just wait for it to go on sale. And then it didn't for years. And by the time it went on sale, I just didn't care anymore. I guess it was like the end of the Wii's life cycle, or around that time, and I just said, Ugh, I'm not gonna play this game now. Yeah, essentially, I I've been waiting to play this game for a while, and then someone gave it to me at a convention, and here it is. Vinny, why are you skipping text? Because, fuck this game. No, I- <laughs> there's people that are just joining now, and they're like, Vinny, why are you skipping text? But the truth is, you just missed me going through this whole thing. And then saying no three times and having to redo all this. The pure heart has been thrust into your possession. It's a legit word. The hell are these, like, block nerds? This is all 480p. It's not great. They actually, apparently there's an HD texture pack for this. It does look a little crusty. It's 480p widescreen and, and uh, yeah, adjusted. Vinny, you could play it on a Wii U. Now, I got that yesterday. People told me I should set up my Wii U for that. I do not want to set up my Wii U for a slight extra bit of non-crust. Um, the Wii U is... No, I'm, I'm good. Someone said, why don't, why don't you play in the HD pack? Well, one last time, this is on a Wii. And, um... If you remember, when I streamed Metroid Prime 2, there was a number of issues. And I, I currently don't have the sensor bar for the, um, the, or a Bluetooth adapter to, to hook up my Wii remote and stuff. So I just, I said, you know what, I'm gonna go OG with this. And I figured it would save us all the headache of me having to worry about, like, crashes and stutters and stuff. It's the power of love! Yeah, I'm talking about the dolphin bar. That's what I was talking about. It's a thing that you can buy. And I, it's, you know, I ordered it. Might not be here for a little while, but... Wow, you look really silly. Where are you from, mister? So future Wii games that require a Wiimote. I'm good. I'm from Brooklyn. Or I was. Until Nintendo decided to retcon Mario's past, and now he's just generic, like, Mushroom Kingdom man. One fortune will cost you precisely five coins! Would you hear it? No. I see your fortune does not interest you, so then be on your way. I have no money. I cannot give you money I do not have. But even more than that... Who are you? I read your future. You will have a headache. Why will it- Why will I have a headache? You will hit lots of things with your head. Never got the headache before? This dimensional door was made to lead the hero to another pure... I almost read that as Pop-Tart. Hey! 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 Listen! Hey! 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 Listen! Let's get going. Now it is just a matter of time until all worlds meet their demise. Black! I think this voice might be a little bit better because he's like a Count. Like Count Dracula. You know? I don't know. We'll see. It it'll evolve. Wow, that's just super, Count! Yeah, first you'll erase all these naughty worlds, then you're gonna build a perfect world without war and all that other key stuff! Sorry I'm late. Huh? Two- there's two of you? What? What in blazing bug rats? 
Alright, I'll beat myself here. What's going on? Me, 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 me. Oh, oh, chunks, you big silly. Did you still have a sleep or something? Hey! You, can, can, you can't fool me with that crazy shape shifting hooliganry. It's me, me, innit? Show a little respect for the count. Yeah, can't go better in his face, lass. But for that to happen, we must follow the instructions of the Dark Prognosticus. Yeah, about that. Just an FYI, uh, I've got an urgent memo for your inbox. I, I, I hate this character. <laughs> Mimi Demetrio, you should tag along. You can witness a proper chunking. Hmm, I do enjoy a good chunking. Well then, I believe I'll head out as well. Cicero is hungry. Cicero wants a sweet roll. Well. I hope you enjoyed the stream. To be continued. No, we got, we got, you know, we're gonna play more. I just stop right before the game starts. That would be a lot of fun. Hey, listen. I feel the pure heart. Tell me about this tree. Tell me about Mario. Point at yourself. I will give you advice on what to do next. Right, the first thing we should do is find Bestovius and learn how to flip. Well, this is an interesting game mechanic that doesn't need to exist, but I'm happy it does in some ways. Um, it's no secret that I don't like motion controls. I'm not a particularly big fan of the Wiimote in any capacity. I thought it was cool as fuck when it first came out, but that didn't last too long. You got some classic Paper Mario noises, at least. There's also some crusty frame rates happening, which is a direct result of, you know, it's just um, streaming it from a Wii. The pointer isn't motion, which is- that's what I meant to say, I'm sorry, I didn't finish my thought. I'm not a fan of motion controls, but pointing at the screen is more or less okay with the Wii remote. And, um, I'm using the Wii Motion Plus Skyward Sword one, the gold one, and it, it's good. It does its job. Shroom Shake. So there's RPG elements. So again, I've never played this. This was going to be a GameCube game, there are barely any motion controls. Oh, really? This is not an empty house. There's something in this room. I can feel it. I can help you find hidden things. Why don't you look around with my power? No! Squiglet card. If you collect an enemy's catch card, you boost the damage you do to it. The more cards, the better. You can boost your power by double, triple, or more. Hey, how you doing? It's me. It's me. Happy. There's a hidden door here. Let me make it visible for you. No, we're not- I'm not doing- I'm sorry. I, there's no way I'm doing a whole playthrough where I'm voicing this thing as Jay Leno. Hey, what is this mega mustache that stand before me? And how did it have the audacity to address my multicolored glory? How did these flimsy whiskers detect my secret door? This I can do as Dr. Light. Flimdity, flam, uh, flum, diggity, uh, daggity, mega man, uh, doom, zip, zippity, zabity, zoom. Shaboom. Flip, flip ow. Press A to slip between the very fabric of space and, uh, flip between 2D and 3D. What is this A I speak of? I assure you that we are being watched from another dimension. Those beings will understand, but you lack the mustache for full comprehension. Us? Is he talking about us? Whoa. Yeah, this is the thing that I thought was cool as fuck. But, it, you know. Triple Mayro, pal pills. Little pals will follow you and damage the enemy they hit. Yo, what the fuck? It's so cool. Oh, the, this enemy... Oh, it can still hurt. Vinny, no, you ran out of time. Oh, oh, I wasn't paying attention to that because uh, I'm a dump ass. That's alright, we're, we're good. I get it now. Those poor Marios did not deserve that. This is as cool as I thought it would be, ten years later. And yet, I'm still also kind of, you know, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. This is a nice game mechanic that... It works pretty well. I like it. I, it might not, you know, last forever. The, you know, it might just be cool for a little while, but we'll see. Defeat enemies to aim point. Oh, Jesus Christ, Dr. Light. I wonder if people that didn't like this game so much when it came out 
Like, I wonder if just retrospect retroactively because of the following Paper Mario games, this ended up being something that they enjoyed. Like, oh, well, I guess this wasn't as bad as we thought it was. That kind of thing. Vinny, I played it recently. I still didn't like it all that much. No. Fair enough. Retroactive enjoyment. Just because the new ones are shittier doesn't mean this one is good. I'm actually surprised at how many people are, um, are shitting on this game. Like, there's a lot of people that were really excited for this, the stream, and now I'm, I'm getting a chance to see some of the other side. Vinny, they're just purists. Well, I mean, it depends on, you know, what type of game you want. If you want Paper Mario, you want Mario RPG, you, you know, this isn't that, obviously. Doesn't seem like it, at least. Um, but, I mean, I... Obviously, if you don't like the game, you don't like the game. If you played it and it sucks for you, you know, that's not really anyone else's business. I mean, you can't really take that away from someone. But, um, like I said, one of the things I noticed was that this game actually does seem to have quite a following. And quite a fan base. And, um, this is actually one of my most requested games over the years that wasn't, a, like, an annoying request. Because there's such a thing as an annoying request. I get those too sometimes, where it's just non-stop. Not even, um, Mother 3 so much. Mother 3 was not that... People were generally pretty respectful after I told them, like, listen, just give me a chance to... Like... Give me a chance to not... How, how do I explain this? After I was done with Earthbound, I said, maybe I will play Mother 3 eventually. But I don't want to play it right away, because I'm done with RPGs for now. And most people were okay with that. And again, I don't mind game requests. I like game requests, because it helps me kind of understand what people are looking for, and also lets me know what games are good. But, um... You know, I stream, like... I stream every day. So I, I can only get to so many games in one lifetime, you know? Um... Why are there so many of them? Jesus. So many baby Mario's dead. I'm not gonna say the specific names of people wanna wanna know what games are specifically annoying. I'm not gonna say the names of the games, because then I'll just get more requests and people, you know are gonna get upset. It's just not worth it. No need to throw any game under the bus. But here's one. <laughs> but here's one anyway. Crayola Scoot. Which is a game I've already streamed. And it's not even good. And I've gotten requests to stream it, even though I've already streamed it. Just because the name, the word Scoot is in it. So... No, surprisingly, not that many requests for Kingdom Hearts, though, um... I, I remember when E3 happened, I said I didn't understand what was happening in the Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer, because I, I don't know anything about Kingdom Hearts. Um... And... I got a lot of shit for just saying I didn't understand the trailer. Oh yeah, well, they're, they're, that's right. Someone just said no matter what, you're gonna get shit for things, of course. But I'm able to kind of, uh, pick from experience the stuff that's most upsetting, so... Wow, New Super Mario's had a huge impact on the rest of the fucking series for a while, huh? Follow me, Tippy said as she flew toward the mountain that loomed ahead. The pure heart was hidden somewhere on the other side. I'm gonna have to put that button away. The Hey Listen button. I feel like this mechanic is like an idea they had for Thousand Year Door that they just held on to. They were like, hey, we'll just do this for the next game. And then they realized, hey, we can focus a whole game around this.
So, people are saying, what the fuck, I never knew this was in the game. Wait, really? How many- there's so many people that didn't know about this. Um, okay. I just- I saw the- the thing there leading to the, uh... Behind the scenes. I was like, oh, that's... I thought that was actually where I had to go. I didn't even realize that was a secret. I just thought that that was the next location I had to go to. I mean, you know, I'm pretty cool. That I could find secrets like this and, you know, just be awesome like that. And then die in baby video games frequently. You know how it is. I don't know if I should go this way or the other way. Um, I guess I can't go this way yet because this is all... That, that, that seems like a different mechanic altogether. Oh. Well, we don't want that to happen. Fallout! There are still people... Wait, there are people that didn't even know about that secret. I, I, you know what? Every secret that I find, someone's gonna be like, Yo! Guaranteed. At least a couple people aren't, you know... Okay, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> don't even... I just, you know, secret hunting. I'm willing to, you know, sacrifice Mario's life for a secret. Which is how I'm able to find these super duper hidden secrets. Though I will likely miss several of them just because of, like, fucking crust blur. But what if the secret doesn't want to be found? Alright then, keep your secrets. Huh? Was this not just in the Wario Land game I played yesterday? Well, this is also in Thousand Year Door, right? And I think the original Paper Mario... Oh, wait, no. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. Get it right, and then uh, I'll let you pass. Sound good? Here we go. What's the name... Uh, what's the most manly color in the entire universe? Red or green? Green. Green? Get out of your mind! There's no way I can let a crazy like you pass! Game over. Wow, he actually beat the shit out of Mario for that answer. And here I was thinking I had discovered a secret. I like that the background is still just a texture on the wall there. It's on the back of the, the area. I mean, it's giving me good memories of Thousand Year Door. Definitely thinking about going into the background of some of those areas and the fucking paper airplane mechanic and all that. I thought that was one of the coolest fucking things ever when I first played Paper Mario on the GameCube. I was like, are you kidding me? How is this game so far ahead into the future? But, um... One day, one day I'll revisit it. I would want to do Paper Mario 64 first, but again, this is all, like, over the next couple years. So please, be patient. Please understand. Vinny, is this legit or emulated? One hard. On 3D under the floorboards. Oh, it's on the Wii. No, um, it's, yeah, see? I guess you can do this menu on the Dolphin as well, but I mean... Here's the thing, if it was emulated, I would be sure to have the, uh, resolution cranked up. And I probably would have downloaded that HD texture pack. So... You know how I am. I like when, when games look good at the, at the cost of, of my sanity. Take Metroid Prime 2, for example. Okay, I've got three pointers I'm supposed to pass on to you. You ready? One, in trouble, flip. Two, something suspicious, flip. Three, feeling saucy, flip. And there you go, now you know. It's nice that they put a vine sauce reference in this game, just like I knew. I just heard this juicy rumor. Apparently the hero knows a secret dimensional technique. Yeah, he uses it to flip to another dimension and find loads of interesting things. Those blocks on my right might not look like much now, but if I were the hero, I might find some secret stuff behind them. And when you see coins, you can use the technique to, like, make more of them. If you see the hero, be sure to tell him to give it a try. What am I supposed to do to make more coins? Or was that just... Oh, do a, f a flip? Oh, fuck. Wow, I just missed out on all those coins because I didn't flip. Flip! Someone just said literally the only thing, and another person said go work at Walmart. There's an interesting video I think I told the chat about not that long ago where I saw 
it was on YouTube. It's some dude that goes to abandoned malls and locations, and he went to, uh... He went to an abandoned Walmart that was built on a fucking dump. And it was, like, sunk into the ground, and it was stinky. And it, it looked... I think it was... It, well, no, it wasn't Dan Bell. But yeah, it was a really good video. It was- it was creepy as fuck. Any of his abandoned mall videos are creepy. And really interesting, I think. Bright Sun Films, thank you. They're so mean. How am I going to get past this obstacle? The throwing pixel, Thoreau, has joined you. Use them to pick up and throw objects and enemies. You can even throw while you jump. Thoreau, get out of here. With me at your side, one may grasp objects with great vigor. Simply press one to use my throwing ability. What's this one, you say? You need not worry. The great being that is watching us will know what it is. Uh... Anyone? You feel like you're being watched? Are we watching them, or are they watching us? Just remember that I can grasp objects and enemies and hurl them with gusto. So wait a minute. They're watching me watch you, and you watch me watch them. I watch you, and you watch me, and you watch them, and you are all together. See how they run. Like pigs from the gun. See how they fly. I'm crying. Sitting on a cornflake. Waiting for the van to come. Semolina Pilchard climbing up the Eiffel Tower. These lyrics are all, like, in my head, but in just the wrong order. Yellow mana custard dripping from a dead dog's eye. What the fuck? Anyway, I'm- I, I wonder if at some point you can get claimed. Like, if they're gonna have a system to get copyright claimed just for saying lyrics to a song. They would if they could, yeah. Oh, speaking of, here, check this out. You're gonna love this. Someone informed me that one of my videos got copyright claimed. Because of crickets. Cricket noises. So the video, I think, was, um... Oh god, getting weird with it. One. And it was the sound of crickets, like, cricking. Or whatever. Let's see what video it was. I'm curious now. It was, um... Quality Android Games Part 1. So there you go. Cool, right? Also, here's another thing that people have been sending me. Thonas versus the May Riai boys. I am Will Winner. Superior train man. Someone said, dude, they have no legal basis for that shit. Fight the complaint. You can't copyright crickets, man. You're as- listen. I'm- I'm feeling you on that one. I'm with you on that one. I can't fight that. YouTube does not have a good system for fighting copyright claims in place. I would- there's no way. They would strike me if I tried to fight that one. Vinny, contact someone, said someone in chat. Listen, I don't mean to be rude, but are you aware of what's happening with the content claim shit on YouTube? It's a losing battle. Completely. It's not even worth it to try most of the time. I'm gonna call the police on the people that claim the cricket noises. Uh, hello, Green, it's me. Watch it. Bruh. I said watch it, watch it! Watch it. I said watch it, not botch it. Ah, the hero brother here wants to get across the bridge. Just get off my rug and go talk to Green at the edge of town. Watch it. Literally named NPCs. This is writing on the, on the level of true detective. Vinny, even the haters, to be honest, that's me, will admit that this may be the best written game in the series. It's fun. I mean... I, I like the... I don't know. It's kind of... It's fun. I don't know if... I haven't seen enough of the game to feel like it was written well yet, uh, necessarily. I got a call from, uh, old man Watch it. He, uh, so you're that hero guy then, huh? Oh, right on, uh, I'll pull the bridge across for you straight away! That's my Danny Wells Mario, uh, Luigi voice. I kinda like that the chapters are divided up into these, like, small, smaller, like, levels. These smaller oh, chunks of levels. Vinny, you hate to seem spammy, but was it Kmart or, or Walmart? I can't seem to find a Walmart vid on his channel. It was Walmart. Trash to Treasure, the abandoned Walmart is the name of the video. From Bright Sun Films. 20 minutes. It's not even their best video on that channel. 
but I thought it was very interesting. There was another interesting video of, like, um, what was once a steel mill, I think? It was on the same channel. It got turned into a mall and just started, like, just failing, and they... they gave up on it. Um, someone said something a minute ago, which was, Vinny, thank you for playing this. I haven't been watching a lot because there, you've been playing games I'm not interested in. And that's, 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 you know, that's how that goes. That is correct. There are times I will be streaming games that people, you know, some people like and some don't. Someone said, yeah, I didn't really like Mother 3. Okay, well that is, I, I'm not going to be measured about this anymore. I'm going to just straight up say that, how dare you. No, but really, it's- that's why I do a lot of different types of games. Like, today we're going from Paper Mario to Resident Evil to fight Mr. Thick. And, um, I'm glad that, you know, I'm- honesty's good. I'm- I'm fine with the, uh, the honesty. I think that's- that's, you know, like Wargroove. Not a- not a lot of people are into Wargroove. I like it. It's probably boring as fuck to watch for some people, but that's all right. Apparently, there is something under this tree. Why did this just appear? You just skipped the entire level? Oh. One of the other things I like about that Abandoned Places channel, like the abandoned malls and stuff, is the music and the ambience. It just feels creepy to look at these places that have failed completely, and it's produced really well. The narration's good. What do you think is the best video? You know, I still have to watch a lot of this stuff. Like, I haven't seen a lot of the channel, but, um... There's this one mall I saw that just popped up on the, um, it was like the autoplay for the channel. And it was, they spent millions and millions and millions of dollars on this mall. It's, it was huge, and it was extremely developed. And then, I don't even know if it was this particular channel. It might have been another channel that popped up. But, um... Rolling Acres? Was that the one? It was like a water-themed... ...mall. Like a nautical-themed mall. But whatever it was, that was really interesting to watch how they put... It was Rolling Acres? Yeah, they put so much money into that fucking thing, and it just failed. And now it's... ...almost abandoned. It's, it, and I didn't even watch the whole video. I need to do that, actually. I might do that tonight. Is this a fucking floating ass? Well, except this one has the ability to flip between dimensions. But I hear Goombas what? What do you hear Goombas? Tell me about Goombas. Tell me, what, what do they say? I hear Goombas do have their fans, so what can you do? They kind of have their fans. Piranha Plant seems to have more fans over at Nintendo. But, that's just me. That's my theory. Put the Wii speaker on the mic for us? Um, I don't really know when that's happening. Can I turn the Wii speaker off? So, will that now play the... Will this now play the sounds on the... ...console? I will hold the controller up to my mouth, so that way you can... You can hear it on the... You can hear... The old signpost. Uh, find ye the tall red palm tree of fortune, and leapeth under its branches ten times. Is that really what I did to find that secret? Wow. Okay. Someone just said, Vinny, you're being way too paranoid with the flipping. And you're using way too many napkins. No, but you're right. I, I definitely want to check every area. Like, I'm really... I'm really into the idea that there's gonna be a secret around every corner. That's the fun part of the game for me so far. Oh, there's other aspects I quite like about this game, too, but that's a, that's a nice thing. Um, I watched a documentary on Netflix. Just a quick recommendation, if anyone's into Stanley Kubrick movies. It's called, um, Film Worker. And it is the story of Leon Vitale, who was one of the characters in Barry Lyndon, which is a movie I love. Not a lot of people love that movie as much as I do, I don't know. But he's, um... He was an actor in the movie, he played Barry Lyndon's adopted son. And then, um, later on in the movie, well, later on in his career, he was like, I want to work with Stanley Kubrick. And he basically gave up his life and his acting career to be Stanley Kubrick's assistant. 
And you have to see the toll it took on him, because Kubrick was so fucking meticulous and such a perfectionist that this dude was working like 18-hour days. But it is a beautiful movie, Barry Lyndon. Uh, anyway, uh, Leon Vitale is... he's great. He was in uh, The Shining. He was in, um... Not The Shining as an actor, but he helped with Stanley Kubrick and, and Danny's performance. He also, um... He actually played the Red Cloak in Eyes Wide Shut. That's his voice. What is the password? And that was like one of his last acting roles, I think. But yeah, when Kubrick died, he ended up trying to like make sure that the estate was preserved, all the movies were preserved, everything was, like, perfect, and he kind of got shunned, but in the documentary you see there's a lot of people that respect the fuck out of him. He just believed in Kubrick's vision so much that he wanted to... he wanted to do everything. He wanted to learn everything, and then he did, and he kind of became... Oh, awesome. He, he kind of became a master in his own right of, you know, tr film transfers making sure these movies didn't get shat on. Anyway, um, really interesting documentary. I obviously like Stanley Kubrick's movies quite a bit, and I think that this would be an interesting one to watch for anyone who, uh, has any a similar interest. What's the documentary called? It's called, uh, Film Worker. It's on Netflix. Check for secrets. Quick, where's the secrets? Vinny, red palm tree secret. I did the red palm tree. This is the red palm tree secret. This is the way to go. That spiky hat makes stomping it or picking it up a very bad idea. I would recommend throwing something at it, or you could just walk on by. Oh yeah, fuck this thing. I wanted to try, you know, I gotta see for myself. I don't, I don't necessarily trust when, um, talking butterflies tell me to do something. I had a dream I was hanging out with Nicolas Cage the other night. Is that weird? He was like, oh, oh, you 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 wanna you wanna go on a boat ride? Oh, you wanna eat an apricot? I said, yeah, Nicolas Cage, I wanna eat an apricot with you. <sighs> and that was it. That's the whole dream. I wonder how many people have dreams about Nicolas Cage on a nightly basis. That's probably a really weird question. You shouldn't have crossed the kite. Yeah, I'm good. I've the chunky. I get chunky on you. You, you're one of the count count Blex thugs, aren't you? Oh, chunks is my name, and I'm no common thug lass. I thug for the count of ch counts Count Black himself. One word from me, Blacky boy, and I, I come to make you feel some damage. Damage? Yeah, I make that damage! Whatever then. Not that it matters a pinch of stew in the sandstorm, you're a goner! I, this wasn't the voice I did before, was it? It's time to thunder down from high and deliver a beat in the ages! Chunk it on! Oh, wait, I mean chunk on it! Me chunks, you failed me! I got pummeled and you barely sweat your brow! Hey, what kind of strange little man are you? This strange little man is none other, none other than the legendary hero Mario. Maria, eh? Tis an odd name, yeah? But you can bet your baby I remember that! You remember this, Maria? If you didn't look like uh, such a wee toddler, I wouldn't have taken it so easy on you. But I, I have to give it up for your effort, so let's call it a tie. You better not get some chunks of your own next time, though, eh? And while you're at it, why don't you wax that bonny stash of your Maria? Till we meet again, eh? Chunks away! Did you understand a word of what that goon was saying? I barely understand the things I was saying. And for some reason, when I read this character's dialogue, I, I read it backwards. Like, I, like no, I mean, I was... <laughs> I was having trouble reading the dialogue, and I, I still don't remember the voice I did. I know it was a little bender. There's like a shitty bender in there. Some say the gas comes from their mouths, some say it comes from elsewhere. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> well, best writing in the series. We've established that. Parcheth, yeah. Pop the distant platform of blue and 
following is for Eyes of the Hero only. Eyes, yeah, at the side of the signpost. Chat, remember, if I don't get the thing, if I don't get the secret or the puzzle the first time I read it, I'm, I'm an imbecile. Just remember that. Uh, yes, a, a troglodyte, if you will. I played this game when I was seven. I, got, I remember all the secrets. This guy is not getting it. Ah, oh, God. The fuck do I even bother anymore watching these streamers? Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, fucking God. Oh, I, I, got, I, I just, I need Tylenol. I mean, he had to do it. There was a secret in there. He didn't do it. He probably didn't even read it. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait, he got it. I mean, I didn't, ex I didn't expect it, because, like, it's a hard puzzle. You gotta, just gotta read the sign, really. <laughs> Mario, I can feel it calling. The pure heart is nearby. But wait, I sense something else emanating from the sand dunes. Be careful now, Mario. Something has the meat sweats. I don't like the setup like a classic Mario game. Four stages, the last one being the dungeon. With the fire ropes, it's kind of cool. I think this so far is a good game. I like it. I like the RPG elements. I mean, I, I don't like it more than Paper Mario Thousand Year Door so far, but... That's a hard... That's a hard game to beat. That's a, that's a tall order, that one. But, um... It, it kind of... It's growing on me more and more. And I do enjoy the... I, I like this mechanic. I thought a real toad was gonna pop out of that. Vinny, have you played Mario RPG? Yes. I streamed that last year. That's one of my favorite games of all time, I'd say. And, uh... Not last year, two years ago. Two years ago. And I, I really enjoyed that stream. Probably like a year and a half ago. Now I don't remember. Vine Sauce. Mario RPG. I really don't even remember when I streamed this thing. My first stream of Mario RPG, according to this here video, is May 15th, 2017. Time flies. Last year I streamed... Um... Uh, Mario and Luigi. First one, Superstar Saga. You kind of can't grab as many enemies as I thought you could without taking some some damage. I mean, it's made of spikes, but here's what I thought was going to happen the few times I've picked up spiky enemies. I thought that the hand was going to not, like, strike Mario with the spikes. But it brings it back to Mario so Mario can throw the thing. I just see, here's the thing, I like that I'm playing a lot of new games on stream. The Full Sauce channel is not new by any means, but... There were a lot of games that I streamed several times because I just wanted to show new people the games. Why would I do that? And, um... The past couple years, I've been playing a lot of games I've never played before. Not just new ones, but old ones too. And it's been... it's been good. It's nice to catch up on some of the stuff that I missed. And, you know, there's probably... In the next couple of years... There's probably gonna be some surprising... ...choices that I make. For streams. Like Cho Anarchy. No, I'm kidding. Um... No way. Mate. Mate, no way. Vinny, have you considered playing... ...uh, Ace Combat? Um, not really. I mean, it's... it's... I like jet games, but I'm not- I've not really played a lot of Ace Combat. The last Ace Combat game I played was on PlayStation 1. Someone said Jet Force Gemini. Jet Force Gemini is... ...better in theory... ...than... Like, I- I actually thought that the game seemed cool... ...but it, it was so repetitive. And it's so long... ...and it's not... I didn't love it. And I was a big Rare fan. I played pretty much everything they put out, but I didn't buy that one. My friend had it, I played his copy. The frame rates were really not great, and... I didn't feel like the, the combat was all that fun. 
here's my- I'm sure this is an unpopular opinion, and I'm sure there's people that love that game. But yeah, it didn't do it for me. And I, I pretty much got whatever else Rare put out on the N64, just not that one. Yeah, that was G GBJ. Yeah. When Kid Icarus, someone just said? Someone's like, PogChamp, when's Kid Icarus? What if I just played Kid Icarus on the NES? I just kind of love that game. But it is bullshit. It fr it's frustrating. Um, I've said this before on stream, but I, Kid, Kid Icarus Uprising is amazing. I've streamed it years ago. There's a chance I could return to it. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to say no to that. But Kid Icarus is the, the original Kid Icarus. Ow. The original Kid Icarus, I have a lot of nostalgia for. And I had a hard time with it when I was a kid, but I realized something. The game gets easier as you play it. The first couple levels are the hardest. Someone said, Vinny, why do you pronounce Kid Icarus like... ...ridiculous? I think that's how you say it. My cousin pronounced it, he said Kid Icarus. He, he was the, the cousin, not the club cousin, but he was the one that was older than me and... ...he got me into video games and he... He got Kid Icarus, and he brought it back, but he called it Kid Icarus, so for years I called it Kid Icarus. And then I watched Captain N, and they just called him- they called Pit Kid Icarus. And I was like, wait a minute, but my cousin can't be wrong. Yeah, he was wrong. Then you should come to my club, Kid Icarus. Palutena goes there. You would love her. Say so far, I mean, in the first couple hours of the game, it hasn't run out of interesting things to do with this game mechanic. Like, they, they really threw everything at the wall. I bet they just had, like, a dedicated, you know, just room where they would just go to. They would drink coffee and they'd be like, okay, what can we do with this 2D, 3D mechanic? Anything you have is valid. Do it. And then they just, you know, suggested, oh, let's do this block puzzle. All right. Throw it in a room! There's an indie game, Fez, that's built around this mechanic, too. Yeah, I think I played that briefly. I know there was some drama around it because Phil Fish... I don't remember... I don't even remember the drama. That's how... I don't, I don't even remember it. Um... I remember the name and the fact that there was drama, but yet I remember no specifics. And I believe I played the game. Or watched someone stream it. My memory is that bad. Yep, it's a big dopey dragon, and it's it's perfect. Intrusion detected. Leave immediately or be purged. Beep. I am error. Nice reference. Press any key to restart. Beep. Flip. 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 It was deliberate. It was deliberate. See. Run query identification. Run insult generator. Go away. Yeti lip. Control alt delete. Yeah. It, it is of its time. It was like, hey, let's do. Let's do Mario with, like, you know, with things that people recognize. I don't mind it so much. Not yet, at least. Let's see. I know there's, like, one particular moment in this game that was screen-capped a lot and, and on the internet quite a bit. I just don't remember which one. It was, like, a peach line, maybe. Oh, complaining about video game forums, right. Complaining about games you've never played on video game forums. And that was over 10 years ago that that fucking line went, I guess, viral. Jesus. We fucking shadow the Colossus now. Vinny, have you seen Meet's Two Brothers? Yeah, the spoons? Uh, I've seen it. That game has been requested many times. Oh, wait, no, the meat picture. Yeah, the, the meat picture, yes. Spoons? Explain. You want to know about me and the boys watching spoons in the microwave? But yeah, here are the the various meats. I don't know. This image kind of went all over the place. This has nothing to do with me. This image. It's just it's been sent to me a lot. It's good that meats are getting a little bit of attention. Not just the one meat, but meat and his brothers. It's nice. Mamma 
me, uh, my hair and my mustache is a different color in later games. So, I have this uh, new sensor bar that I'm using. I'm not using the Wii sensor bar anymore, I'm using the, um, the dolphin bar. And yet, it's not producing a signal. Is there anything special I have to do on this thing to get a signal from it? It's just, this is less wires. I figured I could just use this since I have it now. Uh... Alright, just give me one second, I've got an instruction manual. If you need instructions, check the enclosed instruction booklet. That's all you need. I don't need to actually do any real commentary, I could just say that. And then people, they wheeze. They pant. They laugh. At a great volume. Weird. It's now, like, blinking. I don't know if it's supposed to be blinking. I depart! Alert Count Black! I, I thought... I thought he said Albert Count Black, like that's his full name. Albert Count Black! When this hero is no more! Ha ha ha, Black. So, you finally woke up, huh, Princess? Oh, uh, you guys. Are you all right? Yeah, but who knows what happened? That was one crazy wedding! If you get a pure heart, you can choose to visit specific sections in each chapter. First, to Merlon's place. Okay! I'm gonna throw off my cliff! I'm a dead! Scan NPCs for lore? Well, here's the problem. The fucking sensor bar is not working again. I think it has to get a sink before it works. Like, it has to maintain a sink. Okay, well, the good news is... The Wiimote... Um, the set, the, it's working. But it's my mouse now. I am now using a Wiimote as the mouse on my computer. But, yeah, no, this is, this is ridiculous. Okay. I'm gonna just use the Wii sensor bar then, instead of the dolphin bar. Sorry, everybody. Sorry. Just bear with me a moment. Vinny, to use it with the emulator, you want to set it to mode 4. I'm not actually emulating this, though. I just wanted to use the sensor bar for its signal. Yeah, I'm actually telling the truth, chat. This is the one time I'm truthful about not using an emulator. Very well, then. So it will be. I will gaze into the future. All stars that fill the vast night sky, see this soul who lost the way. SHOW ME! I see your destined path. I see the second floor of Flipside. You go to Marla- God damn it! Yeah, sure, I got it. What a ripoff. Where are you going? I don't know, maybe I should use the fortune teller again. How about some lore on the NPCs? Um... Nah. Maybe some of them. I can get you some- some lore. Best I can do is one out of every five NPCs. I can see from your feces that, uh, it went well indeed. Let's head back to my house so you can tell the details. Please step right in. Tonight's stream is a shit show. See, there was- it was a setup and a, and a payoff. Um, so... How was it, dear friends? Did you find a pure heart? Yeah. What? Lady Merlumina? You were well met. She is an ancestor of mine. She was the one who wrote the Light Prognosticus to counteract the Dark Run. Merlumina and those who followed her built this town on rock and roll. Y you see, um, um, uh, you see, a girl fell out of the sky. So it shall be. And you, Mario, come along. We may need your presence as well. Look closely, Mario. Look more closely. This looks like a bootleg Simpson that you might see on a shirt somewhere. In like... A country that doesn't actually sell Simpsons properly. This character has the deepest lore. That's Nora. She was born and raised in Flipside and she loves the town dearly. She's so dedicated. She cleans these streets every day out of goodwill. That's more lore than I expected. What's the matter? Oh. Princess Peach! So this is the princess that Count Black kidnapped? Yeah. Someone asked, what did Mario's O mean? 
Well, Mario's a plumber. There's different O's. There's a different language between New York plumbers um, and New York garbage men. It's not the same language. His O was, I recognize this person. It is my friend, Princess Petch. And then sometimes he goes, oh, which means, hello, Luigi. It is I, your brother, Mario. I've uh, come here to rescue you. And then there's, oh, which means, uh, stuff. Buy a fire thing? Yeah. Right, I haven't spent any money in this game aside from a shitty fortune, so why not? One shop point. Nice. It's like subway points. You spend $200 at Subway and you get one free pickle. I actually uh, ended up earning a free sandwich at Jersey Mike's. That took like a year, but they're good, so it was worth it. Have you met my Walter? The old dear's eyesight is going, I'm afraid. He can't make faces out, and he tends to yell a fair bit when he's hungry. I have to admit, though, when he gets hopping mad, he gets mighty hunky. What? Vinny, do you get it Mike's way? I do get it Mike's way. That's Gladys. This sweet elderly lady supports her husband, Walter. This happy 78-year-old fills her days by f frantically caring for her hubby. Where did that nice young m garbage man go? Just flipped out of existence. Oh, hello, sweet Gladys! Is the food ready yet? What? You're not Gladys! Are you great grandma? I know the Paper Mario community um, was told of my existence as a result of me streaming this game, which means that there will likely be several people who have never watched me stream before watch this because their uh, Paper Mario game is being streamed. So, all of the streams are like this. I'm not sorry. Please tell me you've tried one of Saffron's delectable desserts. They're amazing. Now they're not all like this. I'm serious, they're so delectable. If you haven't tried them, you're insane. I'm happy the Pat Mario community has decided to show up for my stream, even though this is an invented scenario in my head that's probably not 100% accurate. But I, I want to thank you all, all of you, for supporting me, for joining from the Paper Mario community in this invented scenario. Turn back now. Sorry about the weight, sugar, but it turned out just right. This ought to wake up that sleeping beauty of yours, sugar. Get it to her just as quick as you can. All right, but why do you have a 3D? Why do you have a DS? This is a DS Lite. I had one of these. Dining Specializer. Oh, DS. I've shared my story about my um, DS Lite, where I got it to replace that ugly-ass first generation DS model and I was so excited about it it looked so good and it was so it was just such a nice system to hold and, and play and then um, I was getting out of a car I had it on my lap and I opened the door got out of the car and it dropped onto the pavement onto the uh, the street asphalt and cracked and and it was it was heartbreaking is what it was uh-huh, this look you are sporting, is this what the kids call in? Now that is for moi. I shall incorporate this into my next brilliant creation. Oui, oh, oui. The trendy elements, I must add them more and more, for that is what the creators do. That's Sacre, <laughs> like Sacre Bleu, the artist. His art style was once very daring. Now he wants commercial success, though, so he just paints landscapes. But his artistic spirit still burns with it. Oh boy. That lore. She's gonna be called Bleu, isn't she? That's Sakurai's daughter, Ellie. Oh fuck. Well, never mind then. I thought it was gonna be Bleu. Not Jostle. The young Bart Simpson. Peach is barely hanging on. And here I am learning about Sakurai and Bleu. Tippy's telling me all the secrets of the town folk. This particular member of the town has a porn stash hidden under his bed. And it's just like a little mustache that he puts on his face and he looks in the mirror. It's just a... Anyway. 
That's Princess Peach. She's the princess of the Mushroom Kingdom. She's unconscious now. I just learned that because of you, Mayro. Oh, Mario, what do you suppose happened to Luigi and Bowser? Do you think Bowser's finally gone? And we never have to worry about him again, ever? Because that would be great, actually. I can't believe Bowser's dead. I definitely suppose you're right. Where'd the word definitely come from? Hmm, I suppose you're right. There's just no way to know. Why did my mind invent definitely? Now you can control not just Mario, but Princess Peach as well. Really? I didn't know you could do that. You can float, and you can guard. Okay, bye Mario. Ah, oh, she can't... She can't fleep. Is there... Is there a quicker way to... Just one and two at the same time. You must look closely for the secret area. And then look more closely. I always like those thought experiments of like trying to imagine yourself on a flat plane. Yeah, the, the book Flatland. I, I never read it, but I know what it's about. I guess that's extended reading for anyone who's interested in this sort of thing. <laughs> if you're interested in flat planes, then uh, read Flatland, I guess. Hey, Vinny. This is a... Uh, Scalib from Audible, and we heard you talking about Garbage Men. Oh, and we really like that, so we want you to promote our product. We're gonna do a sponsorship so that people can read Flatland for three dollars off. Vinny, we really like that Sunday stream where you accidentally showed a pixel dong. We thought that was like the the height of comedy, and that's why we're offering you a sponsorship. Dollar Dong Club dot dong. Trading cards. Cool, I guess. There's 256. Are people going to be mad at me if I don't get all the cards? Because I'll be actively avoiding cards from here on out. Getting cards of enemies actually gets you damage multipliers based on how many cards you have of it. Oh. Mike Love is gonna sue for using copyrighted materials. Which I mean, when I say copyrighted materials, I mean the word love and hearts. So a lot of people are saying mute chat for this. So, chat, I'll just ask now. Don't spoil any of the solutions unless I specifically ask for help. I would really, really appreciate that. It'll make my playthrough much, much more fun. And, uh... I don't want to have to mute the chat. So just, you know, don't spoil any of the puzzles or whatever. whatever. Oh, you fuck! Man, Mario's ability is so much cooler than Peach's. Being able to float is nice, but... Having an entire game mechanic based around a character. Oh, uh, for anyone who's for anyone who mentioned the new Tool album in the past couple days, it, there was some discussion. It, according to um, oh fuck, according to wrong button, Maynard, the album should be coming out sometime this year. I think they said like May. Even though Danny Carey said that it was definitely coming out in 2018. Definitely. Tool is, is like the Duke Nukem Forever of music at this point. Or the Half-Life 3. They should just call their album Half-Life 3. I'm thinking the reason... Also, Maynard is kind of adversarial against Tool fans, because there's a lot of Tool Tool fans. And, um, I think I haven't... I know why he is. It's because his, his name is actually Manyard, but everyone's saying it wrong. I know, I'm just- it's just one zinger after another. Quality entertainment and commentary here on this stream tonight. Notorious Piranha Plant. It's a monstrous flower that lives in pipes. Max HP 2, attack is 1. The strange weed will stay low if you, and, uh, if you cozy up to the side of its pipe. This plant will also one day be in Smash Brothers. Which is still really weird. Oh, Smash Brothers spoilers, everybody. Sorry. This is not the same Peach voice from Smash Brothers. Ooh! 
Listen, I tried. I tried plenty of times. It was worth a shot. Someone in chat just said it sounds like Charles Martinet is doing Peach's voice in this game. Hot girl alert! Oh god. <laughs> we must have been fated to meet. Yes. You are my destiny. Please go out with me. Hee <laughs> hee, what a silly man you are. I'm very sorry, but I really must be somewhere. Where? Merley's mansion? I wouldn't go there if I were you. You'll get trapped there and bad things will happen. Trapped bad things? What are you talking about? Oh man, oh man, oh man, I don't even want to remember it. But now that you're with me, you don't have to worry all about that, baby. Because I am your fate, your destiny. Ah, uh, thanks for the info. If I don't come back, will you perhaps try to save me? You know, like a certain mustachoid man used to do? Well, this is a weird room. Whoa, hot plumber alert! There are two things I hate. Old dudes with mustaches, and old dudes without mustaches. <laughs> so take a hike, old dude! Go up the road to Merley's mansion, will ya? <laughs> yeah, Mario's like... he's like 23. It's a very young, old-looking man. And Nintendo just loves this mechanic. I know I said that last time, but... Someone at Nintendo's like, WE MAKE HIM BIG! So that's the new mechanic for the game? Yep! Okay, well we have this other new Mario game that we're working on as well. What are we gonna do for that one? WE MAKE HIM BIG! Alright, I guess you heard- you heard John Tendo. This is a slow flower. It temporarily slows time to a crawl. You'll earn triple points and coins while it's active. Okay. Okay. I like when Nathan Fielder talks to someone and they say something particularly horrendously dumb and he just looks at them with this blank expression on his face and he goes Okay. Just lets them continue digging whatever hole they're digging for themselves. I need your body. Wasn't that a line in the room? Hey babe, I need your body. Uh, did I just sequence break? It's not really doing me any favors. That bizarre creature is a slurp. It has tough skin and an appetite for everything. Max HP is whatever. Attack is two. Defense is I don't know. No attack will work. But slurps are just as fragile inside as they are tough on the outside. Maybe you should try feeding it something that would give it indigestion. This room, there's something about this room. That's a switch. Oh shit. I know what a switch is, Luigi. Oh, I mean, butterfly. That is slurp juice. No, oh, what the hell actually is this? That troublesome creature is a Gromiba. It can clone itself over and over again. Max HP is two, attack is one. If you defeat the main one, the clones will die. The primary one has slightly different moves and looks... So watch closely. If you don't want to bother, you could defeat them all with an item. There's a crack in the wall. It might break open if you explode something near it. Do I have any... Let's see if I have any explosion devices. I have fire bursts. I don't think that would work. Maybe if I throw a big egg at the wall? I'll be fine. Spoom. Good vibes. Them vibes set off my blow stuff up sensors. You like exploding? Spow. I ain't sensed real good blow up stuff vibes in like 1500 years. Spoom. Gotta check those vibes out a little more <laughs> close, like... Crack! Check it out, just answer a couple questions real quick. Splam! Okay, spoom! Here we go, Splamo! Oh god. You stay up wondering if anyone ever gives presents to Santa Claus? Yeah, totally! 
For some reason, you clean your room before a test? Absolutely. When someone says, let's just be friends, you think, yeah, whatever. And how? You don't really understand why I'm asking you all these weird questions. Truer than true. You think shopping online is a wonderful and magical experience? Right. On. You once put a shirt inside out but didn't bother reversing it before going out. Yeah, I remember that. You want to be sleeping when you're awake, but when you're tired, you want to wake up. Yeah, actually. Boomer. Use Boomer's power to blow up foes and destroy blocks. Boomer's really into the Beatles. Um, Stanley Kubrick movies. Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin. Each second explodes into the next. Spammo. Bombs away. Spoom. Oh, he loves- yeah, he loves the game Jackal as well. <laughs> I bet you want to, uh, stop hearing that noise. Did I just use the wrong item? Time to restart. That shroom was the auto-heal one die. So... Okay, wait a minute, so... Alright, so you have a choice, you can use it... ...or it will revive you when you die. That's cool. Man, I'm glad I did that. It works like fairy- yeah, 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 like fairies in, in Zelda, but still. Still. Yeah, it reminds me of Bobbery. From other Pat Mario game. I wish the, um, the flip mechanic recharge was a little faster. Just take the damage. That's a Churbill. It's a nasty gas bag that spews a plume of sleepy gas. Max HP 5, that gas will put you to sleep, so don't go sniffing it. Some say the gas comes from their mouths, some say it comes from elsewhere. I've already read this one, but I, I just like it. Oh dear. Oh god! Oh my- oh my god! Wait, can you throw the bomb? Or you can only place it down? I think it's funny how, like, I am both the best at finding secrets ever, so that veterans of this game are like, uh, Vinny, how did you find that? I've never found that. And other times, people are like, how did you miss the most obvious secret? Wacky watch that stops enemies in their tracks. Attention, all Paper Mario gamers. Princess Petch needs your help. She needs you to use the wacky watch to slow down time, stop the enemies, and and also she needs your money. That's right. She needs them digits on that credit card and those three wacky numbers on the back. But act now before it's too late. Otherwise, Count Albert Blecula will win. This is a joke. No, this is a joke. I know, I'm not fucking with you guys. I want to level up so I get a full heal instead of wasting a healing item. I haven't leveled up in a while. Also, did I miss something already? Next level, 60,000. I am currently at... F Just about to get that level. I fell for the, the peer pressure of, Vinny, please turn that noise off. Meanwhile, I'm just about to level. Well, hi there. Big welcome. Welcome to Merle's Mansion. I'm Lady Merle's Handmaid. My name is Mimi. But you can call me Mimikins if you want. You're, you're here to see Lady Merle, aren't you? How super for you while well, Lady Merle is on the second floor in the farthest room. Just head up there. Head on up there whenever you're ready. Oh, golly, but listen. Don't you dare go into any other rooms by accident, or else. Enjoy your visit, okay? Why have I heard the name Mimi before in this game? That's Mimi. I guess she works for Merle. There's something odd about her, though. Let's keep an eye on her. 
chat's going mental over this character already. They love- they love her. Meanwhile, it's just like three blocks on top of each other. What the fuck is this? You ain't get me. You ain't. Sleep. Just looking at my phone. Let me know when I'm about to die. AirPods mean? Oh, right, yes. I can't tell where it is! Jump on it when you're too d Okay, I don't know why I wasn't doing that, actually. This is number three. Man, I've had some really bad experiences in the past couple days with restarting moments over and over and over again. Resident Evil comes to mind in particular. Okay, we're properly lined up. Wow. Also, that Wargroove mission that I failed, that campaign mission that took almost an hour, I did it again, um, last night. And it was, you know... It was hard. It wasn't an easy one. But it was fun, and I did it. I completed the mission. Some of you will know which mission I'm talking about. It's where you get to play as, um, Nuru and Mercia, and you have to escort Mercia with air units across the map. But it was- it was a good mission, and you just have to use a lot of air units properly. And then it's not so bad. And- and you get a wagon over there, too. Then you did this backwards? Oh. Just sequence breaking the fuck out of this game tonight. Ha! Huh. Order come. I think order come will go down in history as the best vine sauce meme of 2019. Oh, right, there's a hole there. Blowjob chapstick is gonna go down in history as the best 2018 meme- on uh, 2019 meme. What exactly is blowjob chapstick? I wasn't around for that one. Mentally, I mean. No, um... Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, but... Yeah. Now, or or order com is one of those ones that... I'll reference, like, a year from now. And seven people will know what it is. Um, I like Mr. F Mr. Friend from Resident Evil 2. Mr. Friend is good. I like- it's not really a meme, but I just enjoy Mr. Friend. <laughs> it's just like a good name for the character. I like that. Mr. Thick, not so much. <laughs> Though I did- I did say Mr. Thick by accident one time. I know most people won't believe me when I say that, but I- it, it was actually an accident when I said Mr. Thick instead of Mr. X. And it just stuck. Dummy Thick. Desert, was that you that said that? Did you do the, the snake voice? That was your voice? Can you link that real quick, Desert? You do a good snake. I gotta give you credit for that. <laughs> Colonel, I'm trying to sneak around, but I'm Dummy Thick. And the clap from my ass cheeks keeps alerting the guards. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's just the way you... I don't know, it's like... It's terrible. <laughs> I hate it. It's a good cartoon version of Snake. Yeah, I've seen the Leon version. It is now deemed from this point forward that all video game releases will have a dummy thick version of it. Vinny, you missed out on all the Mimi text? No, I was talking about Dummy Thick and Order Calm. You got all the Mimi text. With dread dangling like a broken chandelier, <laughs> our heroes hurry through the corridors. With, um... I, I like that. That was a good analogy. With danger dangling like a Q-tip too close to the inner ear canal. Yeah. You broke it! You broke my most favorite phase! Doofuses! 
I love that face more than anything, and you broke it. Yarg! Oh, you'll pay for that. Yes, you will. I'll have you know that that vase cost one million rubies. One million rubies. So hand over that money now or you're done for. I don't even have a ruby. Rubies? Oh, I don't believe Mario carries any of that particular currency. I don't suppose those are anything like coins, are they? Coins? No one uses coins anymore, you peasants. I spit on your coins! So, what are you saying? Are you telling me that you don't have any rubies at all? Well, guess what? You're just gonna have to work it off, then. Until you work off your debt, you naughty little things. I own you! Enjoy labor. So, yeah. Yeah. So you can earn rubies in the generator room on the top floor. Once you earn 1,000, 1 million rubies, you come back, uh, pay it off in the room in the back. You can also check the balance of your debt there, so get to work, servants. Dropping in for kicks. You don't need anything? Well, golly. Then how about get lost right now? I have work to do. I love you. Yeah, well, that's just super. You know what? I love rubies. Go get me some, slacker. Why is that an option? They know. Yeah, I suppose. Colonel, there's this feeling deep down in my groin. I think I pulled it. No, Snake, that's just love. Love? Didn't Mike Love from the Beach Boys copy that copyright that in 2018? That's right, Snake. And now the world is... A bunch of copyright mercenaries copywriting anything they can for kicks. It's like that time they copyrighted crickets. Those poor bastards didn't know what they had coming to them, Snake. Oh, it's true. My, uh, one of my videos got a copyright strike from a company who claimed the sound of crickets chirping. Snake, it's a different world. You know who copyright claimed it? Merlin. You know who that is? The character in this game. Merlin is a copyright troll, by the way. But I never, I never met Marley, and now I'll never see my sweetie again. Cruel fate, jump, little fleas. Whoa, holy shit! Paro, let my people go. What the fuck is this shit? Work those skinny little flea legs, make it burn. Jump like you mean it. Boss Mimi hates the dark, like she hates Brussels sprouts. So work it. More power. See, that's why I love Brussels sprouts. So, you know... Me and Mimi can never get along. Another day, another ruby! Ah, rubies are life! Ah, yeah! Jump, ruby! Jump, ruby! When you're done jumping, come talk to me, I'll tell you how many rubies you earn. Oh, and watch out for our motivational sparks that travel along the floor! Want your rubies, do you little flea? Well, fine. For your utterly average work, here's an average sum of rubies. 33. Alright, well, if, if you do the math, um, it would probably just take about, like, seven or eight hours to, to get the required one million. I need 10k to get the best info. Hey, new gerbil, you wanna learn a little secret? Yeah, I bet you do. Just slip me a hundred rubies, I'll tell you something good, honest, it's prime info. What do you mean, you don't trust me? You must lead a sad little gerbil life if you can't trust people. Looking for some, uh, looking for some pep? Then grab a mushroom and get your energy back up. Just bash that block there to produce a, a delicious mushroom. Each one costs 10 rupees, mind you. But that's how I make my living, so eat it up. Mmm, uh, juicy! Eating mushrooms is the only pleasure allowed in this horrible factory. I don't know if I could go on without my sweet little fungi. I want the drug. Please give me the drug, Mr. Fungi. Fun guy. How is my day? Um... There's a pizza place that does Zeppelis. So I had, uh, pizza and Zeppelis. And then I had, um... And then I lost all of my energy, because that food saps the energy out of you. Someone just wrote MMO Simulator. <laughs> this is really cool. Whatever the hell is happening here. I want the info. Your mom taught you to trust strangers, huh? Yeah, solid parenting right there. Well, turns out she was a smart cookie. I'm gonna give you the VIP room passcode. Secret code is... 5963. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Stupid bitch. 
I love things with seahorses on them. Seashells. Indians in the TP. Get real. Five, six, four. Sorry. It's drinking out of cups is so ingrained in my fucking mind. Drinking out of cups. Mr. Balloon Hands. Whoa. Run, gerbils. The fuck? Round and round and round she goes when re while I'll retire. Nobody knows. Big boss. Big boss Mimi hates the dark more than old ham. So move those gerbil legs. Power up! This is the VIP generator room. Running a wheel, make some vaults, earn some cash. Yeah, major upgrade from that other room. You'll earn crazy rubies in here. Ugh. So, a new gerbil, huh? Hungry for rubies, gerbil? You wanna work here? Great, great. Just hang on for one second for me. Move, gerbil. Move, you know? Ah, sometimes I wonder why I do this, but it's simple. Work for fat, work is fan. You ready? Good answer. Now get in there, gerbil. Move. It takes 9.5 hours on this wheel to do this part legit. 9.5 hours? It's a shame I run out of things to talk about. If I would have known, I would have saved, like, one of the things. Uh, rumored Nintendo Direct, February 13th. It could happen. It could happen! <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little tired. Yeah, there's a rumor that Animal Crossing is gonna get a Battle Royale mode. Getting late, too. I gotta... <laughs> I gotta stop. I mean, 4K more gets me a really good tip. What the hell is this stuff? Sniff, sniff. I smell rubies up ahead and lots of them. See these electrified barriers? They'll turn you into roast gerbil surprise. If only I had me one of them slenderizing pixels I heard about. You heard of them? Use one of them, you turn sideways, makes you practically invisible. I think that there's one of these things stashed somewhere in this mansion. So there's several ways to do this then. Know the secret? Cause I do! So, do you know the secret part? Well, do you? Pard. If in you close your peepers and imagine real hard that the world's gone. Why, it's just about the biggest darn thrill ever. Well, my senses are telling me that you're the hero. Whoa, hey, well, welcome, pard. Got some bad news, though. Look to me like you're a bit lacking in thrills. I can't give my power to anyone who's too skinny in the thrills department. So here's what we do, pard. I'll recharge your thrill gauge over the next 10 seconds. You ready? Here you go. One, two, three, five, four, seventeen, three point one four, one Marzillion ten. Now you're all chargeified, pard. Yepper. Now you got your thrills. Now remember, we pixels got loads of power, so you best be real careful with us. We had a little dubstep with that. We had a little dust up with them ancients 2,000 years ago, but we're pards now. So let's go have us some thrills, huh? Come on. No, I, I, I want to actually see what's up ahead. I'm too invested to stop now. But yeah, this is this is just an ability from Thousand Year Door, isn't it? What? Oh, you- oh, you're invisible when you stand still. Sorry, I just did- bra it's almost 4 a.m. Like, I read the cowboy stuff, but then... Just didn't, didn't quite happen. 10k guy gives you the code. Eight. Six, six, fruit. I'll just guess. Um, hey chat, what's the code? It's random? Vinny, it's the wacky numbers on the credit card. Uh, 
You need, anyone want them wacky digits? So, you're finally awake, huh? Same as us. And that thief over there. Yeah, I'm crossing the board. Er, B-O-R-E-D. Fuck! So goddamn close. I can't believe this game wanted me to grind on a hamster wheel for this long. Very delectable info. Listen. Okay, Mimi was napping. I heard her sleep talking. She whispered, 4126-2816. 4126-2816. Think it's her boyfriend's phone number or something? What could it mean? Is it her birthday? Is it a winning lottery number? That wasn't random. People, some people said that. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is there really a way to do this without having to grind for the rubies? Yes, looking up the code. Yes, if you reuse the code. Oh, I thought there was... Okay, I thought there was an extra area in the mansion. There, uh, like, people typed it in chat, but... Just scrolling up, and now people are typing Jape numbers. Some of these don't even have all the digits. Fucking hell. Now you are the Pap Mario. Um, yeah, I'd like to pay off. Super, let me, uh, just take all those rubies off your hands. There you go. Well, thank you so much for paying off your ruby loan in full. What? How did you earn enough rubies to pay it off? That's not supposed to happen. No, you've broken my wonderful curse. Yeah, I'll get you. Ah. Uh. So that young imp put a curse on this mansion then? But who was she really? I'm worried about Merle. We must hurry to her aid. Nope. We're ending on the splode. By the way, that's the name of, um, this pixel, Boomer. Like, that's the real name. Boomer's a nickname. Real name, Splode. Okay, we, we're gonna work up a sweat. Here we go. Yeah-hoo! Nice and wet. Alright, perfectly normal way to start a Paper Mario stream. Uh, last time... We- we had a debt of a million rubies. And then I paid them off. And this is exactly where we were, so we just got done paying off the one million rubies, as I said, and... Now... We go. There you go. Alright, thanks for watching Super Paper Mario, stream is over. My least favorite aspect of this game, I, I like this game quite a bit, but I also can get why people uh, rag on it a bit. The thing I like least about this game is the invisible stuff that you just have to randomly point to find. I mean, I get why some people would like it because it's like a treasure hunt, but I don't, I don't really love it.
It's not killing the game for me by any means, it's just one of those things. Oh, I didn't find the thing because I didn't point my Wiimote at the screen. Um, luckily, it hasn't happened a whole lot, so I hope it doesn't happen more. Someone just wrote, pointing was epic in 2007. A lot of, you know, a lot of Wii games, they had to uh, figure out something to do with the, with the Wiimote. And so, yeah, that's what they did. They just, they made it epic. Someone just said, dead air. You watch my streams enough to know I like dead air. Say stuff. M the equivalent of me saying stuff, just to say stuff, is like... ...putting, like, pointing moments in a video game that doesn't need them. Because you have a Wiimote, and you may as well. It's a Mr. Eye. These bizarre foes can't help but give you the evil eye. Max HP is whatever. Attack is two, and it will shoot sharp glances at any enemy it spots. None of your attacks will work. Try flipping and spinning around and around it. I knew that from Mario 64. Speaking of... Have we seen this motherfucker since Mario 64? Because I love that this enemy is in this... Mario Party? Oh, okay. So it was in... It was in Mario Party and, and Super Mario Paper Mario. That's the name of this. Super Mario Paper Mario is the real name of this. Hang on a minute. Super Mario Land 5. Super Mario Paper Mario. 64 DD Mario Land 5 Super Mario Paper Mario 64 32B 6 golden coins new <laughs> fine fine if you want new funky mode we'll fine new funky mode for you yes I'll gladly part with that purest pure heart hmm but there is a wee fee yes yes 10 million rubies. Quite a bargain, you agree? So, folks, if you'd be dears, sign this dotted line here, and it's yours free and clear. Nope, fuck you. <sighs> Fine, you bargain hard. I'll also throw in Breadward, a pixel made of oats and lard. Isn't that so nice of me? I'm the best, don't you see? Yeah, I'll take Breadward. Good, good, yes, rejoice. You've made a wise choice. No, it can't be so. What have you forgot? I have I I've warned you, did I not? This is not the real me. I am elsewhere, you see. Yeah. Noises all in your head, visions, nonsense. I said, pay attention to me instead. Just sign this contract here, and you'll be done, dear. I wanted Breadward. Good choice for my sake. This Merley's a total fake. But listen, not she is a snake. Golly, I was hoping we could settle this peacefully, but too bad. What a surprise! My son, Alucard, is off skateboarding! And he would approve of this situation. True Mimi, come forth. Yep, don't like that. Some exorcist shit. Oh no, you're gonna turn to a spider? Oh, that's gross! Me, 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 Chat, think about how many chat members wanted to eat her ass. Last stream. People were all like, oh, Mimi's so cute. Eat the spider ass, everybody. Yuck. I must suggest you flee. Come and find the real me. I am hiding. Look and see. If you can, my magic may weaken her and win the day. Hurry, hurry, don't delay. X gon' give it to you. See the inner workings of Mimi? It's like a mechanical spider. It's it's so weird. Visions of Wild Wild West come to mind. Oh right, limited inventory. Big boo. Big bag. Oh, atomic boo. There's one enormous boo. Max HP 10, attack is two. It will follow you until you turn around and then it just disappears. I keep expecting it to rhyme. It has a lot of HP, so you may want to use an item when your back is turned. Some say this boo is huge. A huge, massive ball of many smaller boos. Some- Some say this boo is huge. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's what I thought I was gonna say. Like, who's arguing that this thing is a massive unit? Ma Mario, what are you doing in here? Oh shit, someone's phone number. Flush- th I thought I was gonna say flush thick. Flush thrice after use, Germ Prevention Society. 
Whoa, what? Haunted toilet? Really? He <laughs> he you found me, the real Merly. I shine on, such is my lot, a son to those fate who me brought. Wait, Merly was poop? The pure heart I quickly took and hid where she would never look. Is there like a poop fly circling around Merly? Mimi! Mimi, 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 Mom, the heart. Stop pretending to be me. Everyone knows you are Mimi. Big pig. Chow cow. Oh my god. Hee hee hee. You're a fake, you stupid fake. We all know that you're the snake. It's on, Con. What? It's the 66th sixth annual That's My Marley Show. How are you folks doing? Let's get going. You're gonna ask these two Merleys a total of five questions. Listen closely to those answers, cause at the end you gotta pick the real one. Oh, but that's not all. Pick wrong and there could be some disastrous results. Now for our first question. Uh. What the fuck? What's the best smell? Hmm, this one is sort of off the beaten path. What is your favorite smell? Fresh air, I swear. Old cheese, yes please. Oh, very interesting. Now for the next question. What do you wash first? Ooh, this question is a little risque, folks. What is the first thing you wash in the bathtub? Oh, okay. Not that you should care, but I wash my bangs of hair. I start with the tile mold, then the faucets, hot and cold. Oh, indeed, indeed! Time for another question. The fuck? I, what do you want most? What a great question! What do you want most right now? Crystal ball, the newest kind. Nice ones are hard to find. I want a boyfriend, please. I'd love a guy to squeeze. What are you into? This one's about hobby. Oh, right. Hob hobbies, of course. All right. Now, here's one for the ages. What is your best feature? The lobes of my perfect ears. They've got voted by my peers to be lobes of the year. Well, that would have to be my effervescent personality. People seem to love it. See? The fly has returned. Well, folks, those were all five questions. So, which one is the real Merley? Search your minds. Let's have a guess. Well, enough suspense. Let's see if the one you picked is the real Merley. A fateful moment, folks. I'm on pins and needles. Ding! Right! How would you know? I guess I'll congratulate you by tearing you into little bits like stupid confetti. Oh my god. No, no, not again. These fucking sounds. Oh, it's like the thing. Oh, I got the meat sweats. But what? Oh, she didn't like that. Some good meat in those knees. Why can you damage me? I'm supposed to be all invincible. Count Black's power was supposed to protect me! Ra ra whoosh bing ba. You can hit her, dear. Uh, this is. for this is no normal cheer. This cheer is magic. Woo, her magic barrier is through. Wow, those li those rhymes, those lines, those limericks, those lines. What? When did this happen? Eek. I feel completely naked. How could you? Oh, the legs come off too? Me, uh, how could you? It's impossible. How? Mm, uh, don't think you've beaten me for good, dummies. Next time you won't be so lucky. Remember that, stupid heads. Urk. She left her legs. Oh. Okay, we're gonna work up a nice sweat. 
Here we go! Lift up and down! Get ready to move the finger! Now! If there is nothing else, I'll be on my way! Ciao, my count! She's right, shite! Kill Jester! Heroes trying to save these pathetic old worlds! Black says Count Black. <laughs> Their efforts are in vain. No one can stop Count Black. Just as no one can ease the tempest that rages in my suffering heart. Is that him that just said that? Oh! My head! Hey! Where am I? We're right behind you. But the second the phone going gets rough, we bail. Then follow me, brave uh, goom Goombas. Here we go! Vinny, in your opinion, what exactly is a Goomba? It's a rotten mushroom with legs. The sprite of the Goomba, they didn't have enough time in Mario 1, so they just took the mushroom sprite, lowered it, gave it a face and legs, and turned it brown. Oh, there's a Goomba here! I gotta step on it! Oh! Hey, this door is unlocked. Let's go through first. They're through this one. Plumbers first! Talk. Please. So, where's King Bowser? I wish you were here instead of the great dweeb here. Wow. I thought these Goombers were friend. If we stay put, somebody's definitely gonna spot. Oh, Gazort! Hail Black. Gary, no! <laughs> Gary the Goomber. Okay, guys, new agenda. Hold this fool down so I can get his priorities on track. Yes, ma'am. Oh, 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 no! Oh, Mario, where are you? Ah! He got torn to shreds. Piece by piece, Luigi fucking dies. One person will determine whether the light or dark prognosis predicts truly. Both books refer to him as man in green, but I know not what this means. I must return to my study to solve this Karandra. Oh, it's, yeah, definitely Link. There's no one more heroic than Link that dresses in green. No one. What about Mario cosplaying green? Yes. Oh, Tingle's pretty good, too. Welcome to Tinga's Inn. Is this Tingle's girlfriend? Where you can recharge your batteries in just one night. Tell me, weary traveler. Wouldn't you like to get a good night's rest? Oh. You know, if- does Tinga have an egg? Hey Mario, check out my egg! What do you do with this? I don't know. It, it's real stretchy! Hey, there's a texture inside of it! Oh. Good morning, did you enjoy the egg? Well, on your way then. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. Oh, it's the next heart pillar. I have to find the pillar first. Before I can find the door, right. Okay, I, I just have to remember the flow. By the way, as much as I enjoy this game so far, and I, I like it, this area... And I'm sorry to compare it to another game in the series, but I have to because it's the, you know, it's the other game that I played in the series that I love. And I've played the original Paper Mario, which is, it's good, but... The sewer is so much more interesting. It's- it's- the sewer and Rogueport are amazing. This is, you know, this is okay. Then you need to get the breadward. You need to get the breadward pixel for this part. Is breadward a real pixel? Can I get a link to the Rogueport song? I'm trying to think about how it goes. And I can't- I can't think of it. I remember it being good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was- that was a good one. I totally forgot that the song existed. Like, somehow it just- I couldn't think of the melody. But now that I hear it, it's obvious. Someone said, found this, thought you might want to see it. I love it. I watched a video about where, uh, Color Splash went wrong, the newest Paper Mario game, because I just wanted to see what it looked like. I wanted to see what um, more or less, you know, modern Nintendo hardware Paper Mario looked like. And, um... 
the video, it was, I forget who did the video, but it, it doesn't even matter. It was basically just what went wrong with Paper Mario Color Splash, and it was just about everything. Except the visuals, which look amazing. I mean, sure, everything was Toads, but the game looked really nice. And I, I really wanted to, um, you know, when I looked at it, I was like, oh, that's a shame. Someone said they ruined Paper Mario, it's never gonna be good again. That's not true. Things that were, that lost their way for a while can be good again. Resident Evil, anyone? Oh boy, chat is reacting wildly to this chapter. I can feel it nearby, but where could it be? <laughs> Hi, Technical. I caught a super rare, rare pixelated butterfly. My friends at digibutter.nr are going <laughs> to freak out when they get word of this find. This is so high technical. Did I just accidentally find the right voice for this character before I even saw what it looked like? How far is this place from Metroid? Yeah, Metroid's about, uh, four parsecs to the left. And, um, Video Land. This is Video Land. This is Pixelville, or whatever the fuck it's called. Sorry. And, uh, I believe... Um, Zelda's Hyrule Castle Fortress is not too far from here. And Donkey Konga... Sorry, Donkey Kongo isn't too far from here either. But really far away is Mega Land. Where Mega Man and his people, Mega Woman, and Mega Children live. I killed all of them! The Mega Men! But also the Mega Woman! And the Mega Children! I like when I get to go right a lot. Try getting that as Peach? Okay. No. Wait a minute, I don't like this. Who gave- who gave you permission? Jesus. I didn't become Petch. Sorry. But now we have a Godzilla battle. <laughs> Amazing. I could have killed some other Coopers if I was... If I was especially quick on my feet. Would... This is a field, isn't it? And there are Coopers here. Vinny, did you put weed in your pizza today? I didn't have pizza. Or the other th uh, or weed. Oh, you'd know. Trust me, you'd know if I smoked weed before I stream. I don't... I don't smoke the weed. I don't smoke the weed! Dracula could not peer pressure me into doing it. I just don't. It's not that I've never indulged in the past, you know, however many years of my life. It's just, you'd know, if I did that while I was streaming, it would be not weird, but, but silent. My son Alucard, I caught him skateboarding and smoking the weed. Uh, Richter, I don't know what to do, can you tell me? First of all, my name is Simon Belmont, not Richter, that's one of my ancestors. Who hasn't even born yet? First tell me who's the most handsome vampire slayer of all time. Are you James? No, I'm Simon Belmont. No, oh, you're James from the Pokemon show. I've watched your show. It is great. Dracula and Jay Leno. Hi, Dracula. Tell me a little bit about the blood sucking. What's that about? You like, like, you have like a car? Like you drive around in like a Batmobile? Like Batman? No, what we have is uh, we have the power of flight, like a bat. We don't need to drive. But my son loves Cadillac. I don't know why. But he smokes the weed before he drives. Okay, okay. <laughs> Got a little movie coming out? <laughs> Someone just said the Jay Leno voice is probably the worst thing the stream has birthed into existence recently. <laughs> but in the same breath, I'm getting mixed signals because some people seem to like it. I don't know what the fuck to do anymore. A card that captures a foe's soul, it almost always works. Now, I am, am Soma Cruz from Catskillsvania. Also, it's kind of cool to revisit 
um, one two from Mario uh, Brothers and see it in 3D like this. It's gimmicky as fuck, but it's kind of fun, kind of cool. I just wish this fucking mechanic didn't have a time limit. It's annoying. I enjoy exploring in 3D like that. I don't think you can jump high enough to approximate getting to the negative world in PAP. This game is just now called PAP. That's it. That was, um, you know, Xbox Live was, uh, like a, a pit of despair. But my favorite thing ever was convincing a bunch of people from the South that New Yorkers st said that popcorn was pap kern. And they believed it. I was, like, super earnest about it, and they just, they were like, Okay, well, say pap kern, then. That's it, it's not much of a story, it's just... I wonder if to this day they believe that no, nah, I, I, I know some some New Yorker was telling me about Papcorn. Vinny, speaking about Xbox Live, do you think Nintendo will say something about the Xbox Live thing coming to Switch? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's it's happening. I don't think they'll talk about it. I think that the it'll be minimal use. It's not going to be anything crazy. It's not going to like fix Nintendo Switch Online. I think it's real though, right? Is is it confirmed real? So, I don't know what they're gonna do with it. Maybe it's just for a couple services, a couple games. But, uh... Fuck, fuck if I know. I, I don't think they'll mention it during the Direct tomorrow, but I do think we'll hear a little bit more about it eventually. It's, uh, connecting through leaderboards, achievements, friends lists. Okay. HALT! Yeah, you! This is Bowser's Castle! And his burliness doesn't like chumps like you geeking up the place! You're about to get a complimentary nose job, courtesy of my shell! By the way, this is the voice that the Koopas had in the Mario Brothers TV show. Clean your room! Yeah, in the Mario show, they sounded Kermity. So I figured, why not? I don't have any examples of it, but I'm sure there's a clip on YouTube of a Cooper speaking. Are you okay? Ah, Princess Peach. My lovely wife! Your wife? What? Are you kidding me? How could you forget our big day? Well, you see, Bowser, we really need your help. Why don't you come with us? Wait, what? Like, got us married just to make a Chaos Heart so that he could destroy the world? Yes, and that's why we need you to help us find the pure hearts. No, I don't want to. I think about it. If it was for you, but there's no way I'm helping Mario. We don't have time for you to be the big baby about this. Come on, Bowser, please. But, but I'm Bowser! I'm grade A 100% prime cut final boss! Fine! I'll join your stupid quest, you happy? Thank you, Bowser. You're so sweet. No, I'm not sweet! And I'm not helping Mario just to save a bunch of worlds. I'm only doing it so I can rule someday, so don't get all cuddly with me, Mario! Alright, Bowser, you big sweetie. What is come little kid in the back and I'm going fucking crazy! Wait, what? <laughs> Due to the, um, the Wiimote's lack of buttons, you have to press down to shoot fire as Bowser, and it is very awkward and weird. Yeah, his, his arms, his swimming animation, quote-unquote animation, is, is incredible. Vinny, do you know any bad jokes? I mean, I could go find, like, a, a book online, or like, you know... Uh, but I could just say, yeah, I mean, watch any of my streams. I know all of them. Bowser... Bowser is too thick to be brought down by a... Uh... A... What is that? It's a tide... Uh... What... What, uh... <laughs> what's... It's a, uh, suck whirlwind. It's a... It's a whirlwind. I can imagine the designers just being like, Hey, how do we do a water level in Super Paper Mario? 
And then the other one was just like... I don't know. Just... Just make it. Just do it. Just fucking do it. And then they did it, and this is it. It's just regular Mario water level. Basically. It's fine. Someone said, I liked that story. You like that story? That was a good one, right? The, the story of the water level. How do you make a water level? Just do it. And then Herman said yes, and then they made it, and then the game came out on time, and there were no problems. By the way, if you name your child Herman, I'm gonna call the Child Protective Agency. Which I don't even think is a real agency. I think it's the Child Protection Agency. But, uh, don't- you know, you shouldn't do that. What about Naruto? If you name your child Naruto, there's definitely an agency above the CPA that needs to be contacted. What is that? You just sell it, I guess? So it's just, instead of getting a hundred coins, the game wants me to further clutter my inventory, my limited inventory. Old? No, that was the Jimmy Stewart. That was an attempt at Jimmy Stewart. Not exactly the, the most recognizable impression these days. Who, um, someone said, who's that? It's the... Do you think why I think a Jimmy Stewart impression is kind of evergreen in so many ways? It's because of the It's a Wonderful Life movie. It's a holiday classic. It's always on TV at Christmas dinner. Or at least it's just on TV a lot. Redward. Hey, in case you ain't heard, I throw a lot of girth around these what? these parts. And I'm gonna check you out to make sure you got the weight to hang with me. What? Alright, let's start by checking that face of yours. Dude has shaggy eyebrows. That's not even kinda girthy. You get 50 girth points. Alright, I gotta check the girthiness, girthiness of those clothes of yours. What's more girthy than a giant spiky shell? Oh, that's worth 100 girth points! Oh boy, girth checkup. I don't want to say girth anymore. Girth check on the body coming up. That's where the real heavy comes from. Look at this guy. Look at him in the dictionary. And he's the definition of girth. A super heavyweight. Right here. Bam. 100 girth points. Fuck this game. The sheer girthitude on display here is blowing my mind. <laughs> ah! There's no getting around it. You got heavy like I've never seen before. Any fool that gets in your way and and you you have to just have to girth them up. What? The fuck? Love it. Smash and squish those lightweights. You're going places with girth like that. I don't want to come along for the ride. Nintendo, what are you doing? Oh, Nintendo! Fudley. <laughs> oh my god. With our girths combined, <laughs> nobody can stop us. But you gotta get out of this room first, put my heavyweight power to work. I, I just can't believe Peach is canonically the girthiest if you talk to him with Peach. Are you serious? You- you- no. I know! You got- get me- get me the video. I'm not reloading the save. I'm gonna check you out, right? Okay, alright, let's start by checking that face of yours. Look at those big eyes, you make my girthy heart flutter, girl. Those eyes of yours have got some heavy to them. You get 70 girth points. Alright, I gotta check on the girthiness of those clothes. Pink dress? It takes guts to wear that here. Bam, that's 100 girth points. Girth check on the body coming up. Unbelievable, you might have a, be a slender thing, but you got a beefy spirit, girl. I wouldn't mess with a chick like you. You get 1 million girth points. The sheer girthitude on display here blows my mind. There's no getting around. I've never seen... You got heavy like I've never seen before. You just have to girth him up. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's- it's good. That would have been- Honestly, if I didn't see the Bowser one first, that would have been good for sure. But, uh... I- I've already been girthed to the max. A bloop! 
Boop, boop, boop. No, not there, please, anywhere but there. What? Wait, which tentacle is that? You know, Thudley, we might need you to do the, the, the measuring contest again real quick. Did that just do no damage? Vinny, you're underwater. Say a number of people as they see me use fire breath underwater to combat this giant squid. Logic must surely apply. The counter was off screen. Oh, well, that makes sense. Well, I. Yeah, it definitely was off screen because then that would have been hit the red tentacle only twice. I'm sure there was a little bit more health than that. Hey, Vinny, sorry if this is off topic from your current game, but I'm a Marble It Up dev, and we do have some more updates planned was watching your VOD, including one we'll be teasing tomorrow. Thanks for playing it again. Why must you- why must you watch me suffer? We got our first Nintendo Direct leak. You heard it here first, Marble It Up teaser. It's not- it, it has nothing to do with the Nintendo Direct, probably, but I want to say I'm actually interested in finding out what else you have going for that game, because there's a lot of- there's a lot to work with, with that game. I can see a lot of fun stuff in it, and more levels and things, but maybe multiplayer? I don't know how this fucking marble multiplayer would work, but anyway, um, yeah, thanks for the info. <laughs> Fuck is- oh, it's a wilt shroom? Dried shroom restores one HP. Yeah, that was a decidedly ungirthy mushroom, and I'm- I'm very upset about that. What a horrible item to give me just now. What are you doing, game? That was not helpful in the slightest. I wonder if they made these chapters in, like, any random order. And then just, you know, made the enemies easier based on whether or not they decided to go for an early or late game chapter. Or if they had the chapters all planned out from the beginning. And of course, you could just modify the dialogue as you go along and then say, Oh, this is a Bowser. Well, that, that wouldn't make sense because then the Bowser stuff... You know, you'd get Bowser third, so of course that would be chapter three. Otherwise, you'd have to, uh... Design levels around Bowser. It, yeah, it's probably in order. Oh yeah, the pixel order as well. So then there's, there's no... yeah. No, this game was pretty... Pretty well planned out then, probably. You can revisit old areas with new party members and pixels to get secrets. You know what? I might do a little bit of that, but in a game like this, maybe this is a downfall of the game. I don't really think... I don't really care. Like, it's if it was an RPG and there's a chance of finding like a really cool hammer or like a good piece of armor or jump shoes, then I would care. Vinny, it is an RPG. Okay. You're right. It has R- yes, it is. But what I- a turn-based, equipment-based RPG in the same way Thousand Year Door was. I'm not shitting on the game. I like it a lot, actually. But it makes me less eager to backtrack. But it's an action RPG more than it is your traditional turn-based RPG, and it's also the- Whoa. The, the systems in place are definitely much more suited to the pixels and using the characters. Which is fine, but I don't feel like I'm missing out if I don't backtrack. Like, I'm not gonna get the- you know... It's not like I'm missing the lazy shell. Cards? Yeah, but there's like... Okay, here's my problem with the cards. I like collecting things uh, as much as the next uh, Italiano, but there are... Th there are a lot of cards. <laughs> so I already feel totally defeated. A full 256, in fact, yes. I like these. These, these are the flowers from Yoshi's Island, right? They have a name? Lazy Daisy? Crazy Daisy. There are secret pixels and other cool stuff. Okay. Fair enough. Vinny, do you plan on playing Yoshi's Island in the future? I think I've streamed it. I don't know how recently. I don't know if it's on full sauce, but it's a game I could see myself revisiting for sure. What about Yoshi's Story? Um, no, I, I, no. I don't have nostalgia for that one. No, 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 it's not about nostalgia. I mean, I don't have any nostalgia for this game. I've never played this game before. It's- it's like, if I'm gonna play... 
what I remember when I played it to be a, like a kind of mediocre Yoshi game that I didn't really enjoy. Like, I'll give you an example. If I'm gonna... If I'm gonna play... Zelda 2. Or Metroid 1. I know those are games that are not everybody likes, and that they haven't aged particularly well in many cases. But I love those games because I grew up with them. Um, Yoshi's Story, I don't think I would want to sit through. And if that's your favorite game, I'm sure I have lots of games that are my favorite game that you don't like, and uh, such is life. It's okay, that's why we're all different, because we're people and stuff, and, and who gives a shit. So anyway, um... I will be streaming the new Yoshi game when that comes out. There will only be one Yoshi game allowed on the stream from this point forward forever. Yoshi's New Island. This tree is a nice... kind of summation of everything you've done and you've earned so far. Like all your abilities and stuff. That was almost terrible. That jump might have been frame perfect. It certainly looked it. Something... something Something there was very, very, that was a very scary jump over those spikes. Oh, shit! <laughs> That's like when you got like a little bit of a clog and then you like eat some white castle to force that shit out. Okay, now we're gonna eat some white castle. If you think about it, Mario has probably eaten White Castle before. Because he lived in Brooklyn. And there's a White Castle on Coney Island. There's almost no chance he hasn't been to Coney Island. Do you know what they call White Castle? Locally? If you never had it, I'll explain it. Well, no, you know what? No, no need to. It's just small burgers that make you poop. But, uh, belly bombers, we call them. Vinny, it's okay, you unlocked the door. What do you mean? Vinny, this is the way to go? Oh. Oh, thank Christ. Thank God! I was about- I was about to have a Resident Evil 2 moment. I'm not gonna get what's in that block, but I don't even- I don't even care. I still missed a pipe? I don't- I don't care. Breadward was there. Now, great, now Breadward is this fucking- Every time I miss something, it's Breadward. The mystical, amazing pixel. Mm, a little more, perhaps? They are strong, but they must be stronger yet to defeat Blick. I must make sure they can face him when the time comes around at last. Oh, is there a... is there Japes? Dementio wants Blick removed, tossed. So close to leveling up. Oh, cool. Boom! <laughs> the saves tonight. <laughs> the saves! Someone just said, thank you for not dying just before the finish. You don't need to thank me. I need to thank myself. <laughs> this is so high technical. It's totally undiscovered digi butterfly species. Yeah, I must document it. Mario. Yes, check that thorax. Oh come on! The fuck is this game? And here I am speculating that, that Nintendo's never gonna bring Mother 3 to the West because. There's some potentially uncouth items within its confines. Just so you know, that website exists. Vinny, going through this chapter, remember this was made in 2007. I know. It's weird how 2007 already has its own specific, like, feel. 
Vinny, please heal. I hate the beep. I don't believe I have any healing items. I, um... I have 5 HP, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm just about to level up. That is a horrible beep, though. Welcome home, master. What? Why does this dude have, like, stray cat girl robo-maids? Sweet resolution on these images is just breathtaking. Yeah. Oh. There it is. Full HP plus more attack. Yo, it's Moldu. Oh, what, what is the character's name? Uh, Mold... M m um... Bread... Breadman. Hey there. You seem friendly. If so, give me a hand. If not, give me a hand anyway. Is that a fucking crucifix? Freedom. Repent, sinners. Excuse me, what? Carrie, the hovering platform pixel, has joined your party. When you are riding, Carrie, you'll move faster and can breeze over spiked floors. With me, you can get places in a hurry, so go ahead, give me a spin. If you pair Carrie up with Bowser, they break the game. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Using Carrie all the time as a speedrun strat. Flip in the cell. Okay. What? I want to know who said that. I want their name. I want... The three wacky digits. Oh shit, it's the anime police. GBJ. Vinny, you aren't hurting it? Oh. I thought I was doing four damage to it each time. Why, why am I still doing this? I can't scan. Tippy's been captured. There's no scan available. Where'd it go? I killed it, everybody. I did it. Oh no, it's down here now. I don't know, I just really wanted to see if it were if I could kill it, honestly. You have reached the door to Master's super secret lair. Only Master is allowed inside. You must confirm your identity for security purposes. To confirm your identity, answer true or false to the following statements. Starship x Not comics are never to be removed from their plastic sleeves. True. Role-playing games should be no less than 180 hours long, not counting side quests. True. Fanny packs are both practical and stylish. Uh, true. Please enter the secret code. Was this one 2828? Also, that is an amazing series of questions. Meow, meow, meow. You are not my master. Deploy security measures. This one was 2323. That's a good question, Mega Man. Vinny, I think of that RPG question every time you talk about RPG length on stream. Really? Meanwhile, you give me like a 20, 30 hour long game at most, and I am very satisfied. I can imagine people being like, this game should be. You know, this game, if a game isn't a hundred hours or more, it's worthless. I'm just like, damn, that's a long time. Not, there's no one right answer here, by the way. I believe that people enjoy 400 hour games. <laughs> I don't. Well, okay, 400 hours is a little bit. I'm sure there are people that enjoy 400 hour games and would wish games to be that long. But, um, you know. Vinny, those are rookie numbers. Well, MMOs, easily, you can... You can sink... four or five hundred hours into that thing in the first year. It's like, fucking hell. More than that. I mean, th again, those are probably rookie numbers. Someone named Beyond Toxic wrote, only five hundred in an MMO with, um, lull. That made me- that made me internally laugh. Oh no, what have I found? I want to go back. Must buy this month. 
excess express train set. Miss Mouse doll with real smooching action. Wait, Miss Mouse from Thousand Year Door? Survival horror, romance sim, Larry Koopa, zombie heartbreaker. Magnus Von Grapple figure, tanuki suit made with real tanuki fur. Harder than Bedrock, the Rock Hawk story, DVD. I remember Rock Hawk. I, I remember, I know some of these references. Issue 47 of the Cyborg War, and that radio control professor, frankly. And a lot more sweet stuff. Virtual Boy. Wait, what about the Virtual Boy? Does he have one? I didn't see it. Oh, it's up there. There it is. Yep, yep. Didn't see it for a second. He's got um, a GameCube. He's got a, a Famicom. He's got a Super Nintendo uh, N64 and a Virtual Boy. And I was just talking about how the Nintendo likes to forget about the Virtual Boy. Meanwhile, here it is. And, oh, and a Wii. The Wii is connected to a super sweet TV. Um, all right. Enough of that. That's a sweet TV with a Nintendo Wii hooked up to it. Some would say it's even schmexy. It's like I don't want to stop playing. Because it's fun, and I like this chapter a lot. It's been enjoyable. But I, I also do kind of have to want to stop playing. You're at the end? All right, fine. 15 more minutes. That's, that's a lot more minutes than I want. I see some angry bad dude Boshis in the background, or whatever the fuck Yoshi that is. Uber photography trains, Uber photography toys, Uber photography pop idols. Unofficial guidebook of secret boss shattering strategies. Give your speed run to Nitro Boost with these game breaking secrets. Android Love Patrol Volume 1. Android Love Patrol Volume 1 Collector's Edition. Android Love Patrol Volume 1 Collector's Edition reissue. What he said, this Android Love Patrol. Also, is that Peach poster of Peach? What is poster of Peach doing on the wall? Some other pretty cool toys. I remember that was a that was the, that thing there. You can see that one is that. I remember Thousand Year Door had those little lads. Punies. You know the worst part is, I- I know it's puny, but I read it as punis. He has a peach doll up there? Oh, god. Just when you want to use Mayron, you gotta switch back over to peach. Oh, wait, wait, no, I meant that opposite. He accepted meow. He accepted meow. Meow. <laughs> Both keys confirm, Meow. Wait a Meow moment. You look nothing like Master. Only Master Francis and totally hot babes are allowed to enter. All others will get the kitty lasers. Mental. So, what do you think? Boss fight? It's- it's 340. Is it a long boss fight? We'll stop at the save, I said. We'll do the boss fight, I said. You can enter. After I check to see if you're compatible with Master Francis. That is. Please answer the following questions with true or false, meow. Video games and hot babes are totally high technical. If it's limited edition, buy it. I have bought at games that I have never played. <laughs> True. If it's got Fierce Giant Robot on Giant Robot Combat, it's an insta-buy. True. They're not dolls. They're action figures with real fire-punching action. Nartuma, Jamie, please! True. I have dumped a friend over an argument about Starship x naught propulsion technology. True. A sweet cover illustration is way more important than the storyline. True. Never pull the top copy from a pile of comics. Find the mint condition one. True. My first love was an anime character. This is gonna make people in chat salty. But true. I love going on message boards and complaining about games I've never played. Okay.
Okay, now this, this one, this picture, I know this image. This was taken and posted on the internet for years. So this is one of the few things I knew about this game other than the 3D mechanic. Yeah, who are you? Hey, wh what are you doing sneaking into my room, huh? Ever heard of privacy? Oh, there you are, Francis. I've been looking all over for you. For me? Oh my gosh, it's it's a hot babe. Hot babe in Rome. What do I do? Oh man, a real girl is my room. This is so high technical. Yeah, must c calm down. I'm get get get. Getting way too excited. Sweatles forming. Can't talk to girls. Must get my laptop from Fanny Franny Pack. Booting up swoon.exe. Activating Nerd 2 Babe interface mod with real time wooing. Dear lord, this fucking game. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck are they trying to do to me? Welcome to my castle. How do you do? Nyeh. What on earth is that? What's going on here? Nyeh. I boot this baby up whenever it's time to talk to the heh, ladies. Sweet. Time for my swoon.exe program to work its magic. Where should I start? What is your name? My name? You can call me annoyed. Sorry, buddy, I'm not telling my name to a geek like you. Whoa, what an ice queen. She's so cold, I'm shocked. Oh man, she's hard to get, but that's pretty hot too. <laughs> Francis revels in new feelings of attraction. Francis's passion leveled up. Oh man, what do I do next? No, not smooch, don't. <laughs> Look. You're so cute, like a pinta straight out of an anime or a video game. You can be feisty, but I must say it, um, adds to your charm. You think I'm charming? You really think I'm cute, Teehee? Am I really that cute, Teehee? You're making me blush. Wow, and you, you smell pretty. What an intoxicating fragrance. Francis is enchanted. Francis's stress level is down. Francis's passion leveled up. What's my next move? <laughs> As a token of my affection, I'd like to give you a special present. Peach received the Pink Princess signed poster. Oh, um... I appreciate the thought. Nice thought, but I don't have time for that. The universe is being destroyed. Destroyed? Oh, I get it. You're so funny. You're talking about that farm anime, Apocalypse. I'm hooked on it, too. Different farming factions vying for control of a sword that can destroy the world. They use real swordsmen to advise on the action scenes, so they're super realistic. Don't you love it when the studios pay attention to important details like that? I can't believe you're into that. You have such awesome taste. When the DVD comes out, I'll buy it for you. You'd love that, huh? Oh, yeah, thanks. I wonder how many people are genuinely upset at this. And are having trouble <laughs> lightening up. What is he talking about? Peach returned the poster. Francis is impressed. Francis's passion leveled up. Nier, what's my next? Someone asked if this is if I'm in control of Francis's moves. I'm not. It's all controlled by the game. Wow, we're like so perfect for each other. It's destiny. We should get married. M married? So how much do you make? <laughs> hey, who's picking these responses for me anyway? I'm not marrying this dork. I <laughs> shouldn't even be having this conversation. I came to save Tippy. Where is she? 
Chippy. Um, chippy. Chippy. There's no Chippy command here. What is she talking about? That's it. I've had it. You'd better bring her out now. Peach used Boomer. Boomer exploded. No, my graphics card! That was the only known copy of Nurtu Bay Patch, and now it's gone forever! Ah, real babes are scary! Still a better game than Chameleon Twist. And I wanted to like that game. Oh, I forgot. Not many people have really played Chameleon Twist. It was a good rental, at least. Yeah. I mean, it's the only other Chameleon-related video game that I'm aware of. Someone in chat just said, Vinny, why aren't you playing Albino Lullaby? Vinny, you promised. You promised, Vinny. <laughs> it didn't come out. <sighs> I love it. Someone said, um... I'd definitely be sure to catch the streams of this from now on. This was beautiful. <laughs> Uh, that's good to hear. And, you know, it's it's nice to catch a positive comment in chat every now and then. Even though there's mostly positive comments, I seem to have, like, laser vision for the weird or negative ones. Then again, I guess we all do. Um, in some ways. But that was a great chapter. I, I, I enjoyed that, even though it was a little, let's say, on the nose. And a little 2007, obviously. It was it was funny enough at times, and it was enjoyable, and the gameplay stuff was good all the way throughout the whole chapter, and getting Bowser was great. Um, some good puzzle stuff, yeah, it was it was good. I, I get why people were saying it was a good chapter and that I would enjoy it because I did. So, um, yeah, this is not a regret. Super Paper Mario has been for me so far a good stream. Like I was a little worried because I know it has its detractors, and I know. Um, it's, I knew it wasn't going to be as on the same level as Thousand Year Door based on things I had read about it and, you know, seen, a, uh, seen, but, but it holds up in its own way and it has a lot of high points. So I'm enjoying it and I will continue enjoying it. Hopefully I think I will. I had a, a crepe, a chocolate-filled crepe. It took 30 seconds to microwave. It's one of them Trader Joe items. And I want to tell you something. It was good. But I was told to microwave it at half power, and my microwave dead ass told me power level is unavailable at this time. I swear to God, I don't even know what that means. Hang on, look, if I... It says here, power level may not be changed at this time. How the fuck is that helpful, microwave? How do I fix this? I need a solution. So, I blasted the crepe at full power for less time. And it came out great. My, 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 how interesting. Nastasia and the Count have such deep conversations. Oh, such deep conversations! Mmm! Nintendo sent me an email for Valentine's Day, and it's just Toadette... ...like, winking at me. Uh, I feel attacked. And there's also Waluigi, posing like John Travolta in Boogie Nights. Oh wait, no, he wasn't in that movie. I have been waiting for you, young heroes. Did you succeed in your her Sorry, um, did you succeed in your search for their next pure heart? Okay, I've been informed that there's, um, Breadward is available now. Or if not Breadward, then some other pixel. Barry, the prickly pixel, has joined your group. Use Barry to create a spiky barrier around you. There's plenty of dangerous types wandering out around out there. Let's stick together. It'll be safer for both of us that way. I think I'm done here now. Vinny, advance through the level a bit and grab a superstar. Power up as Bowser. Yeah, all right, why not? Wow. Your own... Why are you giving your own brother the old spicy keychain, Cooper? So I don't know why the spicy keychain's been coming up on stream lately. But, like, these are Bowser's filet mignons, and they're still attacking him. I guess they've been brainwashed, right? 
going on over there in the distance? There's something, something in the distance there. Then there's these things. The fuck? Is that enemy just that cursed? Those gray guys will send you back to Flipside. Let me use the, um, the Christly. Yep. Each enemy, each one of those has a different curse effect. Okay. Try to keep that in mind. Oh, this is- oh, that's how you get into the background. Pelt enemies with frigid shards of ice. I like the noise he makes when he dies. He's just, oh! Vinny, use Peach? Oh, fuck, you're right. You can... I see, I get it. I get it. Yeah, we're gonna be beeping, it's fine. Just, no. Just a second. Nope, that's not happening. I think this is Jay Perino's. Yep, can't do it. Someone just said, Vinny, I can confirm there is nothing over there. Nothing except Breadward? Oh man, I missed Breadward again. I keep missing him. I didn't do the superstar thing with Bowser, no. I guess we'll have to do that next time. But... I have to buy some healing items, I have to sell some stuff, too. I remember, I have some cooking items that I want to give to the, the, to the chef. What? Oh god, what is this? Ah, oh, fuck! Vinny, did you see the Screaming Link video yet? So this is another new thing. Whenever there's like a meat-related thing on the internet, or clown-related thing, people tell me about it, but now, Screaming-related things... It's a Metal King Boo video. Okay. Okay. No, we don't know. We don't need more of that. <laughs> this is gonna be a part two. It's not just gonna be part two. There's gonna be a part three, a part four. I'm really excited to see who that fourth character is gonna be. Oh, wow. The fourth character is gonna be Blue Toad. What, what do we call Blue Toad? Blowed. It's the casino, maybe? Welcome to the Palace of Gaming Pleasure. The Arcade! Not a casino. This is the arcade, a place for gamers to enjoy gaming. To play games, you must first purchase flipside tokens, and then you need to turn that card around. Get them digits, them wacky ones. Just come see me with a few coins, and I will give you the tokens you need. All of these will. Why would you sell me five tokens? If you know the games can't be played with five tokens. I want to see each game once, at least. And this is also, you know, this is something that we've seen in, in Mario RPG-ish games. The, the casino seems to be a bit of a staple. I remember Knife Guy's Casino. It was like, when Mario RPG came out, getting into the casino was like rare. It was a big secret. Too much, with too little time. And I missed it, I was scratching my ear. 
Plop! Plop! Okay, we're good. How many fucking rounds are there? Infinite? It goes until you lose? Oh god. What am I doing with my life? Here's a question. Is there a good reward for getting to at least, like, ten, for example? Alright, well, you know, it's over now. Oh, that's what happens. You get tokens back, and then you can trade them in. Hort? There's someone named Hort. Mansion Patrol. I don't need no stinking rules. I'm gonna grump it! Luigi's Mansion. That's close enough to Luigi's Mansion. Why does this music sound familiar? Diddy Kong Racing? I just killed a toad. Oh yeah, that melody right there. Yeah. And then it goes... If you want to get combos, you can't miss. But I'm already bored, so I'm just going to let the booze kill me. I mean, it's nice that there's some mini-games in here, even if they're more... Um... It's not casino games, necessarily, but I, I like the, uh... I like the effort. I like the attempt. And you get some good motion control pointy wointies if that's what you love about the Wii. My favorite part of the Wii were the graphics. In a time when games looked really good, the Wii looked ass-tounding. Two GameCubes duct taped together. Well, it certainly kept the price down. Tit Island! Sorry. Oh, fa! Fungool! So, you don't actually control Mario, you control the level. And then Mario just walks, you know, uh, in whatever direction... ...is lowest. Oh my god, low <laughs> lowest. I, you know, those peaches are at this point in my life. I just can't look at, at a peach in, uh, designed in a cartoon way like that anymore. I thought this was Tit Island. Why is it Butt Island? Oh, I can kill now. This one's pretty cool. So yeah, that uh, my day today was was I went shopping. I bought more of that fucking banana juice, the banana strawberry orange. I might be a little bit addicted to that shit. I also got a weird lemonade. I like their lemonade. They make good lemonade. It was like, what's the hard mode in Metal Gear Solid? European Extreme. It was like European Extreme uh, lemonade. You get more points for matching fruit. Okay. 866 fruit. Some yeah, the, the mini games are pretty decent. I don't know if I'd spend a ton of time on them unless the rewards were especially amazing, but this Hort character keeps fucking winning. Oh my god. Wacka bump. I remember these. These were in um Thousand Year Door, right? You you'd hit the wacka, you'd get the bump, and it was just a really great healing item. They're in ever every Paper Mario game. They're in ever Paper Mario. Raises max HP by five. Wow. And, uh... Yeah, some of these are pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna get the loot box. For you, stalwart gamer, this game fucking predicted current year gaming. Whack-a-bump. Whack-a-bump. Your defense has increased. <laughs> I thought... <coughs> thought they... I thought they were permanent additions to my inventory. I'll... Keep one. Cook the loot box, it gives you good food. Point Tippy to the green guy? That's Hort, the Iron Man of games. He plays like a professional. He's back in the arcade again today, looking for a worthy adversary. He's a master of games, not just the game of love. Vinny, are you sure that lemonade wasn't piss? Not entirely. I'll be real with you, I don't know. 
In any case, it's red. Oh wait, that's even worse. Bab house? Vinny, now that you have the Wii, are you gonna play Kirby? That- that's- if it weren't for my horse, I wouldn't have spent that year in college. Uh, Return to Dreamland? I've, I've streamed that years ago. Um... I've had a Wii. I've- I've, you know, I've had a Wii for a long time now. So, yeah, I've, I've streamed lots of Kirby. I don't, I don't have any plans to stream another Kirby right now. Bring me an ingredient sugar, I'll whip up a dish. Let's see, which, which, watch? W-U-T-C-H, watch? Cake mix. So, sugar, you want me to create a dish for you with the cake mix? Delicious dish. I'm not reading that. So what happens if I cook the loot box? Choppy, bubbly, yum, put it in your tummy. One more second and then... Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, I made a mistake. Oh, well, these things happen, sugar. Why is there a fish in that mistake? Oh, God. It's so raw, it's crawling off the plate! Use the cartridge? I don't know what that means. You just did? Oh, someone told me to do a thing I was doing already. Alright, well, you know, that's cool. There's a recipe list. Oh yeah! We're gonna get wet! Feet! Good time! Hey, Grandma, what do I need to do to live as long as you? Oh, that's simple, my dear. Don't be a picky eater. You have to eat a varied diet. Perfect. I eat from all the candy food groups. My granddaughter's going to die. That's a Heronicus. He was once an explorer. He knows much about the other lands. But he's since retired from exploration, but certain smells bring back memories. <laughs> Snorf! Mmm, you smell of a meow, mate. You are a nerd, I deem. I was once like you. I would line up for hours to get treasure. Oh, I was a fanatic. But I'm tired of that. I do not wish to bore you. If it pleases you, come and visit me another time. Ah, oh, what is that smell? Lack of deodorant. That's Pearl. She's Betsy's super sweet grandmother. She has a dark past here. It's hard to believe she was once called Razor Pearl. She has many, many stories, but most she cannot tell. Oh, dearie, I once killed... I once killed someone with my pinky. I poked it through their eye hole, squishing their eyeball, dearie. Hello, welcome to my shop. Catch the dr catch a dream. We sell novels so small they fit on cards. First time here? Right oh, right oh. Uh, available for purchase today. We have card bags and catch cards. A uh, card bag is a little satchel that holds a single filled catch card. You won't know the character on it until you purchase it. Oh, such a hitty excitement. The catch card is an amazing thing. Use it on an enemy, and the foe turns into a card. But you can use them, but once, if your foe is too powerful, it might not work. Oh, and you have, if you have cards you no longer need, I would be glad to purchase them. Such are my wares, my dear prospective customer. Do you want to hear that again? This, this game has... Why am I doing this again? This game has lots of gambling. Oh god, it's the owl. Stop! card bag for 10 coins. Let's see. Inside the bag lurk pink fuzzy. Take it. For it is yours. Vinny, remember cards of enemies give damage multipliers. So, the more cards you have of a... Of a I can't even speak tonight. This is gonna be a rough stream, fellas. Um, the more you have of a specific card, the more damage you do. I got the same card again. My luck really stinks today. Why can't I get more rare cards? Why? Why? I never get any! They should really put more of the, those in these packs. What? What am I fighting for? Alright, listen up, mates. We're trying a bunch of different voices tonight. Do you remember when I did that one voice during Skyrim? Was it Skyrim? Yeah, I think it was Skyrim. And it was like, new voice unlocked. And... It was something like that, but better. And then I just never remembered how to do it. I'm thinking I can make pipe to Flipside Tower's base. 
What do you think of this? You are covering cost of materials and labor, yeah? Vinny, I think he's Swedish. Oh. Or he's German. Uh, this is... This is good thing, yeah? I am getting started. Uh, you are staying out of the way. Could you imagine, like, you're just- your whole life... ...changes in the span of a couple minutes? Like, your, your whole life, you have one personality, and then you just start, like, sounding... ...like a completely different person with a different inflection. It's because your voice actor... ...decided to portray you differently. Or the old voice actor quit, yeah. Or got fired. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go ahead and ask you to not come on in anymore, okay? We here at Activision Blizzard are pleased to announce the most successful we've ever been. Which is why we're hot. we're firing all of our voice talent. I think my voice actor's on break tonight. Honestly, I'm feeling so weird. Someone said this is where I left off. I have no idea how to get past this. Someone just said girth poles. I will keep an eye open for girth poles. Oh, here's oh girth pole. I mean, you you have to assume that if you get a new pixel, it has something to do with that. But it's just a little um, tricky remembering all the, the secret spots. Also, that black hole in the distance is looking mighty big. Oh, okay. So there's a s several. Oh, 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 oh! That was a New York City garbage man realizing his true potential and solving the crossword puzzle. It it took him a year, but finally he did it. Don't you hate it when that happens? The fucking Tetris game already has its own memes. It's been a day. Behind a fourth door lay a whole new world. I, I'm not gonna sing it. That beckoned to them both. Yo! I'm glad I can play now and maybe read a little bit less. Because reading is not my high point tonight. What troubles you, Mario? Ah, yes, of course. We seem to be lacking air. You need that, don't you? Um, well, let me see. Um, then, well, uh, but so- No! Was that just the fucking ping from Echoes? Yo, that was Echoes. I wouldn't be surprised if they sampled that. Just lowered the pitch a little bit. We won't last out there, as we are. Perhaps we should ask Marlon's advice. No, I wanna die. Vinny, remember when you said you could finally play? Those were the days, weren't they? Someone, uh, just said in chat five times in the past, uh, half hour or so, you should- Vinny, you should guest on Impractical Jokers. Shall I just call them, then? While I'm at it, I'd, um, I'd also maybe like to get, um, a starring role in Star Trek Discovery. Is Discovery good, Vin? Ah. I don't know, I haven't watched it in a while. The, um, means to which I was able to watch Star Trek Discovery, uh, ran out, and I just stopped caring. I just don't want to pay CBS for all access for one TV show. Is it good? Is it good? Uh, the last episode I saw was good, which is the one that Jonathan Frakes directed. Then you can push one and two to skip the elevator scene. Okay. Because, yeah, traversing the town is not my favorite thing to do. Huh? You might want to give me something like a helmet. I mean, this fishbowl? I don't know, maybe you can find a nice place to set the captain goes free for me. Ca captain deserves freedom. Then you get in the fishbowl, that's good, huh? Hmm, where can I go? I wanna, I wanna know it's a happy nearby at all times. What is this voice? Where the fuck did this voice come from? New voice unlocked, but nobody wanted it. Man, I don't even wanna argue, you're right. Someone just said, all right, now bring the fish to the chef. Mistake. It's amazing how, how little I've actually played, aside from just, like, casino games and wandering around town. Now we can go to space, so let's head back to that door. So we'll just use a fish bowl to uh, breathe in space, shall we? Want to use the helmet? No. Well, what do you think? Can you breathe now? Very well, let's go then. The pure heart is somewhere in this sea of stars. 
Oh yeah! I'm gonna breathe in the carbon dioxide. Vinny, you can refuse and die. SOS. The fuck is going on? I also like that I just ground pounded at the bottom of space. There's something here. What in the world is this? Why was this hidden here? Do they have cloaking technology? Don't they know that's illegal in the Federation? Were they Romulans? Scrapple, Screeple, Scrinks. Morning, Scrap. Oh dear, who are you? An alien, perhaps? A meat world. You. You hid the captain. You are a space grunt now, and that is the only rule. Your only response should be yes, sir, and gotcha. Understand, Squirkle? These aren't real words. Stop. Square, square, square. Looks like you understand your place, Squirp. Great, let's get ready then, Squirp Formation Squirrel. Oh, God. Well, Squirp directly to the pure heart. It's like warping, except Squirp's invented it. In order to Squirp, we need a lot of energy, Squirk. You're all brimming with power up power, right? Uh, you must give it to Squirps. Press A and hold until you've built up enough power up power, then release. Success! And here we go! Squirp! I'm gonna squirp. Oh, it's a shooter now. So there was like Bowser dialogue that I missed. I guess, you know, no, no matter what character you use, you're gonna miss dialogue. Unless you're Mario, in which case you're, you know, you just don't get the dialogue. Again, this is certainly not what I was expecting. This game is, is charming in so many ways. Though I'm not necessarily sure how I feel about it turning into a space shooter. Someone said I need breadwood for charge shots. I'm gonna be real disappointed when I finally get breadwood, and the only thing it does is fucking create one HP items one at a time. It's just gonna be like moldy bread creation unit. But Vinny, what's your favorite type of bread? Uh, so we went from ice cream to bread. Does pizza dough count? I mean garlic bread, but here's the thing, different bakeries have different types of bread, so I could say French bread or Italian bread, but that doesn't necessarily describe the differences between these things. Like, you can, you can have a bakery or a pizza place give you really, really good bread. Like, there's this one place... There's this one place in the city that does... I forget the name of it, but it's a really good sandwich place. And they have amazing bread, and it makes their sandwiches way better. And they make their own bread. So, I can just say, you know, like, French bread, or whatever. But deep down, I know I've had shitty French bread. I've even had, like, pathetic garlic bread, too. Garlic bread's usually my go-to answer for something like that. I love garlic bread. But, do you ever, like, have just sad garlic bread? Where it's just, like... You know, just, like... Chunks of garlic on the bread with no attempt to actually make it into a thing. Someone just said, toast and garlic powder. Oh, please. God, that was painful to hear. What's your favorite flavor of potato chip? I feel like I'm filling out an application. This'll make it into Q&A video number two, right? Um, I like, um, uh, the salt and vinegar chips. I don't know if they're my favorite, but they're close. Um... Sour cream and onion? What kind of creatures was it anyway? And what was with those weird noises. Whenever confronted with a question, it would say, Squirps is... Squirps, squawk. Cartoon Shatner. Not even close to real Shatner. 
But whenever someone does a Shatner impression, it's always that. Myself included. What condiments do you put on a hot dog? Here we go. Dear God. Here I see the more awaiting you, amore. No more, no more, amore. This is no time for some silly song, Squirple. I've got a bathroom emergency here. A hundred years ago, amore. I came here to go, amore. So bored, so bored, amore. No toilet paper here, amore. I'll wait a hundred years, amore. Wait for, what for, amore? And a paper, please, amore. Just a sheet for me, amore. Implore, implore, amore. The, someone has been taking a shit for a hundred years. And there's no toilet paper. We have to find toilet paper. What is this game? Whoa, is that toilet paper? My favorite hot dog condiment. I like, um, I like sauerkraut and, and mustard and ketchup. And the, the fucking on- I love the onions. You know those onions in the sauce? What- someone just said, what the fuck is sauerkraut? People are like, gross. I don't put all of those on the hot dog at the same time, by the way. Sometimes it's just one. I don't like the idea of doing, you know, like, a million different condiments on one hot dog. Usually one or two. For people that were saying sauerkraut is gross. I mean, that's just like your opinion, man. But that's also a New York thing, too. Like, if you're in Chicago, there's a different style of hot dog that they, you know, specialize in. They put, like, fucking pickles and gherkins on them shits. But, um, uh, yeah, really, like, high-quality sauerkraut on, like, German food. Worst kraut. Uh, not kraut. Uh, worst and, uh, kielbasa. Stuff like that. Is good. Yeah, I like that stuff. What are the onions are my favorite, though, I think. There's this- they sell it, you can buy it, and it's- it's good. Some people make it homemade, but I almost never see that. But it's just this sauce, and it's got onions in it, and it's great. And it's- I don't get it. I don't get why it's so fucking good, but it's amazing. Yeah, it's caramelized. They're caramelized onions in the sauce. S-A-W-O-Z. Swords, swords. Lenny, did you ever eat a big bowl of sauerkraut? Dave, listen closely. Dave edited the video for the vine sauce question and answer. Listen closely. Today's questions are verboten. If there's a part two, zero of these questions. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, no, I've never eaten a big bowl of sauerkraut. It's just good on the side of German food. And, uh, there's a couple German restaurants that I like that do just that. Kielbasa is Polish. It is, isn't it? Well, they do kielbasa at the, uh, the German place I go to. Honey mustard with hot dog? What? I don't know. Uh, I could try it. I would try it. I don't think... I like honey mustard. I don't know if I would go for that on a hot dog. Vinny, how do you feel about mayo as a condiment? I have no problem with mayo. I think it has to be used on the right stuff. Um... In Japan, mayo is huge, I've learned. I love it there. I just think it's, the, it's you know, reserved for the correct sandwich, and it can be good. I like, um, you know, I like oil vinegar on my sandwich most of the time, honestly. I think that's, that's good stuff. Depending on the sandwich, but oil vinegar makes a good uh, combo. Opinions on liverwurst? No. I'd say no is my answer. Vinny. Hang on, I got one more question I want to answer. Hang on, this is a good one, because I have an answer. Vinny, do you think you'd ever be willing to put together a list of restaurants you'd like around New York City? I always like to try new places, and when I'm out there and having new destinations in the boroughs other than Manhattan would be nice, since I don't know them well. So, Dave, I think you're also... Dave is a very useful person. I'm sorry to put it like that, but it's true. Um, yeah, he wants your list. So Dave and his friends are foodies, well, his friends are foodies, and, um, they compiled a list of their favorite places in the city that have amazing food, and I just got that list. And, uh, it's, it seems like this list is about to be famous. Famous anus cookies, that's right. But I, uh, I have a couple places, but I don't know that many places. I know a lot of pizza places and stuff like that. Bloog. <laughs> <laughs> Bloog. This young lady is Blop-Bop. Blollop. She's a native of the planet Blobule. 
Vinny, do you have a favorite Jewish deli? Um, Russ and Daughters in Manhattan. It's near Katz's Deli, but they do equally as good pastrami and corned beef sandwiches. And Harold's in New Jersey. I want to say if anyone lives in New Jersey, closest to New York, look up Harold's Deli. You will go there and you will eat forever. It's a little expensive, but you get portions that can feed an army. And it's just... Oh, it's so, so good. That's actually... Um, incidentally, that was on um, Dave's friends list. Of uh, good New York food. Harold's was on there already, so... Harold's is the most overrated restaurant I've ever been to, says someone in chat. Well, there you go. Now you have a counterpoint. And then you can, um... You have a reason not to go now, chat. Do you get little Bowsers if you hit that block as Bowser? I like Harold's a lot. Maybe you didn't get the right thing. I like the-, the they have a, a pickle bar where you can get as much, like, coleslaw, um, salad, uh, pickles of ver many different kinds. Peppers. And bread. As much of that stuff as you want. For free. And you can just keep on going up and getting it. Whatever you want. You combine that with the brisket. Or the pastrami. Unbelievable. And they have good onion rings, too. I'm not even hungry. I don't know why I'm talking about food. Like, I had a really... You know, I had a really decently sized lunch. Sorry, everybody. This is 3 a.m. food chat, and I did not plan on this happening. <laughs> Vinny, Michael Scott said the best place to eat in New York is Sabaro's. Is that a good... Is that good advice? Sabaro is authentic New York pizza that you can only get in New York. In this case, Michael Scott is totally on point. Wait, I had a Sabaro in the mall where I lived at, but it closed down and was replaced by a subway. Someone said, wait, Sabaro, the place they have in every Ohio mall? Dude, you have Sabaros now? No! That's the best New York pizza! That's amazing! You gotta try it. Don't, actually, it's fucking trash. Don't, don't bother. If you're in New York and you get Sabaro, I'm gonna, uh, listen. Listen. I wonder if the guy who said Harold was overrated like Sabaro's better, even though it's like apples to oranges. I'm just curious. But, you know, here's the thing about- about taste, when it comes to food. Some people eat balut. You can look up balut. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, because I don't want to gross people out. Some people eat that, and some people like it. So, when I see people in chat like, oh, mustard's disgusting, pickles are disgusting, I have to remind myself, like, I think to myself, like, well, how could someone not like that? But then I have to think... Oh, people eat tarantulas for pleasure. So, I mean, culturally, there's there's different, there's different things that people eat, but there's also different tastes, like different, you know... People, people like, uh... People like ass-flavored potato chip. Poop coffee? Yeah, there is a poop coffee. I believe the bean grows on poop or something, or in poop, or like, it, it's pooped out of a thing. Fuck! Sorry, I got the star as Mario again. It's a habit. I can't, you know, it's a hard habit to, to break. Went from amazing food to literal poop food. Yeah, sorry about that, but... In, in the interest of conversation, we do have to cover a wide variety of, of things. Because we live in a crazy big old world that has a lot of different things that people like and dislike, and some of that is poop coffee. Vinny, what do you think of the more exotic taco meats, like tripe, tongue, and head? Uh, I'm not an adventurous eater. You might want to talk to my friend Mike about adventurous eating. I'm not that guy. I'm pretty stock standard. I, I mean, you know, I'll eat a lot of different types of vegetables and, and food. Uh, I'm not really that adventurous, though. I won't, I won't go... I won't go into that territory. My friend Tyler is an adventurous eater, too. And, my, and Joe. Uh, that I talk about on stream, uh, it's Studio Joe. He likes a lot of different weird stuff that you might find in the city. I feel like I'm kind of the odd man out in that, in that sense, because I just, uh... I like a wide variety of things within my... genre. Which I guess applies to music, too, if you think about it. Do you like avocados? It's a divisive food. A lot of people don't like avocados, which I find crazy. I am not an avocado person. 
I don't like avocados, no. I don't hate them. If you mean that people that hate avocados, and I see several in chat that hate them, uh, I'm not, like, a hater upon avocado. But I don't get it. I enjoy guacamole. I don't think it's the best thing ever. If I have to choose between guaca, guaca and salsa, I'll go for salsa. But I can tell you that I think mango... Not mango, what am I talking about? Avocado... There's a Blue Apron, uh, Esip... Esip? Really, Vin? There was a Blue Apron recipe I had that wanted me to do avocado slices like in a, like a salad form with salt, pepper, oil on them and, um, some lettuce and I, I was, you know, I was like, wow, this is really bland. I don't get it. But there's another aspect to, um, the whole food debate with cilantro, for example. Some people think it tastes like soap. Apparently, that's just a thing that you have on your, you know, it, it's like a genetic thing. You either think it tastes like soap or you don't. I don't think it tastes like soap, but I don't... If I can avoid cilantro, I will do so. I don't think it's the same thing for avocados, but... Where some people tell me that it's the best ever, and they'll have it on toast every morning. I'm just like, yeah, no, dog. Vegemite? Well, Vegemite's a thing, too, in, you know, Australia. But you have to understand that it's a cultural thing. Like, if you grow up with Vegemite, and you figure out how to do it, which is like a thin layer of butter, and a super thin layer of Vegemite... Not too bad. I tried it. Now, if I grew up... and my parents were giving me that, then, uh, I, I would've... Yeah, I'd probably like that, and I'd probably, like, you know, be nostalgic for it. But actually, just eating Vegemite, plain old Vegemite, you, you've seen the video. It's... Uh, no thanks. So there's a lot of... There's a lot of backtracking in this. This is not... I, I like the theme of the space world, but I don't love the amount of backtracking and the amount of, like, empty. So it's a good thing we're having this discussion about avocados, aren't we? Vinny, what did you do with that jar of Vegemite? I buried it in the woods. No, it's on my counter somewhere. Any paper, please, amore. Just a sheet for me, amore. Implore, implore, amore. Papes, papes, amore. Love the papes, amore. Oh, more, 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 more. And now we do the part. Amore, for down we... Uh, for down you depart. Amore. No more, no more, amore. Singing about flushing toilet paper, like shitty toilet paper. And now you found the fleep amore, oh thank you deep amore. From this moment, oh you and fleeper is one, we shall never part. Fleep follow you amore, companion true amore. Vinny, this is your worst voice ever. So tell me, Vinny, what's your worst voice you ever done? Huh? You like bow ties? Some people like balut. And some people don't like Balut. You either like my voices or you don't. And if you like them, then you you like Balut. This game has infinite secrets and multiple tools for which to find them. So Fleep is used for one thing in one spot. Okay, it's time for me to stop. This was such an off day for me to begin with. And now... It's time for me to go to bed. Someone wrote a complaint about the sticker saying, hey, eight bucks for a sticker is beans at Teespring. The thing is, I don't think Teespring knows what beans means. Okay, so we're in space. Space is the place. Welcome back to Super Paper Mario. Mario and his friends headed to the Space Bypass in search of the pure heart. How did Squirps know about the secret route? Our heroes stared suspiciously at him. Why are you staring like that? Said Squirps. Are you falling for Squirps? In the darkness of space, the eyes of Squirps glinted mischievously. I have to remember to get a star as bows. On a scale from 1 to 10, how much does it hurt to do the squirp voice? Um, zero. Well, like, one. 
Marble It Up has got a challenge mode incoming. I don't know what that means, uh, but I think there's there's more Marble It Up content on the way. I don't know if it's, you know, it's gonna be that great. The other Marble game got an update, the Fractal Marble game. That looks kind of interesting, too. The GPU melter? Yes. Scribble Scrack! This hole, what a lovely shape, Scrap! I don't know why, but I want to be squeezed into there. Someone squish me in! Want to squish? Squirps? Into there? Squizzurp! Feel dirty. Oh, chosen one, what will fulfill this strange alien's desire? Something sweet and what? Then starts with Cho and ends with late. This will open the way. Chobo late. Chobo. Cho. Cho. Chode late. Cho. Ch ch chung. Chungo late. Chobo. Oh, so I've been running some experiments. Can I show you the experiments? Do you know what this is? So that's Mario 64 DS with an actual really good analog facsimile. The music is very crusty though. I don't know how to fix this, but maybe Nari knows. So it's a work in progress. <laughs> That's a whole different button, don't worry about that. That's not relevant. Duh. So, it's not there yet, but um, we're going to talk about that for a second. Because that's a game I tried to stream, and I abandoned it. Because... Reasons that people don't believe, but the D-pad controls in Mario 64 DS are done in such a way that it's not true analog, but it's it's a good facsimile. It just made it really hard to do certain moves, so I gave up the DS version, I went to the 64 version. However, this locks... It ties your analog stick to the touchscreen, and it locks your mouse in the middle. So... I'd say it's like it's a 90% ratio to being like the 64 version. And I can do... Um, I can do uh, flips, I can do side flips, it just, it's great. It's really good. I feel another compulsion must get twisted into there. Someone twist me in! Want to twist Squirps in there. Something. Something's missing, Squirk. Definitely. I can't shake it. There's only one solution. That's right. Squirps must eat something yummy. Squirps will not move until Squirps eats something good. I this I declare, Squirp. It wants to get squoozed into little spaces, and then it wants to eat, and then shit. What a, what a good character. So I'm not saying that there's going to be a Mario 64 DS stream like, really soon. But I've been, um, I read a thread that there is a way to, um, you know, that there was a way to do this, and I tried it out for myself. It took, like, a half hour, and it worked. Now, it's not Mario 64 exactly, but it's actually close enough, and it's better than, um, trying to use an analog stick with the D-pad controls, which, the, you know, the controls, they, they do it in such a way that it leans into the turns, but it makes certain things difficult for me. Some people don't seem to have a problem with it. I had a problem with it. But now, I'm much, much, much more likely to stream it, because it feels much closer to the, the 64 controls. And, um, I tested it out for like a good 10 minutes, and it was great. So anyway. I just wanted to uh, let you all know about that. Now, the audio is a different issue. Oh, and I upscaled it. I can upscale it. I can double the resolution. 
which um, you probably noticed. I can't triple the resolution because then it starts to stutter, but I can double it. Not bad. So it'll look good, it'll play well, and we get to see all the extra stuff, all the extra characters. Um, I just have to figure out the music thing, and then it'll be great. Like, I love Mario 64, the original, but there are things that the DS version does that I like as well. I like the new boss fights, I like the new stars, I like the new game mechanics, I like the other characters. There's so many little things that maybe some people don't like, that I remember really liking. And I think... You know, I- listen, I'm just happy to stream another... Sure, I streamed Mario 64 like a year and a half ago. But if I could stream the DS version in the next, like, couple months... ...and have it play well and look good, I think that'll make for a fun stream. So... anyway. That is my current update. I just remember Wario sucking. Wario was just terrible. He could punch blocks and punch people in the face. And that's about it. Would this be a full sauce first for games replayed on stream? No, I've done randomizers. I've done, um... ...some other games. Like, obviously I go back to roguelites and stuff like that, like indie games. Would you ever stream Star Fox 64 3D? I would like to, actually, yeah. The only reason I haven't... ...is... Well, I'll tell- oh, Zelda 2, yeah. I'll tell you about it in a second, but I have to hit up uh, Space 7-Eleven real quick. Hey, dude! It's me! Did you guys ever see a movie called Space Truckers? It's like a, a cheesy- I, wasn't Steven Dorf in that? He was in that. Wait, no, he wasn't. Was he? I, I think I should have thought about location more when I bought this place. What you looking for today? Just grab whatever grabs your eye. Twinkle shoppers? Do, it, does it matter? I mean, they're all chocolate. Oh my... Oh my god, Space Lois. Looks... Oh, fuck. No. Oh, God! Wait, rip 50 HP? Did I really just eat the thing that was 50 HP? I thought that was 10. Space food heals for 50 HP in space, even though it says 10. Well, at least I don't feel stupid. Vinny, you're great at wasting items in this. I haven't really needed too many items. But I am- that I am, yeah. I've learned how to waste items like the best of them. It's amazing. I'm really proud of myself. It would be cool if your inventory could hold, like, at least, I don't know... ...fucking ten more items. This is- come on. I mean, it scrolls down one time. For one thing. At that point, why even make it scroll down once? Technically, two. For two things. Okay, fine, two things, sorry. So yes, there's a movie called Space Truckers. And it's about, like, space truck stops. I, f I feel like I was talking about something directly before Space Truckers, and then I got sidetracked, and then I forgot. Star Fox 64 3D. Okay, yeah, here's why I haven't streamed it. So, Nintendo, at some point, did, like, a free promotion, and I got Star Fox 64 3D for free. And, um... The problem is it was tied to my other 3DS account, because I, I had to make two accounts. They wouldn't let me have two accounts on- on- one account on two 3DSs. Because they were afraid of piracy or whatever. And I kinda- I guess I get it, to some extent. I understand that, but at the same time... There were a number of games that I had downloaded on my 3DS XL that I couldn't stream because I couldn't... You know, they were digital. 
So I have a digital Star Fox 64 3D on my 3DS XL that I cannot stream. So my question to all of you is this. Does Star Fox 64 3D emulate well yet? Have we cracked 3DS? Uh, oh, I didn't say emulation. I just meant, why not play the original? I've streamed the original several times. I mean, I love the original, but I'd like to stream the 3D version. It's nice. It's, it's cool. I'm sure someone has a problem with it, but uh, I remember enjoying it. Squirps is like, oh man, you think I'd be satisfied by something like this, Squag? But you went to all this trouble, Space Grunt, so I don't want to, but... Squitch up. This is... The chocolate and nuts melt together, creating a full flavor with a clean finish. It's a sweet chocolate sonata written for lovers. It's pure cocoa love. Squirrel, squirrel. Too good. What? Why? The gate. Oh, the gate! It's appeared. The goal is nice, Squirrel. Let's go, space grunts. I actually looked up um, Kid Icarus Uprising in, you know, HD, and it looks really, really good on Citra. It still looks a little bit glitchy, though. And, um... Aquas is upside down in the emulation of Star Fox 64 3D. Um, apparently the game cr uh, Star Fox... Uh, it's not Star Fox, Kid Icarus uh, crashes on level 4. So, that's a problem. But... But it looks, it looks amazing. And uh, another thing about it is, someone modded it so that you can play it with an Xbox controller and not have to use the touchscreen. I just want to show you what Nintendo could be releasing at this time. This is something that they could release on the Switch. Just a couple of enhancements. Get the frames up to 60. That's really something. So you'd better not be thinking about anything naughty. What? How did you? <laughs> Just kidding. And you know the video quality isn't even as good as it could be. So, but I would I would buy this. I would buy this in a second. Take a look at some of the, the more, like it, it, it still looks good. The art style is strong enough that even with all the, the 3DS like crust, it still looks pretty damn good when it's upscaled. It, it's not the best looking thing ever, but it, you know what? Way better than I was expecting. So anyway, yep, that's, uh, that's something. But again, as good as that looks, you can't get past level four. Do you remember when Bowser spoke in Mario Sunshine? Oh, Bowser Jr., how are you? So yeah, I mean, um, that was Clancy Brown. That was really Clancy Brown? I never knew that Clancy Brown did so much voice work. I just always remembered him as the guard from, um, I mean, he's in a bunch of movies, but I always remembered him as the guard from, um, Shawshank Redemption. Yeah, and then I found out he was Mr. Krabs, and I was like... Like... Maybe... Maybe he likes doing voice acting, like... I would. I would rather be a voice actor than an, an actual actor. Not that I know what being an actor entails, but... Voice acting seems like fun. Acting seems like poom. Mark Marin interviewed Krusty the Clown. That seems like fun. Like, they pretended it was, like, an episode of his podcast. And Krusty just, like, I, I think they ad-libbed, I don't know, but... Krusty was talking about, um, food-related trauma. I don't actually like pies! 30th year, them Simpsons. I've watched, like, seven full Simpsons episodes in my entire life. If I ever, like, actually decide to watch The Simp... I will, um... You know, 
I'll probably watch like seasons one to nine. Something like that, right? Vinny, what are you doing? I was trying to get to that door. Doesn't look like it's... That one. I clearly have made a mistake. I don't actually like pies! They're just cake with whipped with cream on, on them! I can do crusty until I start belching. Not that you needed to hear this, but that, I, I just can't... This bizarre beast is called a pig, pig rhythm. Everything about it is just odd. Max HP is whatever, and then there's some stuff. Attacks. It takes three stomps to finish off this piggy. Each stomp makes it smaller and faster. It's very hard to stomp the last one. Pig gather rhythms often drop many coins, so you may want to hunt them if you're broke. It's a nice hog you got there, mister. Mind if I squeeze it? You know, I was surprised to learn that there's an, um, that the word simp is actually a dirty word. Based on Homer Simpson's face. Related to, um, stuff. It wasn't Clancy Brown who voiced Bowser in Sunshine, it was Scott Burns. He voiced Bowser throughout the GameCube era of Mario games. So did... Did, um, Clancy Brown voice Bowser? Or... At, at all? Or... Wait, what are you telling... No? Alright, and welcome to Misinformation! This is the newest game show on Vine Sauce. Today, we're going to be learning about voice actors that actually weren't the voice actors for the thing they were supposed to be the voice actors for! He voiced Cortex in the original Crash Bandicoots. Bowser, Crash Bandicoot, or, you know, Cortex, same thing. I'm sure Star Fox 64 3D is not that expensive at this point, right? If I wanted to stream it, I'd just plop down 20 bucks for it. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. My 3DS that I stream with is the very definition of crust. Oh, this is this is a cool level, by the way. I first of all, I I would be happy if I didn't have to touch a 3DS again. It was a great little system. It did what it had to do, but I'm good. Um, my 3DS capture card has. So, the 3DS that I use for streaming purposes is the first generation 3DS, like day one 3DS. And the analog stick already came off once, and I had to glue it back on. It randomly shuts off. The cable, like the slot in the back where the cable goes in, for the, um... You know, that was the, the place that was modified so that I can stream. That little, like, entryway is really loose, so sometimes I d it disconnects. Uh, the buttons are, like, kind of fucked up. The screen is, like... Listen, this is gonna be gross. Look at your Wii U screen and tell me if that shit's pristine. Now picture me streaming... ...speaking while I'm playing my 3DS, and imagine... There, there's some spit on that that I can't get rid of. I'm <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's not that you can eat, you can get rid of spit. That's not the problem. The real problem, you can't get rid of certain finger, like finger marks. Like some of the screen is scratched. It just gets so shitty. The the, the finish on the 3DS makes it look really like fucking gnarly after that many years of use. Now, I think I could get a 3DS that's, like, a new 3DS, like, um, you know, a, a 2DS or a 2DS XL or a 3DS XL. I could get one of those for capture. But that, I think, would cost me, like, 300 bucks. And... The time of the 3DS is more or less over, so I was really, really hoping we could get that emulation up to speed by the time I, uh... More like 500? Are you serious? Vinny, if you t to get a streaming and 3DS XL, you have to install install a CFW on it. What is that? One second, hang on a minute. Um, 3DS capture. 
card. Custom firmware. Just give me one second here. All products. Here's the website I got mine on years ago, I believe. I don't even think they're selling it anymore. It means you need homebrew. It's 3DS home. Oh god. Yeah, that website doesn't even seem to work anymore, or, or it doesn't seem like they're selling 3DS capture cards anymore. Sure, if it's easy, that's great, but I also, you know, I don't want to risk... I would do it, I, you know, if I had to, but... So now we're spending three to five hundred bucks on a product that may or may not exist for, like, two games. Vinny, they're talking about shitty homebrew-based streaming. Are you talking about... You're talking about the really crusty streaming that's, that's, um... Yeah, no, that's, that's not the streaming that I'm talking about. I, I need a hard mod, otherwise it would look terrible. And apparently the people that do that don't do that anymore. This hurts. This hurts the brain. Oh my god. And now I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Someone said I need Peach to get to the left door. Oh shit, I don't know. I'm confused. There it is. I didn't realize I hadn't been in that door already. Someone said, when's the last time a video game had a good flamethrower during the Resident Evil 2 stream just before this? I think we have our answer. What? Oh no! My brain hurts! I'm... Still very... brain hurty. Vinny, are you gonna stream Tetris 99 in the future? Next week, yeah. By the time I play it, though, everyone's gonna be so much better at it than I am. I was already not great at it, but now I'm going to be extra shit. Learn to T-spin. How about I just stream Tetris Attack and we call it even? No, I, I actually really like Tetris 99. I would like to revisit that. But Tetris Attack is good, too. Question, is Tetris Attack on the SNES Classic? I forgot. No? Well, it will be. I have um, a rare, like you know, you know how sometimes you buy a video game system and it and it's it's rare, and there, it does cool things that other ones don't do. I think next time I check the SNES Classic, it's gonna have Tetris Attack on it. So cool. Maybe it'll have Act Razor on it as well. I don't know. What about Tetris Effect on the PS4? I'm not that big of a Tetris fan where I would have to get every Tetris game. I know that game is beautiful. And if I had PSVR, I would probably try that out, and... I would... What would I do before then? Just have a nice dinner. Underrated puzzle game? Medios. On the DS. I put a lot of hours into that game, but I hit a skill ceiling and I just stopped. There's been a lot of uh, discussion about Link's Awakening uh, remake, and here are a couple things I'm excited for. I don't think there's going to be like a lot of new stuff. Maybe the color dungeon, but I want to see what Wart and that weird sunfish look like in 3D. And yes, anti Kirby as well. Sure. It's not a long game. For, you know, by Zelda standards. I wonder if that's gonna turn a lot of people off, because there's like a lot of new Zelda fans now because of the, um... Because of the Breath of the Wild. <laughs> and... I know that there's people gonna get that because they're like, oh, another Zelda game. But I think it's actually a really good choice to have that as, like, a follow-up Zelda game to see what the classic style is. And with the, uh, quality of life improvements. It's like, oh, this is what Zelda is also. Hopefully it's under 60 bucks. That's the big, um, point of contention, isn't it? The $60 price point. I stand by my conviction that that was a 3DS game. Good thing I, um... Use that mushroom, huh, chat? Once again, have wasted another item. 
I think that it, N Nintendo would be really smart to make that 40 bucks, like a 3DS price. But I also think if they say they restarted development on it for the Switch and they had to upscale all their assets and everything, which I think happened, I don't know for sure, maybe it didn't happen. Then, and it's already been rumored for like two years that this existed. Then I wonder, like, would they even consider 40 bucks because they need to make their money? And it's Zelda, you know, it'll sell. Some Wii U games were 40 bucks. I, I'm just gonna say, don't be surprised if it's 60. It should be 40, but it'll be 60. I hope I'm wrong. Vinny, you're still going to buy it for 60 bucks. I love Link's Awakening too much not to, and I also... It's a new Zelda game. Well, it's a new old Zelda game. And also, I think it would make... Obviously, it would make for a great stream. I didn't expect I'd be streaming Link's Awakening two years in a row, but I'm okay with this. When I was younger, I would start a new game of Link's Awakening once every three, four months. And sometimes see it to completion, sometimes not. It's a, it's a world I like to be in. So yeah, I'll be streaming it. Just, you know, hopefully if it's 60, they add some new stuff to it. And if it's, you know, maybe a couple dungeons, I don't know, what, anyway. Splow, splow poke. Splow pokes! Squirps, you've done well. You're a smart kid. Squirps, squeeze, stop it. Squirps is embarrassed. Why the truest voice was that, Squirrel? Squirp! Space Niblet, you okay? Uh, how do I voice this character? Um... I don't even know what kind of voice. um... Ha <laughs> ha Who are you? Oh, me? Just one of Count Black's more promising minions? The Green Thunder? Totally original new character. How do I voice them? Mr. L! I don't need you to tell me it's a cool name. I know it! Don't bother memorizing it! Try to do Danny Wells Luigi for this one, but I'm, I'm not even gonna bother. I'm gonna go back to the other one. Why? Because I'm about to give you a burial at sea! I mean, a burial in space! Oh, the evil king of all charlatans! Do I look scared? How about you? That's Mr. L. This new hire of Count Blex is a real mystery man. Max HP 40, attack is 3. He uses his high jump as a weapon. And that powered up super jump is quite super. He has no other outstanding features of note. And why does he remind me so much of Mario? No other outstanding features of note. Oof! Impressive! I guess there's but one thing to do, hmm? Come at me, Metal Bro! Was that a meme reference? Was that a come at me, bro reference? That was a come at me, bro reference. Wow. Wow. The internet has seeped into this game in so many ways. That said, come to me? Oh, I vine blinded. I was hoping it would have been a meme. I wanted it to be a meme so bad. Uh, again, this game definitely does some unexpected and interesting things. Um, hey, this makes no sense! Yeah, it's a shame that was, like, painfully easy. Oh no, you beat the roll back! I'll let you off the hook for the rest of today, I suppose. But remember this! When Fortune smiles next, she'll smile right here on Mr. L! Oh! Hmm, Mr. L. What a nut job. I feel like I've seen that guy before. Ah, uh, that was awful, Scorp. We have to pull ourselves together, Space Grunts. The pure heart is ahead. Come on, Sprinkles. What do you think that alien smells like? Ha ha, asking for a friend. Whew. 
Now that Squirps is all relaxed, Squirps feels kind of tired, said Squirps. And with that, Squirps lay down before the statue of his beloved mother and died. No, uh, mother, mother, he said, his voice soft. I did my best, right? Are you proud of me? Then slowly, young Squirps closed his eyes. The mission had weighed heavily on his tiny back, and he was proud to fulfill it. Wait, what the fuck? I guess he really was so tired. That poor son of a bitch. He's just sleeping. Though the man in red shall wield formidable powers, one shall stand against him. The man in green shall use the Chaos Heart's power to bring darkness to all. Jesus Christ, this is the plot to Mother 3. <laughs> so it is written in the Dark Pragnosticus. How was it this time, then? Did you find another pure heart in outer space? Yes, we found the fifth pure heart. And this one... Chippy ah! is dead. I will watch over Chippy. Young heroes, please, the pure heart. Find the next pure pillar. A heart pillar. Mega Man. <laughs> it's just, just Bowser is kind of hard to take serious. Where, where am I going? Someone said I can I can go back for a second to visit a specific thing. Specific. Four one. Okay. So here we are thinking that um our friend Squirps is dead, but here he is. Long time no see, Squirp. How have you been? What Squirps dead? Oh no, I was just sleeping. Squirp. Let's play again, Squirp. Let's go. I like that it even acknowledges that he was just sleeping. We should visit Dexter Jetster's 1950s space diner. Hang on. I want to show you guys a secret. I found out how to unlock Breadward. Watch. You just have to, yeah, you just have to kill Mario, and then you can unlock Breadward later. That's a pre- that's a pre-requisite. Also, I want to say pre-requisite is a hard word to say when you're tired. And dark prognosticus is a difficult word to say when you are doing a voice of a senile old man. Dark prognosticus fresh! What do you have? What wares? What illegal wares do you have? Lots of big egg? Fresh pasta bunch. With no sauce on it, so it's Mario Super Show... ...canon. Canonical. This is some good pasta! And he just, like, fucking slurps it up with no sauce on it. It's oiled pasta? I don't know. I don't know, I feel like it was just boiled... ...and then that's it. Cause, you know, you can do oil and, like, garlic and, and, uh, you know, some... Herb, herbs, and, and, you know, you can actually get a really nice light pasta. But I'm thinking in the Super Show, it was, it was simply... Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry to say, I believe it was simply just, uh, it was just boiled and that's it. Oh boy, this is just bad. They say the deadline's passed and I have nothing. Boy, at least if the world ends, I'll be free from the agony of writer's rock. Ah, come on, end already. Yeah, yeah, I can relate. We need 40,000 megatons. That's my uh, original song, Do Not Steal. It's called 40,000 Megatons. Some of you may think to yourselves, Vinny, there's already a pawn song called 30,000 Megatons, and you just stole that from them. No, 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 my song is called 40,000 Megatons. It's like, do you remember when Vanilla Ice was trying to defend himself? People were like, yeah, you pretty much just stole the Queen and David Bowie riff. And he was like, no. He was like, my beat goes dun 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 dun
Dun dun dun dun dun dun dun. He said it was very- he said it was different. You know how I know the 90s were a dark time? At least somewhat, or like the late 80s, early 90s? I remember, I was alive, and the Ninja Turtles movie had come out, and Vanilla Ice did the- like, the songs. Or he did a song, Go Ninja, Go Ni And people were like, thinking Vanilla Ice was the coolest dude ever. Hmm. Well, it was a nice attempt, trying to save the world and all that. <laughs> Do you remember when Vanilla Ice was like, I want to be ninja? When he was doing the, uh, the Ninja Turtle song. So you hit all of them once. Do you remember when he tried to come back as a stoner rapper, complete with fake dreads? I remember that, I remember when Vanilla Ice tried to come back as like a corn-esque rap, uh, rock star. Like, he was doing rock music, like, hard, like, late 90s, like, hardcore rock music. I remember, there was a time on The Daily Show, it wasn't The Daily, it was Jon Stewart's show or something, they had some kind of thing... Oh man, what was it? There was some kind of thing, it was like, Carrot Top? Vanilla Ice, Jon Stewart, and someone else, and Vanilla Ice went fucking mental. And he started, like, trashing the set and hitting things with a baseball bat. Ha ha ha, not to brag, I just so happen to be a best-selling novelist. Tell me, have you ever heard of the Grotus Chronicles? I created that epic cartoon. Hmm, yes. And of late, my mind positively brims with ideas of the utmost quality. I've hit all my deadlines for the next five years so I can spend my time at leisure. Everyone is backwards. Vinny, the daily late, late, late Conan night show with Jimmy Jimmy was the show. Oh yeah, that's when Vanilla Ice broke the set. So we're in the mirror dimension currently. This is the mirror dimension where Vanilla Ice remained re relevant and did not beat the shit out of a television set. Jimmy Jimmy J and Conan. What am I doing? Oh no, it's the owl again. Oh no, here again! There's like, what, 240 cards in this? Could you imagine buying them all, having to sit through that menu every single time? Or like, just one purchase at a time? Oh hey, Vanilla! <laughs> what do you think of- what do you think of the show? Vanilla's like, that's a nice set you got there, Jay. And then Bill Hicks is like, Suck Satan's cock, Vanilla! Back again, I see. Oh well, here you are, hmm? And, uh, where did- Oh, uh, sorry. Ah, well, here you are, hmm? And, uh, where did you get in from, huh? This is no place for someone who cannot appreciate the art. Someone like Vu. I think I'd better leave! Go away, take off, scoot! Be gone, huh? <laughs> Papa shoots straight up from the hip, as people say, and that causes him to hurt the feelings of people he close to him. That is what Mama said. Someone said, to be fair, doesn't Vanilla Ice still hold the record for highest grossing single? Maybe the dude just has a lot of money now. I mean, whether or not he's relevant, you don't need to be relevant to, to hang out on a beach and sip pina coladas all day. To be honest, you're quite exquisite, but, uh, your haircut, terrible, terrible, so too sell, unruly. <laughs> Hello, what is the word? Uh, oui, so yesterday, yesterday, monsieur. Wait one moment, I will transform you into a work of art, the epitome of woman. I don't know if I'm saying any of these French words correctly. Voila, you monsieur are perfection. Oh, c'est vous! Are you ready to make your debut, huh? The world awaits. But beauty is fragile. It's fragile, huh? This hairstyle is very hard to maintain. Be careful. Get hit once <laughs> and you lose the haircut? There are people saying they never knew about this. 
Neither did I, but, you know, the chat... Chat knew it was up. You will eat now, schnitzel. This is cooking laboratory called Hot Frown. Here we grab flavor and the spank it. You bring two ingredients, and then, and then we make treats so tasty you can cry like baby. And now we cook for you. First ingredient, now! Is this sex? Ah! You, ch you changed mine. Hmph. Well, you come again, you naughty little strudel. <laughs> Everyone is just nasty on the side of the mirror. I want to go there now. Mayhap I shall do it later. Mayhap. What is proper speak? Flowery speak. You know, I was at Medieval Times yesterday. That's what I did yesterday. Went with a friend, and it was wonderful. Medieval Times is fucking awesome. Speaking of, uh, you know, the 90s, the Cable Guy movie. Welcome to Medieval Times! Did your team win? No, my team was the bad guy. He disgraced the queen, and then he fought, uh, the black and white knight. Ours was the red and yellow knight. And, um, he disgraced the queen by being an asshole. And he did horrible things, and the Master of Ceremonies wanted to fucking gut him with his sword, but he- he allowed the Black and White Knight the honor of slaying him, which he did so dutifully, as I ate my chicken with my bare hands, and then Ronald McDonald knighted him, the Red and Yellow Knight, under the Golden Arches. By the way, their tomato soup, as most of you have- who have been there know, is outstanding. It's- why is their tomato soup so good? Why is it so good? And then they give you garlic bread and you dip it in the soup. It's fucking amazing. What is it? What are they doing with it? How do you get a job as a knight at medieval times? Did you sleep well? Your breakfast is ready. But just exactly where I put it is a secret. Run along now. There's an AMA that a guy did. Can you, like, tweet that to me or something? Because I want to read that. Cool fucking breakfasts. Ah, it's Merlee's House of Charms, Flopside Branch, by my arms. You're surprised, don't be. I was worried for you, Gee, so I moved here. Hee <laughs> hee. If you have a charm of mine, life will surely be so fine, whether it is rain or shine. Let me ask you, though, want a charm before you go? Charm package is very now, an extra goodness I allow, you will have to say wow. Choose, you can't lose. Nope. Ah, well, that's too bad, so sad. Come back, I'll be glad. Why does this character have a new voice? Because it's- it's a different town! I thought this would be like a jape fortune teller that just lies to you and tells you, like, the wrong location to go. Thank you, really and truly, here we go! Sparkling sun up in the sky, shine fortune on these guys. Key -yi. Charming is now complete. You're set to go compete. When that charm wears out, come back for another bout. You're back. I'm feeling better now. Let's get going. Oh, okay. That doesn't really explain much, but all right. Are you sure you feel well enough, my dear? I'll be fine. There's no time to stay in bed anyway. And I want to be near Mario. Then I will not hold you back. These good people will surely need your knowledge. Heroes, please take good care of Tipper. This is like a more wholesome version of the, the fucking the fairy in the, the Zelda TV show from the 80s. Where the, the fuck... Like, so, there's a love triangle. Link wants to... Link wants to bone Zelda. And then she smacks him, and she- and she's like, No! And he's like, Excuse me! But then there's a fairy in- in the picture as well, whose name is Sprite, and she's like, you know, six inches tall. And she's always trying to, like, get in Link's pants. It's weird. It's a weird fucking show. 
They would need to check how much you can control your horses. If the horses don't like you, you won't get the job. But, like, imagine being a knight at medieval times, and you do your shows, and then when you're done, you just put on a hoodie, and you just drive home in New Jersey. In the middle of nowhere, New Jersey. You just went for like two hours of cheering and applauding and like people loving the fuck out of you for doing these amazing cool st things and then, and then, and then you're just Chad. I'm not reading this. Rah! Big rock who watches! Kragnons just little rocks! Kragnons need help! You hook Kragnons up, rah! Oh, Kragnons go crunch! And then no more Kragnons. End of all Kragnons coming, no way must Krag on. Save us Kragnons, bruh. Krigly Kragly crew, I hate these people. Kragly Wagu. <laughs> Where in the world are we and what are you things? This is land of Kragnons. Me Kragnon, him Kragnon. This land of Kragnons. Not rocket science, bruh. Anyway, big, how do you know what a rocket is? Anyway, big bruh here is my ball, chief of all crag nerds. One day, freak plant people came, nerd Kragnon named them Floro Sapiens. They kidnapped many Kragnons. We were peaceful brass. And they give, no give, give, they give peace no chance. That was tough. It's like, rescue team of Kragnons now need to be rescued. We at end of our crag. I'm constipated. This bad brass. Kragnons must work this out, or Kragnons go ex extinct, brah! You prune floor sapiens, you save kidnapped buds. You hook Kragnons up. Sure thing, brah. That's a terrible, brah! King Crag is returned! What? 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 Village Kragnons kidnapped. Please, Kragnons need to hook it up, brah! What in. What in God's. Fucking name have I stumbled into? Flintsteins. Meet the Flintsteins. They are from the past prehistoric they prehistory. Flintsteins. Meet the Flintsteins. They will get you in and out of school. Oh, it's a happy box. Oh shit. That's the move. That's the move that Piranha Plant has in Smash. Yeah, harsh in my head, bruh. Well, this went horribly. Face look real sad, bruh. You not enjoy laugh? Huh. Here's secret of laugh. Find stuff that interest interests you. Then you get your crag on. Stuff of interest all over. Jasper, I tell you about one to start you up, bruh. You see three blocks in a row. You bonk them like this. Left, right, middle. Something of interest really happened then, bruh. Jasper, I'd crag you now. I want to get my crag on. <laughs> Please. What a game. Uh, what the fuck even is this game anymore? A couple of good moments in there. Some good story development. Who is Mr. L? I mean, I've been voicing him like Luigi, but I don't even... I don't know who that is. All right, bruh. Hook a, hook a Krognan up. What are they called? Crag, crag Mounds. All right, bro. So I started this chapter and we got a bunch of prehistoric strange dudes telling me Crag Mounds lived here long time, hunting in peace. But Crag Mounds end soon. Floro Sapiens will take all Crag Mounds soon. And then, yeah! This is thing this stupid thing what is this thing again these fucking rocks i know what i have to do right i have to no i'm not not flip um maybe um not even wow not even the mighty barry y yeah do the same thing over and over again yeah you can jump on spiked enemies with carry 
Oh my god! Vinny, it still says Tetris. You have, um... Your information is, is bad. You have outdated information. You were not furnished with all the informations you could use. Or need, at this point in time. Incorrect informations. Vinny, it still says Red Dead Redemption 2. I wouldn't be surprised. The amount of time I put into streaming that fucking game. Now, now I can start the Craig name chapter with a fresh mind. By the way, this is Chrono Trigger. Look. This is where you get the red rock to um, repair Frog's legendary sword. The Massa Moon. Succulent Peach. Bowser's like, yeah! I want, I want some of that. Peach punches him in the face. He dies of a burst blood vessel. Oh god, Nicolas Cage voicing Bowser. I, I could eat a peach for hours. Of course I remember that, chat. Of course. When did that happen? When did they tell me left, right, middle? That was on a previous stream, right? Wrong. Well, down is the same button, you know, to go down the pipe and to use Bowser's fire, because, you know... Let's, uh, let's go back to the days of the NES controller. I watched some fucking video about Metroid Other M. I don't know why. I don't know why. And it was talking about how Sakamoto really wanted to, um, limit the, um, the designers, because through limitation comes creativity, so that's why the, um, the Wiimote was turned on its side for that game. Was it Geek Critique? I think it was. So, as a result, you have a tiny D-pad moving Samus in a, you know, 3D world. I mean, I'm happy the Switch is successful, but I'm also really happy it's not just Wii 2, which, as we all know, was attempted. Sorry, it would have been Wii 3 at that point, which is actually a pretty good comic. Give me a second. Just give me a second here, I'm gonna brute force this. Okay, cool. Alright, it's a ten... That's a ten entry long combination. Now I see why people were complaining about this chapter. <gasps> Oof! Oh my god, I'm poisoned! Sorry, I just love the Mario Party version of Luigi and Mario. Well, not so much Mario, but more Luigi's voice. Oh yeah, baby. Always forget about that. Every stream, I forget that that's the one that you don't want to touch. Thought you could jump on those with Carrie, said someone. Oh, me too. I absolutely thought I could jump on, on them with Carrie. You know what I need? I need banana juice. Which is, incidentally, a good character in Smash Brothers. Still looking bummed, bruh. That's not the face of a person getting their crag iron. Jasper, I'd know what you need to put a smile on your face. Craig, you know. You hear it? Heh, <laughs> Jasper, I'd not tell you for free. But hey, be chill, bruh. Jasper, I'd not want money. Jasper, I'd just want you to say please real quick. Then Jasper, I'd tell you. Excuse me, why? You not hooking Jasperoid up. Jasperoid must hear, please. Do it right, bruh. Really, it's case sensitive? Hmm. Jasperoid not sure that one time is enough, bruh. How about one more time? Say please, one more time. Cool fucking chapter. Hmm. Jasperoid not feeling that, bruh. Maybe you're not giving it oomph. You say it three times and put some crag into it, brah. Now, please, three times. <laughs> 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 
Do not hooking Jasperoid up. Jasperoid must hear, please. But he typed it with a cap. There was a, there was a capital that that time. Bad, bad gameplay. Bad. Yeah, Jasper. Nice, Jasperoid can tell you really won't hear big secret. Jasperoid feeling it, bruh. So here information nug for you. It kind of long though, so you maybe write it down so you not forget, bruh. You got tool for writing with um cra within Craig's reach. I do. I have Dick Tracy cards to write this stuff on. Priceless Dick Tracy cards. You make sure to get this all down, bruh. Next time you find three blocks land up, you bet bonk like this. M R L L R M R L R R Middle right right what the fuck? All these two? Sick game. That it, you write it down, you just do it right, something interesting happened, bruh. It's been a good time, bruh, have a nice Craig. Vinny, the chat can't help you here, the bot sees us helping you as spam. I don't know, like, what if, what if it dropped me in the Flora Kingdom? You know what I mean? Like, what if the warp took me to the, to the enemy? I'd be helping them instead, and I'd be having a wonderful time, we'd be hanging out. It's like, I get what they were trying to do with, say, Super Paper Mario, like, the, the action gameplay to mix it up a little bit, and I, I can appreciate that, but it's not even as tight as, like, an actual Mario platformer. Like, I can't use the bomb while I'm in the air, for example. You can't even do bombos. I overall do enjoy this game, but I can see both sides of the argument. Though, less so the people that utterly hate it. That I don't get. I, I don't think this is a hateable game in any way, shape, or form. I think this is actually a very good game... ...so far. But yeah, it's it's got some... it's got some stupidity. To each their own. I, agreed, absolutely. But I, I think it's it's cool to be able to play a video game and see both... ...you know, some good things and, and some not-so-great things, and to not just be... ...you know... Um, ...a Nintendo... Apologists for everything they do because they make they have made some not great games Some within this very series if you can believe it also the the, the other thing about um, The Mario Party series is there are like I feel like there are more bad Mario parties or mediocre Mario parties than there were good ones Don't get me wrong Mario Party 1 2 and 3 choice excellent games 4 I like 4. I don't remember anything about 5. I don't remember very much about 6. Maybe it was a little... Maybe I remember a little bit about 6. Um, I didn't hate it. And then from there on out, until Super Mario Party... Aside from Mario Party 3DS, which I like because it had that stupid Choices Voice minigame. Choices... Choices Voice... 2 to 7 were all great. I don't remember 7. I just remember... There was, like, a diminishing returns point with Mario Party for me, where every time I'd, I'd buy one in the hopes of it being really great, it ended up being mediocre at best. And I was just like, oh, fuck, I wasted more money. But Super Mario Party is good. I just wish it had more online, and I wish it got some fucking DLC. Anyway. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Why am I going left, you may ask? When I can very clearly go right. I don't know. Clearly there was no reason for me to be doing this. I thought Breadward would be there. Wait, that was the whole... not chapter, but... There wasn't really a lot to do there. Well, yeah, that was the whole chapter. There, there wasn't a ton to do except... to write down a long fucking code. He knew his fleet feet <laughs> would catch them eventually.
And there are the Captain Falcon emotes, as expected. Someone said chat's so predictable, isn't it? I'm predictable. Humans are predictable. You spend enough time with humans, you find out... We're on loops. It's fucking Westworld. But that's okay, because if you go so far out of your way to be unpredictable, you end up just coming across... Like... Like you don't have any real convictions. I think a nice middle ground between, like, chaos and order is nice. Gonna ride that line, you know? Somewhere in between Bart and Jock. Batman and Joker. You don't want to go too Jock, though. The Jocker? I mean, if you get too close to Jocker, that could be a slippery, uh, slope, you know what I mean? Wow, this got really, uh, interesting. This is a very interesting conversation. What the fuck? Speaking of unpredictable, when you play the Mario, the Mario, if you have Fire Flower, you can shoot and you can kill underwater, but if you don't, in most Mario's, you, you're gonna have a hard time. Disappeared down a pipe, did they? What am I, blind?! Shut up! Jesus, these fucking piranha plants just... Endless supplies of vegetables and fruit. You know what they should do? They should start a website. Maybe get a phone number. Also, does it make anyone else irrationally- ir Irrationally? <laughs> what? That's not a word. Irrationally upset that fruit isn't spelled F-R-O-O-T. That's just me, right? Not in the slightest. Very slightly. Well, why aren't we, you know, the English language is really weird because we should be pronouncing it fruit. Oh, you know me, I'm just trying to argue against long-established conventions of the English language. Just a, a typical stream night for me. There, there, there. It's a good Radiohead song, at least. I was listening to Radio Friend again. I just, I went, you know, down the wormhole again. As you do. And, um, surprised at how many songs still really get me. In their catalog. But specifically, the stuff I was listening to today was, uh, the In Rainbow stuff. It's just, um, what a great album. It, it's, yeah, 15 Step in particular is, oh god. It, well, it, yeah, it's oh god, it's amazing, but... I like Jigsaw falling into place. Still. Like, probably the best. I mean, Reckoner, they're all amazing, I don't know how you choose, but... 15 Step and Jigsaw are the ones that I keep coming back to lately. Though, Weird Fishes... Let me tell you about Weird Fishes. Good. How to disappear completely. Yeah. Apparently Michael Stipe from R.E.M. was, um, helping Tom through the bullshit of Celebrity when they hit it really big with OK Computer. And, um, he told him to repeat the mantra, I'm not here, this isn't happening, just over and over and over again, whenever he was all kinds of fucked up in the head. And he did, and it worked a little bit, and he wrote a song about it called How to Disappear Completely. So now you know. Have you listened to Tom's solo stuff? Yeah, um, yeah, I like it a lot, but I, I'm s slowly working in t my way through Suspiria, the Suspiria soundtrack. I went to, uh, Sam Ash today to try to find a guitar pedal called the Monosynth. It's a new electroharmonics pedal. And, uh, they didn't have it. Even though they said they were shipping it and they said that these particular stores have it, they didn't have it. But it's a synth pedal, and it's really interesting. I, I can't... I can't wait to pick it up. But, um... Yeah, I was listening to, to Radiohead on the way there, and then... My GPS was like, turn left on Greenwood Avenue or something, and I was like, huh. But yeah, it's, it's cool. It sounds really good. I know, um, I've delved into the bastard territory of music, uh, music conversation. And I want you to know that you have my sympathy, my deepest and most sincerest sympathies for having to listen to... ...to this. Synthesizer opinions? I don't know a lot about synths, but I do... I use a lot of VSTs. Vacuum Pro, I think, is one I'm using at the moment that I'm really enjoying. It's a yellow block, it will break if you hit it with a hammer. Hammer. Vinny, do you want to talk about the history of Limp Biscuit? Well, one day, there was a pool of vomit in a bar. In this bar, they played things like 90s rock, 
some rap. Lots of eclectic music and maybe even a little bit of, like, new metal. And from one of these vomit pools that a number of people have vomited in, overnight, they, they didn't clean it, they forgot to clean it. But each person that vomited into it had a different musical style. And overnight, when the lights were off, lightning struck the bar. And from the vomit puddle, the figure of a humanoid rose. Slowly. Filthy. It looked in the mirror, and it grabbed a hat from the floor, and it called itself Fred. And then Limp Bizkit started. Vinny, have you already started saving money to buy David Gilmore's sweet black strat? As much as I would love to say that I've, I've inherited Gilmore's black strat, I wouldn't be worthy. Um, and it's also probably gonna auction for over $150,000. So no, I'm, I'm quite... I'm quite good, thank you. Sell your house for it. Yeah, I mean, you can live inside of a guitar. Good play! I've not been made to wait like this since that fane last stood me up long, long ago! You didn't, uh, break my concentration, didn't you? Ah, uh, you, you likes to cheatin', eh? Salutations, oh chunks Oh, salutations, oh chunks You. Ah, once again we meet like two ha large hairy vikings on a storm-tossed schooner. schooner. <laughs> Holy shit. Is he posing? Hey, hey, cool, cool Wiimote, but maybe we can turn this time, asshole. You lot, you took enough of your beating for today, so I'll let you off easy, like. I'll tell you this, though. You better work on your skills by the next time we meet! I think we lost like 400 viewers since I started doing the O-Chunks voice. So listen, weird question. You got a motto or what? Whisper it to me, huh? Oh yeah, that's perfect. I am loving that. Real good wording, real good timing, you really got me right here in the heart. And on that note, hang on a quick sec. Sack. So I'm, I'm a 33-year-old man-child. So yeah, that's your motto, words to live by, right? Right on, good stuff. You can even break giant yellow blocks and brown bricks. Oh, you actually get a real hammer from it. You don't actually, you don't use the pixel as a hammer. I could have made it say fuck. As they groped their way along, what a choice of word. I see people are sour pleasing, so this must be a good one. It's kind of funny how Mario gets a hammer this far in the game. But some make history with sheer goal and willpower. And Flint Cragley is such a man. Cragley, hey! Into the Floro Sapiens Cave of Doom. A Flint Cragley, Crag Trotting Adventure. Huh? You're in a quest to uh, find a treasure called the Pure Heart. <laughs> it just, Vinny, as an Aussie, I am very angry with you. This isn't Australian. This is uh, some something else. It's totally different. And uh, oh, check this out. He's like uh, the reason I did this. He reminds me of like the Crocodile Hunter. Yeah, spectacular, just fabulous. Uh, but not the Australian Crocodile Hunter. Some other random, mysterious, made-up, uh, all-time coincidence. That's what it is. My name is Flint. If you see, if you see my son, tell him I've been looking for him. His name is. Uh, never mind. It's not important. Just fucking baby Mario's dying. We've we've reached Baby Mario death saturation point. Someone just said slowly lose it. Oh fuck! Kind of an accident, actually. I was gonna go back real quick. Someone said losing baby ducks one at a time. It's like a mama duck. 
you know, my mama duck walking over a sewer grate. What? No, 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 no. Like, over a... I'm talking about, like, a sewer grate over a nice, um... Um... Oh, hey, British. Over a nice, um, fish tank. In a, in a nice place. Vinny, you lost points? You lost, like, 1,500 points. Oh, that's cool. So, why, when I touch them, do they damage me? They're brainwashed? Well, now they're brain dead. Only two left. That's okay, they can repopulate the village. That Kragnon has been brainwashed with a strange sprout by the Floro Sapiens. I don't like that. But I accept my fate. And thus begin thus begins the story of how Mario entered Jacob's ladder. I can't believe this game has a morality meter. Someone just wrote, Vincent Sauce, Pink Floyd is overhyped outside of two albums. Vinny, I just finished listening to Pink Floyd's discography. Aside from Dark Side and The Wall, they are incredibly overhyped. It's okay to be wrong about some things, because that's fine. I'd say that they're overhyped, um, for sure. However, I'm gonna say that the- the two albums... There's two bad albums, and the rest are good. But first, you see other crew crackdowns with little sprout on top of head? Floro sapiens using sprouts to mind control crackdowns. They see you, they attack, don't let guard down, bruh. Crag you later! See, now there's more people. There's more people that I'm not gonna kill. Oh! Oh, fuck! Then if you could- only you could avoid them by flipping into 3D. I think I'm gonna have to get past them to see what's behind there. But, you know, they're in my way. Oh, there's another one hidden in there. Okay, that's... that's fine. Also, let me, um, let me add one thing to my Pink Floyd, uh, comment, it, which is that those are not albums that you can listen to one time. Metal. Wish you were here. Animals in particular take a couple listens, and those are my favorites. So I would I would just say maybe uh, listen to you know listen again. They're definitely uh, a grower type band where they grow the more you listen. And some of the early stuff isn't that good. You probably don't want to listen to some of the other early stuff if you're not into it. Uma Guma, you could skip that one. The band thought Adam Hart Mother was their worst album. And, uh, I'd also skip Momentary Lapse of Reason, because that album is just almost devoid of anything. Worth the damn. I do like Saucerful and, um, Piper at the Gates of Dawn, though, quite a bit. Though, I will say that I like, um, I also like Adam Hart Mother a lot. And I don't know why they think that's their worst. I think that's a cool album. So there you go. Oh, oh! Underrated! Obscured by Clouds. It's the album right before Dark Side. Totally... Not- not a very highly listened to album, but very good. And if you still don't like him, I will tell David Gilmore... ...himself. <clears throat> I will have Gilmore send me his black strat. Vinny, the first time you ever responded to me in chat was when I was knocking... ...waters of several sp species of small furry animals grooving with a pict in a cave, or whatever the fuck the name of that stupid song is. That- I mean, is it even a song? Alright, we're gonna do this. This is gonna get claimed, by the way. See, they had this reputation. Apparently, they didn't really do hard drugs, but Sid Barrett did. They had this reputation that they needed to make psychedelic music all the time, because that was their audience, so they made some real psychedelic shit. Like this song. It's just animal noises. That's- that's likely going to get claimed, by the way. 
the company that owns Pink Floyd's music. I'm not sure who it is. They're, they're probably going to claim that. That nonsense. That utter tripe. That... Fucking... Anyway. Vinny, my exercise trainer, thinks that Jimi Hendrix was the best guitarist that ever lived. What's your take? I don't know. I mean, I, you can find more technical guitarists that can do scales at lightning speed if you're into metal. I, I think from a soul standpoint of, like, who could make the guitar sound like... Oh. Like, from a soulful standpoint. Technical, too, but more just... The, you could, like, really, really, really just get lost in the guitar playing and the improv... Like, he would improvise. It wasn't all set out. It wasn't all, like, like mathematically kind of, like, set in his head. I'd say, yeah, Hendrix might be... I don't know, he's... I mean, it's, it's an easy answer. It almost seems like it's too obvious, but I... I wouldn't disagree. I love Hendrix. <clears throat> I've watched lots of live DVDs of Hendrix back in the day. Here's another one, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Yeah, yeah, live DVDs. Back before YouTube, you had to buy live DVDs. It's a big market for that. Yeah, I'm sure you could... I'm sure you could have a thousand answers... to this question. I don't think there's a right answer. I don't know. It's like the mine... uh, the... <laughs> it's like the minecart segments from Mario... RPG, except you don't play them. This is a cool chapter. In this chapter, you get to enter a long-digit code. You get to ride a minecart that you have no control over. You get to meet crag bears. Oh yeah, kill innocents. Wash the cave with the blood of the innocent. <laughs> I just want to kill a couple, Stan. There's two left over there. They're, they're fine. They, they'll wake up and they'll be like, Whoa, weren't there more of us? You can do some damage to them without killing them. Kind of cool. Oh fuck! Use the catch card. Wait, can you use the catch card on one of the on the crag now? Then he don't worry. I killed all of them when I was a kid. I feel a connection with you, chat member. Someone said Bowser's minions are penal are uh, brainwashed as well, but you don't get penalized for killing them. It's a good point. They undoubtedly would have been friendly because, uh, you know, Bowser's on my party now. So why do they deserve death? But these Kragnarns don't. We don't know what they, the Kragnarns posted on Instagram ten years ago. We have no idea. I'm sorry, I'm at Instacrag. So what, a Goomba's a poison mushroom. Meanwhile, Goombas are cooler than most of the, any, uh, the other enemies or characters in this game. We have to deal with... You know, toads in all the other Mario games. Every main character of a Mario game from this point forward is a toad. Meanwhile, Go m remember Goombella? From Mario Game Paper? Goombella was a good Goomber. Can't jump and hammer at the same time. It's weird, because this game does masquerade as a 2D platformer, and it is! But it also, you know, it doesn't make it easy to do certain things. If you want to kill a piranha plant, you have to use this thing and then press down while jumping as Bowser. It's not very intuitive. It's- let's just say this. I don't mind the gameplay. I think when it's decent... What? It can be good. And I don't mind it most of the time. But this is not... A Mario platformer that I would... Okay, goodbye! This isn't exactly Mario platformer level. You know. Vinny, I think they're going more for streamlined RPG than platformer. Yes, I agree, and I like it. I like what's here. However, have you heard of... Jack off of all trades, master of none? It's good. But there are times where I wish I could swing a hammer in the air or... Just... Do a little bit more. If you'll excuse the, uh, the pun. It flips. Oh, God. It flips between genres, but it doesn't do either of them particularly amazing. What the game does do well is story. It does characters well. The creative world design. 
humor. It does presentation. But I'm not gonna sit here and say that this is like award-winning gameplay. It's just it's just good. Someone said, and yet people call this the best Paper Mario game. I think they do because they like the story and everything. I get I kinda get both sides of the argument now that I'm playing it. Like, we don't need this many flips. Someone said, boy, this really drags out. No, 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 this really crags out. There he is. It only took, like, four streams. You got any ideas for that new Paper Mario game? Yeah, make them big! Yeah, I, you can't... I mean, you, you can't let the correct path taint... ...your exploratory desire. What if there's an item that I can't hold? Down here. I'm gonna want that for a second! Nice. Now, if you think about it, that one... Kragnon... ...wasn't going to have a good time. It, it was just stuck in some room. It, you know what I mean? Like, it, that Kragnon was not going to... ...have a good life. But now it can live as a card. It can live on... ...as a card. So... ...this chapter has taken so long, it's, it's gone this entire stream... ...and I haven't finished it. So my question is... Is there a lot of this? Yeah. Alright, well, I, I'm probably gonna have to stop at the next checkpoint. Huh. Alright, yeah, I think it's best to save here, and next time I play this, we will uh, begin on this chapter. It's a couple of long chapters so far. Like I said, I have my issues with this game, but I do have fun playing it. I like the secrets, I like all the little things that keep it interesting, and I do like the story, and I think Bowser is probably... Bowser's the best Mario character. There's just no way around it. So this may not end up being like a top 10 game for me. <laughs> that goes without saying. But it will most... It will most likely be something I end up feeling very good about, but, you know, not Thousand Year Door, not even Paper Mario 64, but somewhere in, just, just below that, I'd say. Someone said, then why don't you try to see more of Bowser's dialogue? Well, oftentimes, you'll be, you know, moving along, playing the game, and then talking to your chat, and then when that's happening, you forget to uh, switch to Bowser because you have to switch to characters so frequently. It's, it's something that I forget to do sometimes, you know. It appears I might be the, um, the first person to have a five-year Vine Sauce badge in chat. I just noticed that. Well, I didn't notice. Someone pointed it out to me. I'm a five-year veteran of my own stream. I wonder if someone else has it. There's got to be someone. Right? I mean, we've been here longer than five years, for fucking goddamn sure. I was just wondering, like, how do I have it, but others don't? Maybe, you know, in a month? I don't know. Anyway. Welcome to the stream. And, uh... I've got good news for everybody. The good news is today we're going to pap. And we're also going to... Uh, I'm doing my dishes. Well, I mean, not like physically doing my dishes. I, I did them a little bit earlier physically. So what I do is... Let me tell you a secret. 
See, I, I clean the dishes, I scrub them, and I use soap and water and stuff, and I use a uh, sponge, right? And then I put them in the dishwasher, and then I let the dishwasher do its thing, which is what it's doing right now. I find you get better dishes that way. It seems obvious, doesn't it? Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Just a little bit of a scrub stand. Anyway, welcome to the stream. Uh, I got good news as well. I have two short little videos to show you in a moment. But um, while if you hear any weird um, dish noises, it's the dishwasher. But we're going to get our crag air. Someone in chat just said, let's move on from super pap smear. Now, I don't know if that was like a joke in the sense of like the, the, the name or did they want me to just abandon the stream like 70% through the game. You want me to just like jump ship? Just forget about it? We're all done with this, right? Or maybe they just don't want to hear about pap smears anymore. I can't blame you. I really, really can't blame you on that one. I'll be real with you, the last stream I did of this wasn't all that amazing. I didn't love it. It got kind of boring, but it's just this chapter has been less than stellar compared to some of the other chapters in the game. I still like the game. I have some fond memories of killing Kragmarns, uh, but I, you know, I've been playing it for 10 years now. Good grinding spot. Yeah, let's let's grind for a whole level here. Let's see, how many more points do we need? Let me press every button until I get it right. Um, just another 60,000. I get 500 for each one. <clears throat> the stream will now last forever. I'll just do the, the weekly um, or nightly podcast. Are playgrounds too safe in 2019? That'll be the topic for tomorrow. The day after. Is dairy really all that good for you? Oh, how the turn tides. No, alright, we'll stop. Approximately 300 more of those to level up. Was it, like an hour? It's not too bad. Vinny, have you seen the custom GameCube Bean controller yet? That was one of the things I wanted to discuss on tonight's stream. Actually, I did want to talk about the Bean controller, but, uh, I... You know, I can't find it. Like, someone showed it to me earlier on, I think, Twitter, and then it, it went away. Vinny, Darkest Dungeon 2 was announced. And, as I've said, uh, I said yesterday, even though I don't want to revisit the original Darkest Dungeon, I will play that. A fresh start, some new treads, some, you know, new environmental thing, some, some new gameplay, and I will be interested, but... I'm, I'm good on the original. Are you gonna do Hollow Knight 2? Yeah, maybe. Probably. Six months stream? No, a year. Vinny, how are you gonna understand the story if you don't finish the first? What, of Darkest Dungeon? Ruin has come to our town. And then they save it. From Ruin. And that's, um, that's it. Oh, I didn't know there was a video. Hang on a minute, there's a video about these beans. Let's see, this is a video from N Freak. So you should go check that out. And he's just, yep, he's just... Fill in a clear controller with beans. Man, dollarbeanclub.cock would really appreciate this product. It, 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 it's just beans. It, it is just beans. It is just beans. This is uh, very disgusting content. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't know there was a video. I just saw the pictures, and that's... That's about what I expected, now that I think about it. Just a guy filling up a controller with beans. Vinny, am I right to assume no back seating? Well, that's appreciated. Um, if I get really lost, I'll ask. Someone said that face when you go from watching Full Sauce to the live stream. Oh, here we go. Secret. Um, well, it's appreciated. I'm, I'm glad you liked Full Sauce enough to want to hop over to the full streams. To the live streams, rather. It's, it's... From what I understand, it's a slightly different experience. Because I get to respond directly to you. Oh, fuck. That face one. Yeah, yeah. I know what I said. Haha, <laughs> yes. My feel when I get to throw one of those dudes behind a button. 
after using them for my nefarious button-pressing purposes. Vinny, what are the two videos you wanted to show chat tonight? Yeah, I found them on Rotten.com. That's a cool, appropriate website for Twitch, right? No, 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 no. L hear me out, hear me out. It's not that. Let me show you the first video. <laughs> this is from Five Foot Nipple. Which is, I guess that's what meat is, if you think about it. Uh, perfect name. Good little animation. And, um, here's one from C.D. Lum. Hello, Tana. It's me, Pit. I'm trying to sneak past the Reapers, but I'm dummy thick, and the clap from my ass cheeks are alerting them. Yo! Genie, is that you? It's rewind time. So, let me just say that's not as good as Desert's video. I don't do the best snake voice. I, I try. Sometimes I can get a little closer, but not my finest work. However, I can appreciate the video. I think with a little bit more compression and like some, I don't know, snake thickening, maybe I'd be all right. But I believe that was a combination of... That was a combination of two streams. That was last night's Kid Icarus stream, as well as maybe the, the Dreamcast stream. Prince of Persia, yeah. Why is chat freaking out? What do you guys see? Dots? It's four white lines. THERE ARE FOUR LINES! No, I don't see any dots. It's probably a Twitch error. <laughs> How do you make Peter- I'm- I'm really good at this game. It's- it's Peter Griffin face. Where he goes- he goes... Walrus. The first dot was an accident. But no, if you get a good opportunity, like a single dot on the screen, just roll with it. Someone just said, this is what I got off work to see. It's a good thing you're not paying for this. Jeez. Who would want this? Not for- I mean, for free, sure, but... Vinny, please take the wheel mirrored shit off the screen. It's not funny, it's annoying. W-I-E-L-M-I-E-R-D. Vinny, please take the wheel mirrored stuff off the screen. Is- is that a new meme? Hang on a minute. Just give me- just hang on a second. Sorry. Where is it? It's gone now. I'm sure the-, the I'm sure we could find it. But yeah, someone said wheel mirrored. Alright. I don't know what that means. It's not f I- Sorry, that would be funny. So, uh, Discord is giving away Bioshock 1 and 2. For some reason. I've been alerted to this. They were like, hey, do you want Bioshock? I'm like, oh, okay. Speaking of free content, I'm, I'm like- And it's the, um, it's the updated versions. I didn't know Bioshock- I didn't know Discord was giving away free games. You gotta- here's the thing, you gotta pay for it, though. A skull. That's a wall painting that someone did. Then how is it free? Oh, well, like, I mean, like, there's a subscription service, like, Xbox Live and PlayStation 3. Is everything going to have some kind of Game Pass from this point forward until the end of time? I didn't know they were doing shit like that. Ah, yes. Well, I haven't played Bioshock 1 in 10 years. And I didn't play the, um, the remastered version. So I'm not saying I would do a Bioshock stream anytime soon, but at some point in the future... Um, maybe. I don't know. It's- it's possible. I'm not gonna say no to it. I don't really have any desire to do so at the moment, but I- I- I enjoyed Bioshock. Did you play 2? Yes, I played 2. I liked 2. I liked 2 better than I liked Infinite, though I liked Infinite setting. I just didn't love the rest of the game. But I thought 2 had a lot of really cool bits, even if it was super similar to Bioshock 1. It also had better gameplay because of the, uh, the dual-wielding mechanic. 
It was just kind of cool to play as a big dad. Someone said, I like Infinite. That's fine. I thought it was a good game. I know people lose their fucking minds over Bioshock Infinite. But I, I don't think it was that bad. It's just it had a lot to live up to. And then it got kind of repetitive. And it got a little... Eh, it lost the thread, I feel. But it, it was... It was alright. It was alright. Mental. Thank you, great pixel bruh! Can't bro not forget you! Fate brought us together, great hero of 1500 years. Now, you must take me there, to the deep, dark underbelly of the Earth. Where the Urukai orcs are born from the Earth of Saruman's will. It's Minish Cap. Ant! Amen! Ants! Ants! Amen! Yeah. One of the only things I remember from the first movie is that ad. It's my favorite ad for a movie ever. It worked on me. It fucking worked on me. Vinny, I'm literally playing Minish Cap right now. Not literally. That's cool. And I like Minish Cap. It's a great game. I streamed it a couple years ago. I think, um, underrated. More, not underrated, but maybe one of the lesser known Zelda games, perhaps, these days. It doesn't get a lot of credit. Not the same way like Zelda 1, Link to the Past, Ocarina, Majora do. Like any Zelda game could be underground or, you know, lesser known, really. One of the biggest video game series of all time, but if it could be, you don't hear a lot about Minish Cap, I feel. Slight, yeah, slightly overlooked is the, it's a better way to describe it. And, um, you know, you can go to the DS Zelda games. At least, you know, Phantom Hourglass was fine. I wonder if one day someone's gonna mod that game to have more traditional Zelda controls with optional touchscreen. But how could you do that? Because the whole game is focused around the touchscreen. The DS Zeldas aren't great. I'm not one to argue, but I like Phantom Hourglass at least. Hey, we gotta name this character. What are we gonna name him? I don't know, Linebeck? Ah, uh, yes. More things to kill. If I miss one of these jumps... There will be dead Kragnons. It's only one. It's okay, it's probably better than... ...the alternative. It's fine. Hey, bruh. Why'd you kill me, bruh? My, my, aren't you plucky? Same fight, same outcome. You are precisely correct. And that is why... You put a plant... On Broccoli! Don't be shy, oh cabbage. Introduce yourself! Cabbage! Have fun now, ciao! Asparagus! What is this fucking game? Uh, Broccoli! Warrior rule number one, never fight on an empty stomach. It is madness! Sorry, but we've got to call it a day. Can't go back in the warrior rules. Next time, though, you're done. Chunks away. Like four different voices in one there. Carried off in a fart storm. Don't you forget about me. Don't, don't, don't you. Forget about me. Look, the sprout from his head. It's the same as on the fluorified Craig no What is this voice? So much to do, so precious little time. Tell Jester. Are you guys ready for um some game facts? I think I got something for you. Get ready for Did You Know Gaming Vine Sauce Edition. Did you know that the word Kragnon is probably based on Cro-Magnon. What do you mean you knew that? That was rare information. No one, no one, I've never told anyone that before. I never furnished anyone that, with that information. And the word Crag, which refers to rocks. Are you Did You Know Gaming too? Vinny, that's an actual channel. I know. They wanted me to do one. A while back, because I, I, um, at too many games, I got to know one of the dudes that works on the channel. And, um, I told them I would be interested, 
and they contacted someone from the Did You Know Gaming people contacted me and they said, We would love for you to do a Did You Know Gaming video. And I thought to myself, that sounds cool. And then they're like, We want you to do one for Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm like, dog, I'll be honest with you. It's true, by the way. I said Dog. I didn't say dog, but I, it's just, you know, I'm, it's not the thing I'm known for, and I would feel like a charlatan if I did a Sonic video. It was Sonic glitches, to be fair, but even so, I, and I do have a little bit of experience with Sonic glitches, if you, rem if you remember from my uh, Sonic 3 and... Sonic and Knuckles 3 and Knuckles stream, but, um... They had someone else in mind already, so it, I couldn't even recommend anyone or anything like that. They just, they just did it. But, um... I mean, there is- there is definitely a chance it could happen again. For a different video. I just don't- you know, I don't seek these things out. I don't really, um... I don't re really reach out. Most of my friends can tell you I, I- I don't reach out, ever. But... Both a strength and a weakness, I'd say. But, um, the truth is... If they contacted me and said, Vinny, you wanna do a Chrono Trigger glitch video, or... Something like that, or something that, you know, I've, I've streamed, like, like Zelda, or Mario, or, uh, anything like that, I'd probably do it. It's a lot of lore here, what the fuck? Crocus 2 feared the fight for the tro- the throne. Yeah, they feared the fight for the throne that might ensue if she bore many hairs. She had but one hair, white in her life. Sorry, um, this earned her the name The White Maiden. This is good lore for someone who's re-watching Lord of the Rings. His recent achievements include... In Flora Year 1625, he invented a method for mind-controlling Kragnons. Good. I approve. In Flora Year 1626, he spearheaded an initiative to enslave Kragnons en masse. Yeah... about that one. I mean, the Kragnons are pretty fucking annoying. I don't know about that. Maybe just... Get him to stop saying bruh. Oh my god! Sorry. Vinny, I just got here. Why does Mario have sons? Well, you see, Luigi, when a. <laughs> um, it was, it was a casualty. So. When a Mario, when, when a Mario loves another Mario, they have little Marios together. A little bambino covered in prosciutto comes out about nine months later. I'm the Mario! Eat your arms! Oh! Oh, there's more than two colors. Bruh, why you do such uncool thing? I don't, I don't know what voice this is. Ooh, wee, ooh. Where, oh, where are my pretties? Oh! Pretties! Beautiful things! Oh, we! Bring them to me! More, more! Oh, Captain Anne! What is this hideous clashing thing? It's the. <laughs> are you, um, King Crocus? Oh, we, oh! So you must be the intruders I've heard so much about! Well, I will not forgive the great thrashing of my beautiful kingdom! I can't do this voice. I, I can't keep it up. <laughs> no, we all! Trash is garbage no matter how you dress it! This world is made for beauty! And if you need some proof, then have a look at this! Please let this character not be on screen very long. It's the pure heart. I can hear it in your voice! Feed me, Seymour! Your blabber hurts my ears! Oh god. <laughs> Someone just said it hurt itself in its confusion. Yeah, that voice is the voice of, of um, Audrey 2. AKA Mother Brain from Captain N television show. Except way worse. 
Mother brain voice incoming. Beautiful! Even as I will, I am, I am! Beautiful! I gave that one my all because I figured I'd never have to do it again. Water, man. Talking about water. The Kragnons were polluting our water. That dirty water was what drove our king bonkers, don't you get it? So then, uh oh. Yes, once my fellow villagers see this, they'll surely realize the error of their ways. Once the words of Flint Cragley reach them, they'll throw garbage no more. Yeah, water, man. I mean, it's easily our most precious treasure, you know what I mean? You promise not to dirty our water, and we'll just chill down here and be cool. All they had to do was communicate this information to each other. Then we could be heroes, if just for one day. And, and we wouldn't have had to resort to violence. Our heroes had taken a new step toward overturning the prophecy of destruction. Cool. Get it. I like it there. Right, just right. You know what I just heard about? There are colorful doors on the tower. We'll ruin this simple stock palette with such gaudiness. Bring the fiend to me. Uh -huh. I'll crack with you, sweetie pie. Homie. Homie, bring me eggs. What do you want eggs for, my I hunger. <laughs> oh, 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 you're... You're back. I will go back to the light prognosticus to look for clues. Vinny, how about some Jay Leno voice? Nah, you got every other voice tonight. Vinny, I've been confused the entire time. This guy reads the light prognosticus. Why doesn't he have the doctor light voice? I don't know. Yeah, I'm just gonna live with the Kragnons the, who pollute. Leader of Flora Sapiens, King Crocus loves pretty things, bruh. But he'd not take to Kimberlite first, so Crocus obviously no nah. Not no real beauty when he saw it. That's one fine crag known, bruh. I am so fucking sick of these people. Dollarbeanclub.cock Wacko, I'm wacka. Just another picture-perfect day here in crag. Woo! Makes me feel like nothing bad could happen on a day like today. wacka do. Funny you should say that, because I remember you from, um, another video game. Oh, don't hit me! Mario's like, Are we the baddies? Killed hundreds of crack marrows. Why am I doing this? Where am I going? Hundreds of crack nerns. Then you can reset and get more? That's a pretty good deal. It's just like Thousand Year Door. So does that mean that I, I can't kill him? But I can hurt him? Can I let him down? Can I destroy his empire of dirt? Can I make him hurt? You could have it all. My whack a bump. Yeah, the Kragnons, they, they pollute the water and they, they speak like prayer. So, you know. I'll be happy if I don't have to see them again. Vinny, are you gonna cook those fruit? Sure. Remember, at one point, there was like an imager folder. Or, that's how, that's how I say it. I don't know if that's how you actually say it, but. Not a folder, but it was like a, a page with just dozens of, like, things filled with beans that should not be filled with beans. I don't know if I still have that, Link. But it turns out beans should not be in a lot of places. How'd you find that so quick, Dave? I don't- I don't get it. Oh my god. Oh. Jesus! The fuck are you doing? Stop! 43 more images? Who's making this shit? Okay, I've showed this one on stream before. <laughs> What is- oh, oh, no! No! That's enough. Yep, didn't- uh, Didn't want to see that. That last one. Not so good! Vinny, when you see beans, I see a ton of money wasted for a bad joke. I don't know how much money a beans cost, but probably not that much. Dollar beans!
Wow, it's worse. It seems like she's got a good one this time. Okay. I don't think this person's a very good cook. What do you mean, cruel? Why is it cruel? I had these nice items, and now they're fucking shit. When- when's the last time I saved? Someone in chat just wrote, you fucking issyot. Right before this? Did I really save just before this? I don't remember. I'm- I'm a little bit of an issyot, so I don't know. Sell that bump for 300 kern. Cooking the wacka bump and selling it. Really? Vinny, just so you know, I didn't mean it. I was just being a goober. Be careful who you say bad things to. Because one day, I might misspell a word in real life to you. Also, too late. I've saved. I, this is my fate now. That's okay. I'm gonna sell the, uh, the bump. 200! Wow, I've hit the limit of coins. Buy gold bars and store them. I was listening to a reply all about some dude who started on the internet and then he started selling like pharmaceutical stuff and then he was like... Then he started like he was trafficking like drugs and all this weird shit. It was awful. And then he was just like buying... He was buying, or not buying, he was like burying gold bars underneath his house in his hot tub. I forget who, what the dude's name was, but... I did it. Look at that, I did it. I, I got the uh, gold bars, I'm storing them under my hot tub now. Why aren't millennials investing in gold? I ask myself the same question every day, and I think to myself, how sad is it that millennials are killing Applebee's? You know, I microwaved some mac and cheese today, actually, and um, I thought to myself, I'm... You know, it's just such a shame that Applebee's is, uh, is suffering because of me microwaving my own food. By the way, that's a real thing. If you ask people who worked at Applebee's how they prepare their food, it's a, a shocking amount of it is actually microwaved. Vinny, do you mean that disgusting slop that gives you gas? Yep. Smelly herb. Fresh veggie. I'm gonna cook gold with fresh veggie. Mistake inbound? Alright, fine, never mind then. Burnt trash sounds great. That's my kind of food. Gold can only be cooked into two things, neither of which are worth it. Oh fuck, I missed a tiny house down there. So which one of you epic gamers are playing Anthem at this current moment? Is it true that you can finish- you can finish Anthem in like, a couple hours, and then the rest of it's just like, really bad endgame content? Did anyone- is- am I just making that up, or is that real? No. It's a worse destiny. Have you watched Critical's review of the game? No. I just- someone in my chat was complaining about Anthem. Um... They said that they were getting Anthem ads on Twitch. So I brought it up. More it'll bits. What's, um... I can get egg? What if I get egg and something else? I'm gonna make a cake. A gold egg cake. Yeah, they, um... You know, I, I told you that, uh, my, uh... YouTube network sometimes will pass on keys. They just say, hey... Here's a list of games. It doesn't happen often, and it's not always games I want. It's never Nintendo games. But, um, I got offered a couple codes, and one of them was Division 2. I liked the Division 1 for about 12 hours. Is Division 2 any good? And if so, do I have to do any actual math while I play? Someone said Division 2 actually looks goof. It's the same. It's supposedly less boring. I just don't want to do any math. Alright, um, before I do this, I have to go to flop side, right? We got a lot of cool new words tonight. We got goof. We've got isiot. What was the one from earlier? Wimird? We- Wimird. 
you want I should cook with a big egg and cake mix? You wait, I cook! Schnitzel! Completion, now you will eat! Little bratwurst! Moose. Fluffy confection that fills 15 HP and cures poison. This is the first time you make dish, and so we will add this to the recipe list. Remember this, schnitzel! You find new ingredients, you will bring them here! Next is... Cake mix. Plus fresh veggie. Vegetable cake. I mean, it's not gonna be carrot cake. It's not that kind of veggie. It's an awesome snack. Oh. I want to make a hamburger. Golden hamburger. You know, they actually... One of the things that's really baffling about some places in New York City... Not even just New York, but plenty of places. Is... You, you'll go into places that will sell golden uh, food items. For an exorbitant amount of money. And like, you don't even... Gold doesn't have a flavor. It's just a status thing. Just grind a little bit of gold onto a fucking burger. The ultimate in hedonism. Why aren't millennials eating more gold? Find out tonight at 11. Um, hey, w did someone mention going small in Merle's house? Is that incorrect? That isn't Merle? Oh, 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 oh! Oh. I made a... that was stupid. Utility pizza is... it's, it's essentially, um... You're hungry, and, you know, you live in a place where there's a lot of good pizza, but you're just hungry, you don't care what's, what's open, you know, you're not gonna go to the good place, you're just gonna go to wherever the fuck. It's like, it's fine. The pizza is fine, you're hungry, it's fine. That's utility pizza. As opposed to me going to, say, like, a classic spot that I know has, like, really good pizza. Today, it was snowing. It was really, really nasty out. And so, I just settled for utility pizza. And it was decent. I mean, the pepperoni was placed on it after it had already been cooked, and then it was put back in to cook further, to get heated up. And, um... It was fine. But I, I just, I had a hard time digesting it, because I felt the, the sauce was, like, in me. And it was causing problems. It was like, um, alien chest burster. I believe that Merlo- Merlovely used the same type of ball as me. Would you go to her and ask for one of her crystal balls real fast? You know where Merlovely is, right? Right on the outskirts of Flipside. Or in sight. This quest takes a while and I recommend you do it later. Okay, well where's the small secret? Are we having this deal? Coin's gone. This is a good thing, yeah? I am getting started. You are staying out of the way. I watched, um, Summoning Salt has a new video about blindfolded punch-out that's about 40 minutes long, and it's really good. And there's one speedrunner who was consistently beating Mike Tyson with his eyes closed, and he was like, Hasta la vista, Mikey! I love that guy. The guy's awesome! Every time he defeated Mike Tyson, he would do <laughs> He would do Hasta la vista, Mikey! He's so great. What is this crap? Red Dead Redemption Treasure Hunt. 48 different maps. I'm the map-loving, map-selling Mapson. This is a side quest that I don't feel I'm going to invest too much time into. In fact, I don't expect to do a ton of side quests for this game. I heard there's a lot. There's like six to seven hours of post-game shit. Not post-game, but like side quest end-game stuff. Which is cool, I mean, that's awesome, but I'm... I'm good. I'm looking for the heart pillar. I'm looking for some bodacious flavor. To be honest. Do you know where I can find some flavor? Is there a place I could go to? A town of flavor. I have inspected here. Yeah, I am thinking I can make the pipe. You know what I mean? Hasta la vista, Mikey! Jamie, please! I'm your father, Jamie! These are my cookies, Jamie. <laughs> oh, I'm losing my fucking mind. Sorry, this game gets a little boring. I can't, I can't deal with it sometimes. Flipside's just too fucking massive. I have to entertain myself. Jamie, please put that cookie down. 
put the cookie down now. Jamie, Jamie, give me the cookie. Come on, kill me now. Please. So my cookies, Jamie, please. Without cookies, I lose strength. My power begins to fade, Jamie. I am dying. Your father is dying, Jamie. It just doesn't feel like a lot of these rooms have any purpose. It's just, like, stuff. I mean, I know there's, like, there's buttons and stuff, but I mean... It just some sometimes it feels that way. I'm not saying that's, that's how it be. Because that, that ain't always how it do. Power plus. Oh. Well, that had a purpose. Vinny, that's because you're not finding all the secrets. Let's be honest, watching Vinny run in circles for a long time is what we signed up for here. Yeah. And stalling. Lots of stalling. What, you want me to- what, 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 what do you want me to do, chat? Or what, what is this? You want me to put the heart? Fine, alright. I was looking for secrets, chat. I just wanted to find secrets. Those the cookies. Let me eat them now, please, Jamie. Oh, I, oh these are good cookies. There's much better now. The strength is returning to me, Jamie. Please. Thank you, Jamie. You have saved your father. Under the looming shadow of the void, the world slowly drifted towards demise. Vinny's brain and the stream slowly drifted towards demise. Aha! So it begins, Challenger. I am known as Jade Blooper, Guardian of the First Gate. Prepare for game over. Pacha! Round one! Fight! So his face is just a crown. What a shame if you you know if, if he's not the king, that would be unfortunate. What a rousing spectacle of martial artistry, guy! These are my vassals. Should you beat them all, you will prove you are the true hero. Yes, I shall reward you with a pure heart if you best my other 99 Samakais. Paper Mario 99. Before we must fight, consider this haiku. A challenger comes under the darkening sky. Wiggity wiggle. Master Wiggle wiggles. Master Wiggler wiggles his in defense of the sixth gate. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. What the fuck is this? Thrilling fights. Vinny, 92 left. May as well voice them all differently. It will be one of my three voices that I do in, in combination. It'll be like, I'm gonna have to start doing combo like Jay Leno plus Christopher Walken. You know, Jay! You know, Jay! Your dog! It has no tail! I'm not gonna read all this stuff. I'm gonna leave it on screen. Whoa, do you see, see what just happened to my voice? You know what that's from? Arnold Schwarzenegger losing power. I'm also hitting puberty at 33. I'm, I'm a late bloomer. Alright guys, I'm gonna get to the next gate now! So you challenge your skill in the duel of 100. I'm the guardian of the 12th gate, Urchin Long. Haha, <laughs> so you must be wondering how many more fights of these guys must I fight, fool? There's 88 more of us. Did your resolve falter? You have what it takes. Fight me. It's a relentless marathon of martial artistry. Now come at me. All right, that's enough. How far in Lord of the Ring am I now? I am now on Lord of the Rings 8. It's not as good as Lord of the Rings 7, but it's pretty good. Yeah, it follows some really weird characters. Lord of the Ring 8, it, it only follows like... The Eagles couple dudes in Gondor. Like, no notable characters. Yeah, it follows, like, there's a hobbit named F Flimpo Blimblim. And, uh, I don't know who that is. So it's just a, a bunch of weird characters. The elves have left Middle-earth. The dwarves are still in their mountains. Flimbo is pretty cool, though. Um, if you can live in one place in Lord of the Rings, where would you live? 
this is the fault of me rewatching the series, the, the movies, but I'm just, if you could live in one place, the Mordor was the first answer I just saw. The volcano, the Shire, New Jersey, Gandalf's robe, excuse me? Um, bad question. I think I would probably live in Rivendell. It's nice over there. Shire's cool too. That, that's number two. Well, maybe, maybe the Shire's number one now that I think about it. I, eh, I don't know. One of those two places. They're both pretty cool. But elves have magic, and hobbits just have lots of food. Brother! Brother, are you hurt? Slipping grip, clammy hand, why are you here? Why have you left your gates? We were worried about you. Brother, return to the academy, they will take you back. Yes, let us return to the Academy and earn an advanced sweaty palm belt! Perhaps they will forgive my selfish quest for dark slapping power. As for you, you may pass. You've beaten us. Now go on and shame the rest like you've shamed us. May the martial art spirits grant you luck. Onward to glory. That's a good character arc. Minas Tirith, but it's like right across the street from fucking Mordor. Why would you do that to yourself? And closer, I am just a harmless leaf on the trimmed lawn of the 18th gate. Ha-ha-ha! No, I am Harry Arantula in the grass. I leap on your head and bite your earlobe. Hatch! But this place is about to go kablooey. Later, meanies! 26th gate in the legendary f in face kicking circles. You have indulged me, challenger, and you may pass without a face kick. Master kick face. I'm glad I read that one at least. It was, that one was good. Interloper, it is I, soaring cape. I will whoosh down upon Africa. It just go. We're too late. We're too late. No, not like this. Guess I should load my save file. Count Black. I feel like I know him from somewhere. Wait, I do, or at least I did. I did know him. But how and when? Who is he? I can't remember. Uh, was that? Who's there? Oh, what's going on here? I'm a little discombobulated myself, so it's hard to say. At the very least, we seem to have returned to Flipside. But what of King Samur and the Samur guys? And the Pure Heart? The door leading to that world still exists. It, it seems... I wonder... Do we dare go back in? Yes, yes, I think we should go through. There's... nothing left? This is messed up. I'm all for being evil, but this is just overkill! Wait, I, I can feel something very faint. It's the pure heart. I can't believe anything's left here, but we have to go take a look. I, I like that this is too evil even for Bowser. Wow, all those those cool guys like face kick. Sorry, kick face. It's gone. Does this give you off vibes? Purification has been completed. Oh yeah, no, the level design here is amazing. We are going to stop Count Black. Now hand over that pure heart, you greasy, greasy man. Still pushing for a fight, huh? Fine, who am I to disappoint? Robot lunch! I still don't know who this guy is, I just give him the Luigi voice because I have a limited pool of voices and he, I just, I did, you know, I just drew like short straws. Most of its moves are the same, but it can now use its hands to tackle you. It seems to be weak to explosions, so try using Boomer on his feet. Yeah. I like this ball. Yeah. Captain Falcon approved fight. It turned to stone. I don't feel any kind of power radiating from it. We better take it back to Merlin. He'll know what to do. You gotta fill it with heart juice. 
It's a stone, Luigi! You didn't steal it! It's a football! I chiseled it! Stone! It's a heart! I chiseled it! And this is where we stop. Jesus Christ, sorry about that. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh boy, excuse me. I sat up. I've been like leaning back and playing the game the whole time and I sat up. I sat forward and um just, you know, just physics, human like esophical physics. Anyway, this game is such a weird case for me because I I do enjoy the story a lot. And what we just witnessed was pretty cool. They're all dead now. Those Sammy guys? Dead. But, um, you know, that's okay. There's got to be some casualties in a video game. Otherwise, it's not, you know, the stakes aren't high. And what do we learn? That you can make a steak cake in this game. You can combine the ingredients. But it is a good game. I, the boss battles are so fucking easy. But there's a couple fights in there that I, I was... A little bit challenged we'll see we'll see if the game continues its trajectory but for now it is enjoyable and as a story game i'm enjoying it a lot because i know it's it's entertaining the stream mostly and it's entertaining me as well but we will um we will resume this in a couple days or so it's a shame that the um the classic villain, Mr. L, was killed off so quickly because I feel like we could have seen a lot more of him. Could have been fun. So, I've named uh, this stream Super Pap Marior, and I realized that the name for this game is getting a little bit more ridiculous each time, so I think the next time I stream this, it's just gonna be Sup Pap Mar. Count. Um... You seem a bit different today. A new monocle? Or did something happen? Count Black feels fine. Leave me! Could that pixel have been... Tiffany? No, no, completely impossible. I should know that better than anyone. Besides, it is far too late to do anything now. The prophecy has been set in motion, and no one, not even I, can stop it. No one can stop this now. Timpany, what did you do with her? I must see her. Still your tongue, Blumier. Can't you see? You've been duped by a dirty human. <laughs> Those humans. You have brought shame to my name and to the entire tribe of darkness. And so what if I did? That doesn't matter to me. She's my entire world. Someday you will see, son. Our kind and humans must never mix. So, it's like a... Yeah, it's like a Romeo and Juliet kind of thing with light and dark, and... Count Black was Blumier, right? That's what I'd imagine from all this. And Timpani is now Tippy. And so... They, you know, they, there's a forbidden love or something. Anyway. 100 Trials has a pixel. I mean, the game isn't that difficult, and and again, I'm not looking to do everything in this game. I'm, I'm enjoying it, but not enough to want to do all the side quests. Okay. Is it really Breadward? I can't examine the bones. More bone. Oh my god. Oh, speaking of death, Faith 2 is now out. You know, M Mortis? Mortis. I am... Uh, I'm not going to stream it right away, but... Uh, I'm debating on saving it for Halloween, because that is a perfect Halloween game. But that's so goddamn far away. I mean, we just had a Halloween. Yes, but what about second Halloween? Merle gives you a pixel, too. Yeah, the Merle side quest I hear takes a couple hours as well. Doesn't take that long? Okay. Mm, I do not feel the typical energy from this pure heart. Even if you shed this in a heart pillar, it would do nothing. What to do? Oh. But then, how do we save him? I mean, how do we save everyone from destruction? Him? <laughs> the 
forlorn group of heroes, how they cry. The tears flow like sad chowder. I took a guess. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, it does. And that's why I decided to give you a consolation prize. Death? It's quite simple. I fulfilled their wishes. I sent them to the next world. <laughs> do you, you do know who I am, right? I am your enemy, Dementio. I serve Count Black. Well, as pleasant as this has been, I must leave. Ciao. Well, hi. Hey, new face, so tell me. First time down here in the underwear? Underwear? Nah, just a little joke. People don't arrive here twice. <laughs> huh? What did you say? Well, what's the underwear? You're kidding, right? And for a guy with no extra lives, you're sure hilarious. Isn't it obvious? This is where people go when their games are over. Some call it world negative one. We're in the negative world? What? You say your game's not over? <laughs> yeah, I've heard that before. Denial. Always the first step. Maybe you just need to hear it from Queen Jadies. Hades? Jadies? Oh, now, little pity pad. Don't worry, it's not me. Did you ever see that picture of, like, the hundreds of dead Marios? Do not get her angry. Or you'll end up on the bottomless pit cleanup duty forever. You gotta clean up all the dead Marios. Someone in chat just informed me that this is Mario going to hell before he dies. Pity, that's a hot spring. <laughs> this really is Kid Icarus. Boy, if that micro Goomba hadn't dashed out just as I jumped for that platform. Oh, you swerved in midair, landed on a spiked floor and ended your game, huh? What? No! What kind of a jumper do you think I am? I cleared the spikes easy. Then bam, bottomless pit. These are the dead Marios, yeah. The river Twigs is up ahead, okay? Be really careful not to drown. Word is, there are ghosts down there that drag you down, never to surface again. The river Twigs. The river Sticks. Twigs. This is fucking game. Yeah, this game is a shitpost, I love it. I really love the characters and story in this game. I have my issues with other aspects of it, but... Definitely a worthwhile experience. Oh, me, I wonder if I shall meet my most special someone this day. Surely he is a prince of countenance fair, pining even now to meet me. Quickly, my loving prince, fly to me! Pray, what call hast thou to stare at me so? Didst thou hear me pine for the old mustachioid fatty? Be gone! That's... Wow. Straight up insulting Mario now. Interesting. No pixels. I think this is one of my... I don't want to say favorite tropes, but... I enjoy when a game takes away all the stuff that you earned, and you have to just go back to... basics. I mean, Eventide Island, um, Guarma, the beginning of every new Metroid game. It's, yeah, it's very different, but I mean, you have to wonder, why does Samus keep losing this stuff? Sometimes there's a good reason, other times it's just Adam. Up at Adam, gamers! Adam's going to tell you what you can't do! Kingdom Hearts, Satur uh, Symphony of the Night. I was going to read that as Saturday of the Night. Resident Evil 7? Oh my god. Mr. Hands. I don't like Mr. Grab Hands. There's some, like, serious bad touch down here. I don't like it. Now let us weigh your sins. Hmm. I sense a strange energy. Have you brought something strange into the underwear by chance? What is this? 
No, no, it could not be, but how? It is badly damaged, yes, but what you hold is a pure heart. Who exactly are you? You have a pure heart, and what has happened to it? I chiseled it! Oh, wait a minute, that's my phone. Sorry, I have to take this. What is it now, Grams? You know I'm working! What? Love Bee is missing! Oh, mercy. I understand. Yes, yes, I'll see to it. Mm, bye. Just great. Just what I need. I'm already short-handed. What am I going to do? Oh, perhaps you can help. That phone call I received just now. It was the king of the over there. Gramby. <laughs> Gramby? I know someone that has a name similar. One of the NIMBYs vanished from the over there, and he's asked me to look for her. But I cannot abandon my duties here in the palace, and my demon are all busy. So it must fall to you. Will you search for this missing person in my place? Oh, thank you very much. I apologize for asking this of you, but it would really help. The name of the missing NIMBY is Lovebeat. Oh, and what is your name? Suppepma. Sup. Papma. Okay, we're gonna play Guess the Song. I'm gonna sing, well, poorly, but I'm going to do a bar or two of a song and I want you to guess it. You ready? Beep, beep, boop, pop. Pop, beep, boop, pop. Yeah, because some people got it. Final Fantasy IX, Q's Marsh. Very good. Very good. I don't know how they got it, but I'm happy- I, I'm happy they did. Do another? No, 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 it was only- that's the only one I could do, sorry. Do you know any other songs that I could, um... Do, like... Beep, beep, bop, bop, two? Probably not, right? I'm really looking forward to that Final Fantasy IX playthrough. It seems like the updates are slowing down for the, um, enhancement project. For the Final Fantasy IX backgrounds. We've hit, like, not peak quality, but we've hit, a, I think the, the version is stable, it looks good, and I, I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. And the other cool thing is, too, it's the PC version, which I've never streamed before, with some mods, you know, to fix some of the bullshit. Um, but it'll be a little faster, because I can, like, fast forward through some stuff, turn battles off if I need to. I don't really want to turn battles off, but in a couple areas, the battles get a little insane. You can fast forward through the Chocograph minigame and not lose time. That's good. But how do I avoid the bad touch? Vinny, sing Final Fantasy VII with mouth noises. Which one? Okay, <laughs> thank, thank you. Uh, Vinny, I just got back from evacuating my apartment building because some dip neighbor left a bag of chips on the stove and turned on the wrong burner. Wow. I'm glad you're okay to type in chat, I guess. Um, but here's the question. How do you turn on the wrong burner and then leave the wrong burner on? Do you just leave your fucking house? Who turns on the wrong burner and then just leaves? Or who, who, who fucking turns on their stove and then leaves their house? Gee, I smell burning. What could it be? Could it be those potato chips I left on the stove? Yeah, that's, um, that's really... It's hard to imagine that someone would do something like that and still have it burn, like... Maybe the chips lit on fire and it spread too quickly. Maybe they were really flammable chips. I don't know. I keep a little fire extinguisher by my stove. Oh. oh boy, how did I end up in this stinky place? Complex underlings grabbed me. I remember that, and then, and then... Oh, oh, forget it, I just wish somebody would come help me! Hi, Ouija! Oh, yeah, I missed you, bro! Luigi, like, died. So my game is over. Right. I guess one of Count Black's baddies must have done me in, just like you guys, huh? Well, everybody runs out of extra lives sometime, right? Darkest line in any Mario game. 
this, this is proof that the Mario Brothers will die eventually. This is why I listen to depressing, sad music. Now you know. It's about goddamn time. Press and hold down, then release to soar upward with a super jump. Oh, he's got this uh, constipation jump. I can't wait for the uh, Mr. L versus Luigi showdown. Hey, Mr. Sauce, can you start speaking in glossolalia? I'm starting to get bored of you speaking in comprehensible words. Thanks. Um, sure, yeah. Uh, yarapero. Scrianapero, Lord Jesus. Serapero. Alfredo. Oh, wait, that's a word. Alfredo. Um. Yarapyarem, yep. Yeah. What was the fucking. Drinking out of cups? What did he say? It was Pariscom battery little kid in the fucking background going crazy. He goes, Fetalisk. That's Glossolalia, right? God, there's, there's almost nothing more affirming than watching a preacher speak in tongues. Yadapedo. Yadapedo, Christ Jesus. I went to Catholic school, right? So, I remember we would, uh, my classmates would ask about the people that speak in tongues. And my teachers weren't the most evangelical or, you know, religious in that regard. So we would ask them, like, what is this? Like, is this real? And they would just dodge the question. Well, you know, the Bible talks about speaking in tongues, and, and maybe uh, some people can because they're filled with Christ, but... And then other teachers would just be like, no. Then why are they pretending? But you don't want to tell someone who's just entering, you know, Catholic school that might end up being a longtime Christian from that point forward that some people are just trying to take money from other people because that might ruin the whole thing for them. So you just kind of have to go with it. For the record, by the way, I wouldn't classify myself as an atheist. More agnostic. So I'm not trying to, like, you know, put on the tinfoil fedora. So uh, with... All apologies to the hat, it never hurt anybody. But, um... More in the agnostic boat. And I, yeah. Vinny, you should talk politics now. You know what's crazy? And I, I will... I would appreciate if we could uh, duck button after this. Religious discussion almost feels less taboo than politics these days. Listen, whether or not there's a god, I want to say one thing. I'm really, really happy that that dude didn't die because his neighbor left potato chips on the stove, and then lit his apartment complex on fire. I like to believe that that's some kind of divine intervention. I believe in miracles! Is my point. So, uh, when I was a kid, and I played Mario 2, in Mario 2 the characters have this, the jump, the charge jump, like Luigi ha Oh, cool. So they, uh, there's the charge jump in Mario 2, and some of you probably remember this from last time I streamed Mario 2, but my, uh, cousin and my mom thought it looked like the characters were constipated. So... When they, when you held down to do the jump, so we called it the constipation jump, and I thought that was the official name of it. Like, I thought it was actually called the constipation jump. Um, now, correct me if I'm wrong, but is it not called the Concentration Jump? Someone just said Vinny's childhood stories are adorable. Let me tell you about that time I vomited on the carpet because I lost at Mario Kart. I got so upset that I puked all over the carpet, and I couldn't play Mario Kart for weeks. Adorable, huh? It was like... You know, I lost again against my cousin, who was older and better at video games than I was. And I was like... That's how it happened. It made that exact noise. Cool, right? It was Michael Jackson noises. Finally found a pipe I can go in. It only took that long. My cousin would fight, and I would fight. I remember one time I scratched his cornea. That wasn't a good memory, actually. Well, well, he- we would, you know, he's older, so we would, you know, he would like... You know, tease me a little bit. Not, not like fist fighting, but one time I accidentally scratched his cornea. It wasn't like I tried to, but it, it healed up. It healed up real quick. Hey, you wanted adorable Vinny stories, there you go. Scratching corneas, pu like puking all over the floor.
chat was very adamant that I show this card. Oh, hurry. Hasten to me, sweet prince. Thomas, an aging man of mustache grim returneth. Talk not to me as though we have met. Speak now. What dost thou want of me? Thou come hither to find me? Bah, as if I would consort with a face so behaired. I await a handsome prince, understood? H princes only! If thou art my prince, then surely thou knowest, knowest my name. Speak it to mine ears. If the name is true, then I shall admit thou art mine one and only. Voopli. It's my name. <laughs> In thy face! My name is not love. What? How hast that come? By the knowledge of my name, no doth this mean. Nay, nay, such foulness! The very thought cannot be abided. I cannot date a man so old and unpleasant to the eye. I shall return to mother. Gag! Apparently, like Luigi, he's like 24. At last thou appearest, foul hairy creatures. Thou art no princes, thou art liars, thou approacheth me, at my mother's behest. Love be, mind your manners. You know this all happened because you wandered off without permission. Now apologize to these nice men at once. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry. That thou art so hairy. Mario, please accept this as a sign of my eternal thanks. Here. You got the revitalized pure heart. Oh. And by the way, it may please you to know that your game is not truly over. Somehow you were sent to the underwear while still very much alive. My power can return you to your world if you so wish. Now I'll just hang out in hell for the rest of eternity. Thanks. I am now a royal vassal of the queen. JD's, JD's, Judd JD's. Oh, game over, game over, game over. It's ready, player one. Continue. You know what? That whole fucking section was awesome. M Mario! But I saw Dementia in your game! Then Chippy said you were here, so I thought I'd come and take a look, but... Wow, you're truly a rarity. Wait, is it possible that I... That you're our fourth hero? Funny you should say that, I just found this... Interesting bit in the like prox... In the... I found this interesting bit in the light... The seventh lost pure heart will draw together two men, and when the light returns, its brilliance will show the way to the last hero. Yes, as Tippy said, I think this fellow in green may be our final hero, Prognosticus. Oh, I have the high jump. I can do the thing now, but should I not get Bowser first? If such a character even exists anymore, do the Merle quest. I only really want to see what the pit looks like. I'm not going to do all of it. I All right, fine. I'll do Merle's quest. But I would like um, some... Uh, maybe spoil this one for me a little bit. Where, where should I go next? This house? Well, that's convenient. This is how you do the quest. It's a fourth wall break. That's okay, the Hades chapter, we'll just do that again, because it was really good. Someone just said, end of stream voice. Have I entered end of stream voice? It's a Germa joke? Tell me about it. What is that? Germa literally talked to you about it when you streamed Red Dead Redemption together. Of course I remember that. He changes the tone of voice near the end of the stream. I definitely... Oh, yeah! That's exactly right. It would really help me out if you'd agree to... Would you agree to go to his house and pick it up? 
If you do that, then I will give you the crystal ball. Vestovius's house is beyond Flipside Tower's red door on Line Line Lo Line Land Road. Thanks for your assistance. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do the fetch quest. Yeah, Vinny, the pixel you get has two uses, and it's not worth it. You get a worthless pixel for doing the quest. It's so bad. Don't do it. Why do the people that want me to do this want me to do this? I'm just curious. What the answer I saw was because it's useful. Don't listen to the other people. Uh, so you've come for the training machine in place of Mer Lovely. Ah. Uh, of course I know of such a machine. Did I do Dr. Light for this dude? Normally I would never allow you to bask in the splendor of my knowledge, but... You are a hero. Now then, hero. I have a favor to ask of you. I have lent a certain something to the mayor of your town. Oh god, we gotta go through every chapter. Well, it's you. Watch it. I was just looking for you. Need you to do something. What? You watch it. Don't you give me that not again look. Dumplings, you listen to me now, you hear? Open those ears before I box them. So here's the thing. A strange lady showed up in my dreams and talked on and on about something. I don't know what it was, but she needed help with something. Watch it. Yep, this is what she looked like. I don't know what her deal is, but uh, she needs to get out of my dreams. Watch it. So get off my rug and help her out. Maybe then she'll, she'll quit flipping her lip, flapping her lip. Put a sock in her trap. I'll give you whatever you want. Watch it. So wait, I have to go to all these different locations and then go back to the previous locations? There are 12 steps total. What a fucking drag. This is end of 1-4, then 1-2, then flop side, then you're done. So I'm already like a little bit over halfway. Well, all right. It's too late. We're already, you know, it's it's happening. So we get Bigoron's sword after this, or Bigor Bigoron's breadwood. Vinny, can we get Jay Leno voice for entertainment? And people wonder why I do these stupid voices so often. There's too much positive reinforcement. Do the depowering Arnold voice. I don't know. That is the that is the worst thing I've ever done. <laughs> And yet, and yet, I'm laughing at it still for some reason. <laughs> what even is it? Like, why? Why? Someone said, "Does the crowd control your actions?" No, no. And then, trust me, I have, I've gotten to a point now where I'm not always going to do. The amount of requests I get in chat is just off the fucking charts. It would be a voice, or a thing, or a bit, or a meme every two seconds if that was the case, but... You know, if you get, like, a lot of positive reinforcement for something, and you know you can do that one thing, and people like it, and, and you can make them laugh, and make them happy... You know, it's, it's tough not to. It's like, say, say you're a rat. And if you do a, a little dance, they give you cocaine. You're gonna do that little dance. Vinny, it's like people saying that you can sing, and then you go to America's Got Talent, and then the mean guy shits on your bad singing. Pretty good friends, right? It's the best friends. Vinny, do Jay Leno voice. And then I do Jay Leno voice. And then half of my audience leaves never to come back. Rem Lazar! I can do that. What is it? Why are you bothering me now that I'm finally getting back to sleep? Huh? An autograph? What? Certainly, just give me that paper there. Now then. You're always in my heart, signed, the Vantabulous Merlumina, and done. Oh, and let's put a little kiss on the end here. Mwah. There we go. How's that? So we're all settled then. Good to hear. And thank you, hero. I will return to sweet embrace of dream. Please take good care of this world. Good night. Worst side quest. No, I mean, the dialogue was fine, there was just a ton of it. And... You know, Crisscrossing around for a pixel that does two things, it better be Breadward. If it- if it's not Breadward, I'm fucking done with this game. I want Meatward and Breadward. And I want to make a sand- Sandward.
Fredward. And now I have him. And I'm happy, and my life's mission is complete. lady up and left my dreams. Is this her autograph? Just look at those curly cues and swoopity doos at her handwriting. I'm more flustered than the time I dropped a hot griddle in my grunders. Dumplings! Where was I? Oh, I owe you for helping her. You can take anything I own. You want the you-know-what? Well, whoever told you about that better watch it. Fine then, take it. You better watch it! my cousin. He must have lots of fancy dancy hibbly jibbly wizard hobbies, but nothing means more to me than Merlumine. Uh, crazy saying that out loud, but say hello to Bestovius for me and whoop him with a cane or a newspaper or something. P porn on a CD? Yes, of course. You seek the training machine. Of course, I remember such little faith. Take it, hero. I would only it would only disturb my sublime energies. I Bestovius once used it myself, you see, but I upgraded to the newer, sleeker model, so I no longer require its services. You had better give that to Merlovely and send along greetings from Bestovius. What? I always watch it. It's my cousin, you see. Watch it always was a splendor splendiferous chef. Meatloaf was breathtaking. You truly can judge a man by the splendor of his meatloaf. It's a DS. up my equipment for me? This is it, this is it. Now oh, I can train to my heart's content. But you wonder which body part I can work with this. On well, my brain, of course. I already trained every other part of my body, so that just leaves my head. That was so nice of you, thank you so very much. Well then, as promised, here's your gift. Please take this to Merle. There will be no charge. Please tell her this. Now we're even. On that note, take care. Did you get a ball for me? Do I thank you, golly gee? That's it, that's the one. Ah, oh, well done, thank you. Thanks a ton. Oh, 
Well, let's see now. I must thank you somehow. I guess that's... That there's only one thing I can do for you, hun. One charm for you. Woo woo. If you want some, want a charm on someone, cross the counter. Talk to me. Hmm? What's this I see on you? You look angry or blue. A charm for me is not enough. Kids these days, ungrateful stuff. Fine, I would be remiss if I did not give you this. Key to open a door somewhere in the world. Once there was an explorer, a charm I cast with a purr. He gave me this. Yes, sir. Locked house in Flopside. Where, where now? Down one floor. Where? Good. Behind there. treasure chest. Here we go. Fredward, doodly do. It's a music note. Back in the box. You're not Fredward. I knew it wouldn't be, but we were already too, you know, we were too deep. It had to be done. Wasn't there a musical note block at some point? Like, or maybe that wasn't anything of, of worth, but it was something with music on it in previous chapter. Was that... It's in flip side. Okay, I'll check that out. But guess what? I have to end the stream now. Wait, so where? Where is this thing? Where's the music stuff? There, right? Cool fucking pixel. Meanwhile, the best pixel is the one that kills the hammer pixel. Oh, it's a, it's a it's a card. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the side quest. At least the chapter before that was really good. Um, and this was a shorter stream, but next time I stream this, we'll we'll have a chance to dig into chapter seven, and uh, should be fun. I hope. Vinny, look at your stream thumbnail. Yep, that's it. That's Super Pap Mario. That is the one. I like how it says English below the stream, as if Super Pap Mario means anything in any human language. Also, how far we've... Look how far we've come. From that to that. I'm just adding detail, you know? Just more and more detail. What is this, you may ask? It's just detail. That's all it is. It's just more detail. See, an artist, a true artist, knows how to add lots of, of detail to their art so that, so that it looks more realistic. And you should upload your own art to the Buru. You know, it's funny. I tried to upload this to the Buru, and I couldn't figure out how to do the tags. And it wouldn't let me upload it. That's my life. Speed detail. There it is. And now it's gone. Alright, here we go. So, what the fuck was I doing in this game the last time I played this game? 
Vinny, can you pause for a couple hours? I missed your last pap stream and I need to catch up. Yeah, alright. Sure. Let's do that. I do remember we were about to do the, um... The trials. Even if only ten of them. Use the couple hours to find map locations. I'm alright. Okay, so, um... I'm gonna ask for a little bit of a helping hand here. Can anyone help guide me a little bit? Not totally, but like a kind of a... A, a tip. Let's see, maybe Tippy can help. I'm just happy that Mario was safe. First, let's find the heart pillar using bro power. Well, I have Luigi now, so it's gonna be something I can jump over. I remember this area, kind of. Okay, okay, we got it, we got it. Kind of accidentally went in the right direction with some... some advice. So... The chat told me which way to go, more or less. We have to act quickly. We have to stop that blue air. Huh? Hmm? What did I just... Blue air? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Who in the world is that? I... What am I saying? Man, if this game... used a full controller and not a shitty Wiimote on its side, some of these things would go... If, if Nintendo wanted to, they could have made some of this so much faster. That's my one issue... With, well, there's a couple issues I have with this game, but I, I feel like, you know, full controller would be nice. Or, um, how about Metroid Other M? Do you think Metroid Other M would have been a slightly better game if it used, like, a nunchuck as well? Or maybe a pro controller? I'd say slightly. The easy answer is no. The joke answer is no, but I think it probably would have helped a little bit. Someone said the core gameplay of Other M wasn't bad. I had fun. I kind of did too. I had some moments of fun, but um, I just remember mashing the D-pad in every direction. Just going mental on the D-pad because you could just dodge. It's so dark here. I wonder what sort of world this is. It's the underworld again. Okay, today we're gonna work up a nice sweat. Man, those WiiWare games yesterday kind of scarred me. I'm using a Wiimote right now, and I kind of feel like... ...all the memories. Just from holding the Wiimote. Like, it, it's like holding a locket with memories, or a watch... ...that someone used to own. And you feel their memories come flooding back to you. Or like finding a thing that you owned for ten years, and lost for ten years. And suddenly you start remembering. Enjoy the massage. Or playing catch with kids who are neglected by their parents in a WiiWare game. Or using some kind of weird meat spit cannon. Vinny, you broke. This cat does not exist. Did I bring too many people to it? Can I show you a couple uh, that people tweeted me? So, last night on the Sunday stream, I went to three websites. One, this person does not exist. Two, this cat does not exist. And three, this waifu does not exist. All of these were generated from thousands and upon thousands of pictures of cats, people, and waifus to generate a machine-learned version of such things. And I got sent some tweets of the best ones. Um, if you missed it, the segment was yesterday. It was good. So, here are the, here are the best... Starting with a waifu. Here's um, a waifu that does not exist. Here's another one. Cool eyes, right? Here's a, this person does not exist. Oh no, I think this is Ganbreeder. This might be Ganbreeder. Yep. Here's a, another cursed lol cat. Konini Istini. Here's another person does not exist. Complete with, um, microphone. Kind of. The algorithm completely broke on this one. Just totally, completely broke. Amazing. Oh. Look who I found in the dark. It's Q from Star Trek The Next Generation, but worse. This door is no ordinary door. Halt, what's this then? Travelers have come? Whoa, whoa, get out of here, hand! Did you, <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> now, Queen Jadies demands I guard this door, people. I'm door guy the first. Lots of monsters around, folks. Lots of monsters. So I've got to do routine checks, okay? Sorry for the trouble, folks. I need to make sure you're trustworthy. Just a couple questions. 
answer them all correctly and we're done here, then you can head on through. Here's the first one. I'm warning you though, these are pretty tough questions, so use those noggins. D-Man A goes to the store and buys an equal number of tomatoes and eggplants. Eggplants cost seven coins apiece and tomatoes cost ten coins apiece, okay? D-Man A has 50 coins when he goes into the store, he comes out with five coins. These are the facts. Now, who is the most powerful person in the under- What the fuck? <laughs> Look, we'd love to chit-chat, but we're crunch- We're crunch time busy over here, can't you tell? We simply must reach the over there, but we don't know which way it is. The over there, huh? See that door on your left? It'll head you up there, but we can't open it right now. We've got to guard this door. We trapped a raging beast from the underwear inside. Problem is, until someone subdues it, we can't use the door to the over there. So, if you can tame it, we can open that door for you. Want to give it a shot? Okie dokie. What is this dangerous beast? I know that voice. Where am I? Why do these jerks and shades keep jumping me? What's with the dark? Peach is in here. And I'm hungry. What did I do to deserve this? Yeah, this game is good at padding itself. Snake Eater. You were climbing out of hell? Alright, fine, I accept. Hey, um, where did the rest of the coins go? I guess that's it. Not even Tippy can see the coins. I learned a new piece of Lord of the Rings lore recently. I learned that the reason the dwarves got greedy is because of the rings of power. Does Wario have a ring of power forged at the behest of Sauron? Listen, I thought it was worth a shot. I know, I figured- I figured it would be worth a shot to light up the place and see if that had any effect on the coins. Not like I even fucking need the coins, but I wanted to buy more gold bars. I wanted to invest in gold. I saw, like, a shy guy flipping one of those signs around. We buy your gold. Oh no, oh no, not another one. This door, it looks like door guy the first from earlier. Halt, what's this then? Travelers have come? Now, oh, Queen Jadies demands I guard this door, folks. I am door guy the second. Look, I apologize for the intrusion, but I've got to run. A quick security check here. A few questions. Answer them all correctly, and I'll wave you on through. Activate screen. It's good. Whoa, we got a screen this time. Fancy. All right, question one. Look closely at the objects on the screen, okay, folks? Are you watching closely? Okay. Now answer me this. How many red objects were there? Hmm. Sorry, folks, but I'm not going to tell you if you're right or not just yet. Question two. Watch that screen now. How many triangles were there, folks? Fuck, I didn't... I didn't get that bit. Two. Ooh-hoo-ha! Question three. Eyes on the screen, folks. What color were the moving objects? Blue, red, or schmorange? Probably not schmorange. Next question. Off the top of your head, what number question is this? Four. Getting tired yet, folks? Don't give up. This is the last question. Look closely at the screen. One of each. What shape was the most plentiful, folks? Ah, oh, fuck. I don't know. I thought there was one of each. It's triangles. Done! 
Let me just analyze your responses real quick. Oh, ha! Perfect! Amazing! I'm impressed. Your brain ages must be very young, folks. Is that a Nintendo reference? Well, with brains that young, you must be good people. Head on in. I'm good people. Bowser's good people. He kidnaps people. Dude, Joey Diaz kidnapped someone when he was younger. He's a stand-up comedian. Like 20-something years ago. And that dude apparently was at one of his stand-up shows. And Joey tweeted about it. He's like, dog. He goes, dog. It's not about where you started, dog. It's about where you end. And he just, like, he just took a picture with the guy he kidnapped. I, I don't know why he kidnapped the guy. I'm sure he had a good reason. <laughs> it's, maybe it's better without context. Joey is the biggest liar on the planet. You, seeing him do stand-up was... Let me tell you something. You're probably right. Well, you are not the only soul here with a problem, no. I have one as well. Yes, I lent a certain book to a certain D-man, you see. Now I need it back. Could you find him and get it back for me, you strapping young thing? Good, good, yes, good. Allow me to send you to where the D-man in question is. This gushing granny thanks you for your help, yes. Hagra-ca-cadabra. Time to fetch. Return the book? Oh, you mean the one I borrowed from that hag? Yeah, no prob, no prob. Just finished reading that bad boy, actually. What, really? And, and there was someone that had the nerve to tell me that this game didn't have padding. I mean, at least they sent me back to where the fucking dude was. But, I, you know, I don't feel like the game needed to be padded out any further. I would have been fine if, if the, uh, the old lady was just like, You've reached me! Here's the next thing for you to do! Here's another, uh, Gan Breeder. Fun time. Here's another one. Or perhaps this one. This cat does not exist. Yep. Truly disturbing. Nice suit, dude. Nintendo never makes bad decisions in their games. I love how, um... When I complain about Nintendo, I'm a Nintendo hater. When I say good things about Nintendo, I'm a Nintendo fanboy. But no, that wasn't that bad. That only took a couple minutes. Still unnecessary, but okay. Me, 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 me. Where are you headed, young man? I guess I want to know. You seek what? A puny heart? I know not what that is, but it sounds serious. <laughs> Yes, and I hate to be a bother, but I have a small problem. You see, and listen carefully, there is a show I really want to watch on the Undervision tomorrow night. I set my recorder to tape it automatically so I would not forget, yes? Oh, it has to be high quality too, not a quick stuff, such offer for image quality. In any case, I must be sure the Bone Ball game didn't go into extras and delay it. Could you ask him about the game for me? Nope. Youngsters these days don't respect their elders. No, they don't. Why, back in my day, we used to do nice things for the elderly. Laid with a generation brats. Oh, yes, I eat the dick. Then you get some good stuff for doing these side quests. I, I have enough good stuff in this game. I have the music note pixel, remember? When I got the music note pixel, in my head, I heard, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can eat all obstacles in my way. I can break all my arms from side to side. Come on. It's time to do the Mario. There's a little bit of a stretch there, but I tried. I like, uh, I kind of like break your arms better than eat your arms for the Mario. Like, you're dancing so fucking mental that you actually break both of your arms. Like, that's the only way to do the Mario properly. You have to flail so wildly. 
that you break your arms. That's my kind of Mario dance. Halt! Queen Jadies demands I guard this door, people. I'm Door Guy the Third. I've got to take a sec and see if you folks are worthy to pass through. Can I get a little under chomp? These aren't questions. Under chomp attacks. Wow. Oh, okay. What the hell? Luigi dodges like a pro. Blue under chomp breathes blue fire. Luigi, Luigi dodges Lu Louis B. Luigi glares at red under chomp and launches a super jump. 10 damage. Use Piccolo. Piccolo plays a mysterious song. Red Underchomp falls into a deep sleep. Blue falls into a deep sleep, and so does Yellow. Bowser says, Stopping time! Luigi switches place with Bowser. Bowser throws Boomer, Boomer explodes, Red takes 10 damage. This is almost like kind of a... This is gonna sound a little harsh, but it's almost a slap in the face to the actual gameplay style of the Paper Mario series before this. It's kind of funny that they actually programmed a turn-based system. Now that's hot! Bowser takes three damage. Even though the Super Paper Mario style is very different, it's similar enough. I mean, if you want to play a fun turn-based RPG, Paper Mario and Super... and, um, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door are really fun. Them and... them... them Mario RPG game, the original. Stinky breath has been expelled. Bowser dodges the stink. Truly Bowser's most impressive accomplishment. Now, obviously, when I say slap in the face, you know, I'm just messing around. It's not taking the piss out of that. It's a different game. It is taking the piss out of Dragon Quest, though, which I like. Hey, check you folks out. You beat the Underchomp. Good work. Head on in. I have a little bit of a confession to make. And the confession is that I'm kind of really looking forward to Dragon Quest Builders 2. I know I have not played the first, and I'm not going to. I'm going to hold off, so that way I can go in blind on the second one. It seems like a solid RPG. I mean, the building mechanics, that's fine. I, you know, I can... If they're good, that's cool. I'm not really looking to play the game specifically for the building, even though it's called Dragon Quest Builders. But, I don't know, it just looks like a fun little RPG with, um, turn action RPG. Vin played DQ2. Dairy Queen has got a sequel. It could be, you know, real easy to get cynical about this game because it's not other games. But... And, you know, the, the mild complaints I have about it, and some more serious ones aside, I really, really enjoyed this game up until now. And now I hate it. Bye! No, it's really- it's been really good. Overall, I've- I've really enjoyed this. Okay, best Mario Sky Worlds. What do you guys think? I think it's Mario 3. Stair 1? That's why- you guys wanted me to read that? Yeah, I like Mario 3's Sky World. Uh, Galaxy? Gusty Garden Galaxy, that's a good one. Halo 2 Blood Gulch? <laughs> yep. Do Yoshi games count? Uh, maybe. What are you thinking? I, I can't recall the Sky World. Oh, yeah, yeah, Yoshi had a good Sky World. Yoshi's Island. I mean, that is Super Mario Brothers 2. Super Mario World 2, excuse me. Mario RPG had Nimbus Land, which was pretty good. Oh, come on! And yes, chat had to tell me to do that. Like, I don't want to miss anything, but I also... You know, I'm kind of looking to just go, go, go high real fast. Here endeth stair one. Someone just said, end the game here, one of the few Mario games where there's no shame in dropping. So I'm guessing this is kind of an infamous chapter based on some of the reactions I've seen. How about this? How about this? Instead of us getting closure to the story that we've invested nearly 20 hours in, why don't I load up Grossology and we learn about... Vomit? 
and like hemorrhoids, and and um, uh, s sphinctal excretions. What a cool game that was. You know what the worst part? One of my uh, one of my current editors who's been really helping out. They saw the clip of the um, of the anal sphincter reading from last night, and they were like, "Hey, this this should be a video." And I'm like, "Oh boy." It will be. I think it will be. Depending on how entertaining part two of that stream is. I mean, how much more entertaining could that game be? Also, that clip of me finding that weird fucking cat in the, um, this is not a cat thing got like 18,000 views. Like the demonic cat that was moving with intent. And great speed. That really was a weird looking cat, though. Thing looked like fucking grandma. Here endeth stair two. At least I, I don't have to go through all 100 trials. Was this game, like, did they run out of development time? Yes, it got ported over from the GameCube. It was meant for GameCube, but, but hang on a minute, that doesn't mean it necessarily didn't have a lot of time. I'm just wondering if anyone knows if there's any confirmed stories of this game having less development time. Because there's some weird pacing. Some of the chapters feel, like, really, really tightly designed. And some of them feel... Uh, slow and... padded. Maybe they had too much time? Oh, it's possible. The tree has blue fruit. It looks like they'll fall down if you jostle the tree. Hey, that's my word. Can't use my word. How dare you. Vinny, keep in mind, Thousand Year Doors Chapter 4 had lots of padding, and Chapter 7 had the general... white fetch quest. I don't remember Thousand Year Door being perfect, either. It was good. I don't remember chapter four. It's been too long since I played it. I don't remember these chapters, but... I think we've come to the conclusion that no video game is totally perfect, and sometimes you do have to fight through a little padding. Final Fantasy IX. One of my favorite games. I think it has some just downright shit chapters. So I, I say chapters, but, you know, uh, areas. Like, there's a couple areas in that game that are just needlessly long and boring and the battles are just too much and and again as i always say the game's disc one is perfect disc two it starts to lose a little bit of steam here and there and then you you feel by the end of it the rush of the development cycle if there was one then again final fantasy 9 was also in development at the same time as final fantasy 8 so they had to split the resources and attention between the two games. So, yeah, the game does suffer. Here's a game that I don't think has any pacing issues. Correct me if you think I'm wrong. Chrono Trigger. Someone said Xenogears. Biased, but I think it has some. Okay, that's fine. That's my opinion. My, my opinion is that the game is paced well. Um, some people agree, some disagree. That's okay. What parts of Chrono Trigger felt like they had pacing issues to you. The dinosaur area, the start of the game is a little slow, couldn't stand the mountain area, the Black Omen, Robo side quest at the end. Yeah, that robot side quest kind of sucked a little bit. Titanfall 2 is exciting all the way through. Well, it's, that's a, like, six hour game. It's easier to, oh, it's easier to pace a game and to keep it exciting if it's short, I feel. That's one of the reasons I think Chrono Trigger works, because it's only like a 20-something hour long RPG. As opposed to, say, an RPG that has to go for 40, 50 hours. Like, I love Skies of Arcadia. I get downright fucking bored playing that game. There are times when that game is just a slog. And it's like a 50 hour game. Chrono Trigger is half that. And I feel like every single area doles out the appropriate amount of character development and story. None of the areas drag on too long. A couple of the dinosaur areas suck a little bit, I agree. And uh, Magus's castle can be a little long in the tooth, but... For my money, Chrono Trigger is a really, really nicely paced RPG. Love it. Someone said, I hate short RPGs, so I can't say I agree. See, I don't... I don't know how... Some RPGs can be... Like, look at, um... I guess it's not so much the length of the game... 
but Octopath Traveler? Time and time again, I've heard of people starting that game and then never returning to it. Getting to a certain point and just giving up. Someone mentioned Xenoblade. You're talking about the original? Didn't uh, the, the game have a really good first half and then the second half they had to tell in like storybook form? What was the, um, or was told in flashbacks? That's Gears? Xeno Gears, sorry. I said the name of the game wrong, I apologize. Yeah, Xeno Gears. Oh, more fruit. I take it I'm gonna need to bring one of each thing with me. Vlan sauce one uh, last time. Persona 5 stream or nah? No. That's not my type of game, I'm sorry. A lot of people have said... You see, I even struggle to tell people, like, I don't want to play a game because they take that as a sign of aggression towards their favorite title. It's weird. Um, yeah, but no, I'm good on a 100-hour game. Um, even by the end of Red Dead 2, a game I thoroughly enjoyed and loved dearly, I was just... I was so ready to be done with it. Just like, stop. Please. It's time. Vinny, don't apologize. It's just my favorite game ever, and you're literally killing me. I seem to be the cause of lots of, um... Lots of distress and injury. And, um... Yeah, and anxiety. Vinny, could you stop being so toxic? <laughs> huh? Is she... Oh no, Peach. I don't know. She hath eaten of golden fruit. She lacketh the common sense, I fear. Golden fruit? Yeah, Tippy has the rainbow around it. That's why I was, like, kind of, like, why is it pointing to Tippy? The over there teemeth with magical trees who whose fruit maketh many an odd effect. The fruit of golden hue maketh people so satisfied they falleth into deep sleep. And I mean deep sleep. The kind doth thou, thou thalt not wake up from the hundred thalt years. So then, all we need- all we know is that we need to find a kind of fruit. Marvelous. Well, um, well, oh. Well, we've got to do something! Let's go find any kind of fruit we can! So yon Princess Peach all seem to holdeth her in regard most high. My fucking brain is breaking trying to read the dialogue in this game. Hmm. Do what thou wantest. I am not helping. I am sulking. You hope this one's the taboo fruit. Oh. Where am I? Princess Peach. Oh, thank goodness you woke up. Oh, what's happening? Make it stop! She fell asleep again. I guess that was the wrong fruit. Shit. Schmorange? Where do I get a schmorange from? Just leave without Peach. Complete the game. Peach is sl still sleeping under that tree. Getting- growing more and more emaciated. Yellow apple. Do you remember, um, what, in the beginning of the game where I would... ...go into 3D everywhere just to see if there was a secret? I still do that to some extent, but not the same way. I kind of gave up on that pretty early. <laughs> Sorry, that was just... I enjoyed that very much. Who the fuck am I? Oh, right. I'm in a different plane of reality, man. Some... Oh. There was some, some discussion that uh, I should bring another red fruit with me. Yeah, this is the red fruit. I don't even fucking use that stuff. I don't know why you don't use it. Because, here's my theory about it. It's, yes, the cards are nice. They're there if you want them. But there's... 256 of them, and I have 30. <laughs> so, 
I mean, it's like pissing in the wind to try to get it in a cup. Cards give double attack. You may be right. I may be crazy. But, it just may be a lunatic you're looking for. No, well, I do hope this wakes Princess Peach up. How is Peach eating this stuff if she's asleep? Is Luigi, like, closing her, like, mouth? Oh, but anyway, w where am I? Princess Peach, oh, thank goodness you woke up. Oh, it's it! What's happening? A, a mustache? Get to some lip wax, oh no! She fell asleep again. I guess that was the wrong fruit. You were supposed to save the red one? Yeah, but I thought maybe, like... <laughs> it all happened so quick, I didn't have time to properly react. You're gonna want to save the red one for later? Alright, fine. I figured with the combination of the yellow fruit, the red fruit would have a different effect. I, listen, don't... Do you remember that commercial where they crack an egg over a frying pan and they say this is your brain on drugs? Yeah, I'm feeling real egg-like right about now. And not even because of drugs. Just... Brain rot. I'm also beginning to understand why this chapter is infamous. Whoever's saying Rem Lazar in chat, please stop. Good. Very good. I don't need to be reminded of Rem Lazar. God damn it, now the song is in my head again. Let's talk about Jeff Goldblum for a second, because he was on Conan's podcast, and it was really bizarre. No, 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 I didn't say Lazar, I said bizarre. Well, there's like weird... orgasmic noises and strange, strange things. And it got, like, kind of weirdly erotic, and also kind of informative, a little bit. And he said lots of strange things. What did he say something about papyrus thin? The line between madness and genius is papyrus thin? What, what, or orgasm and pain? What was it? Just, anyway, the point is, he's a weird guy. And I'll, I... Yet, I want to be friends with him. Uh, he was talking about running around with a red nose on- on genitalia. That was a little weird. Like a red clown nose. Uh, is anyone else losing their mind because of this- this level's music? Oh, don't get me wrong, the music is good the first 34, 45 times. Fruit. Okay, no time lost. It's, it's good. We're fine. Good morning. Vinny, you seem upset. Do you want a fruit cup? I'm just, you know... I'm... I'm good. I'm good on this. This whole level. <laughs> really. It's been... It's been nice. Oh, this is the wrong door again. You know... You know what fruit I really like? I like the cherries that are, like, sugary in the, in the red sauce that you put on ice cream sundaes. I hear those are real healthy for you, because you're still eating fruit. Mar Maracino? How do you say that? Yeah, the healthy cherries. You, it's like you're eating candy, and it's nature's fruit. It's God's fruit. Maracino? Maracino? 
Al Pacino. So here's here's another issue I've had. It's this this has been so much of a slog to go through this that uh I just stopped caring. So now I'm like just like running into enemies because there's like the the threat level is very low. I just kind of gave up. Well, what about this one? Please let this be the taboo fruit. Oh. It looks as though she's waking up. Uh, gross! Are you alright? Ew, what was that? What in the world did you just make me eat? It worked! Yahoo! Princess Peach, you're awake! Vinny, did you notice that Peach was the only one of the party sent to heaven? Yo, she's pure. That's, uh, that's interesting. I didn't consider that. You know, yesterday when I was showing the weird corrupted lol cat from, um, This Cat Does Not Exist, the, the words spelled sin. Can't wait for Mario Maker 2 to come out and I can show you my level tricks. Dude, level creation tutorials, everybody. Using a D-pad and not a touchscreen. It's like the one thing, you know. There's a couple things the touchscreen is excellent for, but that is... I, I can't think of a better use for it than Mario Maker 1. Mario Maker 2 is gonna be a little weird without it. Which, I think, again, they can just, you know, get a conductive stylus on that bitch. And they just, um... You know... It'll be good. Switch is touchscreen. However, yes, however, as I've said before, I cannot stream the Switch in handheld mode, so I will not be able to make levels with the touchscreen like I did with Mario Maker 1. How about this one? Why not just give the fucking thing mouse support? The, not my idea, by the way. I heard that going around. I think that Jeff Gerstmann guy said something like that. It's got USB ports right, at, right there on the Switch. Throw a mouse in that shit. If I can't make levels in VR using hand gloves, like the Power Glove and the Virtual Boy, then I don't want to- I don't want Mario Maker 2. I don't want to live in the same world as Mario Maker 2. And the fucking trackpad where you could play that run game where you would just, like, smash your feet against the ground over and over and over again to run. So, what do you guys see when you look at this right here? Just some, like, plants. Some vines. Just, just some fucking, some good old-fashioned 69 vines. So, uh, someone just said, uh, yeet the thunder. I like that sentence. Just, just a moment, please. Sorry. <laughs> Hang on a minute. I got an email. Uh, I don't ask why I know this, but it's, it's a great, I have to, I have to address this now. It says, you blew my TV speakers. Dear Binyat, been watching you for years and for good reason, you're entertaining. But, for the love of God, do you have to scream? I mean, it's entertaining as hell, don't get me wrong, but I'm pretty sure you blew my TV speaker when you were playing Tetris, and now it sounds a bit assy. I thought you might like to know that. Not so you can reimburse or anything like that. Well, I don't know what a bit assy is. If you take that into the Geek Squad over at Best Buy, they're gonna look at you like you have seven heads. Um, turn your goddamn speakers down, and listen... I don't scream... ...unless I feel a good goddamn reason to scream, and it just so happens... ...you know, a couple times tonight, and a lot of times during Tetris, and a lot of times during every other stream... ...I have had moments where I get, like, heated. So it's a, a heated streamer moment, and, um, I have to let out- I have to yeet the emotions out. Uh, verbally. And, as such, uh, a good old, like, scream is- is the way to do it. It's... not even con- it's not even conscious. It- it just kind of happens. I'm sorry for your speakers. 
If you want a reimbursement, I can send you an overpriced sticker from own it from Teespring. I'm sorry, but Yeet is just one of my favorite. It's just one of my favorite things uh, to say lately. I like the past tense of it as well. Yo. I like when you watch someone like throw another person with great force, and then in the comments on the YouTube video, it says they just got yeeted. Not that I watch videos like that on purpose, but if I happen upon them, because you know how the internet is. That's the only, like, yeah, I, I like that word. I don't like fam, really. Um, I don't, there's like a lot of mod modern words that I don't use. <laughs> because I'm a stubborn, pretending to be old person that's not that old. Uh... Guess what? Guess what I did to that mushroom just now? I threw it over the edge. What? Uh, uh, what? What am I? What do you guys keep calling me? I'm one of you, fellow children. I'm. I am one of you. I am in the the required period to be called a millennial. So when when I'm told through the news that I'm killing Starbucks and Applebee's, and I should feel bad for killing. The microwave food service industry. Uh, I'm- I'm with you, my fellow fam. Hi, I'm Cyrus. I'm a newborn cloud. Pleased to meet you. I've got big dreams. Big ones. I want to be the biggest cloud I can be. I heard about this one guy who could grow big just by eating a mushroom. That would be so cool. If you could find a big making thing like that, give it to me. Will eating this make me big? Cool, then I'll try it. Well, that saved me a lot of backtracking time. I did it, now I'm a big cloud. From now on, just call me Super Cirrus. Like Cirrus? All oh, right. No more little bitty cloud for me. I'm a real bouncy, so hop on top. Yote into heaven. Further. <laughs> That's great. Yes. 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 And this is actually where we end for the night. Slightly shorter stream. Uh, but, uh, you know, Jeff Goldblum had a, uh, rub on it. Uh, it's good. Thank you. That's it. But the truth is, I really like Super Paper Mario. I think it's, you know, it's been a really good, it's been a really good story so far with some memorable characters and environments. And the gameplay is sufficient, but I think the next Mario-related RPG thing I'd like to stream is Bowser's Inside Story. I thought about doing Partners in Time, but I get a lot of people telling me, maybe don't do that one right away. It's not as good as Bowser's Inside Story. It's good, but it's not as good. And, uh, we'll see. I'm gonna do a little bit of, um, I'm not gonna do anything for a while. No more RPGs or Mario RPGs for, uh, for some time. But when it happens, it'll probably be one of the Mario and Luigi games. So last time on Sup Pap Mar, <laughs> what am I calling it now? White clouds as far as the eye could see. Mario and Co. had climbed through clouds and finally reached the over there. Odd. No party springeth forth to welcome us, wondered. Love be allowed. It mattereth not, Father's shrine is just ahead, so we can walk there with ease. But they would not arrive at the shrine as easily as love be predicted. Why not? Because something unexpected and dramatic was about to happen. Soon we shall meet with my father, Gramby, but be thou on thy best behavior. So, Gramby is your father? <laughs> Gramby. There we go. Um, actually, someone, um, twatted me the other day on Twitter, and, um, they showed me that there was a clip of mine that made it to, um, perfectly times 
perfectly timed screams on Twitter. Perfectly timed. Perfectly cut screams. What did I say? Perfectly timed screams? No, 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 no. Yeah, perfectly cut screams. I'll show you. Here's the, um, here's the moment. Why does it have so many views? Man. I don't get it. I'm... I'm grateful. I... you know... That's cool. I didn't like that moment. That was a bad moment for me. People share your pain for the annoyingness of that chapter. I mean, I said this yesterday, but that chapter was a huge fucking pain in the ass. Memorable as it may be. I actually enjoyed... the, um... the fruit... stuff. What an awful power-up this is. I know I said that for every hour of gameplay I've committed to this game so far, but it's just so terrible. Oh, friend of the Nimbus, are you? Then you must be an enemy of us! Taste spear! They're like, we can take this plumber, we can take this Italian man with his stash, and then Bowser appears out of nowhere, and they're like, oh, wait a minute, we made a mistake. So... This is a puzzle, isn't it? Oh, thank thee, it is so. Thou hast brought me back to life. Hold a moment, what am I doing hither? Who am I? Where am- where? What am I? Who am I? <laughs> In a previous life, you were a filmmaker. Your films were loved by th literally tens of people. Where am I? When is it? No, oh, it is futile. I have no idea who I am, none at all. What shall I do? That's Blubby, he's a powerful nimbi. He's got a kind personality. And heads up the over there human resources sector. Well, can't we just tell him that? Is there... N so there's nothing else to do here? Hit him? I, I tried. It's locked. We need more music in this game, like in this part specific. It should just cycle through the entire game soundtrack. I see lots of people saying they want to bash their skull in because of the song. It's not even a bad song, it's just there's too much of it. That was a very, um, poor decision of me. I was like, oh, if I switch into Luigi in, in 3D, everything will be... Maybe there's a secret up there. There's no secret. Sniff, oh, woe is me. Thou, art thou a kitten too, or art thou a grand lion? Prithee, lion, help mine man! Thou oh, hast my thanks, yeah! Pray, allow me to do something for thee in return. Yea, verily, darling dear, perhaps if thou wouldst move thou, the thou knowest what? The thou knowest what? Even the inhabitants of this world are insufferable. Yeah, at least the people of hell were fun. Sorry to make it thee wait. Behold the ob... the overator. The overvator. It transporteth nimbies upward. Nimbi, Nimbi, I owe thee for thine help. I operate yon lift, prithee. Let me give thee a rod. Goeth thou up? Yea. Hey, bruh. I thought that was the most annoying speech pattern, but I think we've we've found it. <laughs> and yea, hither we are. Thank thee for using the overvator. Um, I, I like that you can still see the portal, even when you're in heaven. Or this game's heaven. Like, I, I really enjoy that. That's a nice touch. Nowhere is safe. So if you die after the, the portal happens, there's no place to go. Egg face. Whoa, thank thee for thine help. My given name is Whibby. I owe thee for that one. Thou art super. It's unsufferable. Once thou hast them all, we can rebuild the bridge, taketh, taketh this, and findeth the other. I beg of thee, Douglas, thou must help! God. Christ Jesus. The three orbs. Do you know what um, the three orbs really means? 
That's right, real backtracking hours, that's exactly correct. Where did these, these motherfuckers come from? Yeah. 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 Yeah, fighting in 3D as paper. Thou art a pain in the ass to kill. You don't have to fight them. Yeah, but they, they're... They're enemies. They need to die. I'll check out that other area in a little bit. Okay, now picture the whole chapter like this. What's wrong? <laughs> I can't... Why can't I live? 666 six, six coins, huh? That's devil music I just did there. That was electric guitar devil music. Made famous by Henry Zabrowski. 866 six, six coins! Fruit! That's some good Satan music right there. I mean, this guy does nothing, he does literally nothing. R remember small things? That's maybe. This NIMBY has been injured. His injury is not serious, but it doesn't get any better since he's so distracted. Someone told me there was uh, an item below this NIMBY. Oh my god. Oh my god! Today was gonna be the day they were gonna throw it back today. Bye 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 bye. Petch is getting getting a lot of use here. Taketh that. Oh, this lad. They come without pause. Hmm, against such an assault, I cannot hope to last. Huh? Reinforcements? At last, my strength hath reached its end. Please, thou must finish them. We, we have a Bowser. I am Rebby. Thou hath saved me. I owe thee thanks. Rebby, Granby's in trouble. Hast thou the red orb? Luckily, the three orbs are not things to be given away lightly, and yet these are dire times, are they not? I owe thee a big debt. Here, I give it to thee. Secret mist? Someone said <laughs> they're saying there's a secret down. Oh, let's check. Oh my god, you're right! That was a non-jape! Ta-da! Another miraculous escape, mine esteemed Nimbai. This treasure chest contains a treasure most valuable. Me! Pray, what art thou doing in there? Dost thou not know that the over there hath been overrun by beasts most foul? I was practicing my escape act, and I got stuck! Wait! Beast's most foul! If thou speaketh the truth, then I must hasten to hiding! Here, taketh it! Maketh sure to return my generosity when they torture you to find out where I am! Fare thee well! You're a loony. Was that Life of Brian or Holy Grail? Or, where he says... where he says that. What, what the fuck? That was Holy Grail? Who does he say it to? Toomst. Who does he say it toomst? Vinny, why not use it? Oh, the ho he says it to the Black Knight. Right, okay. I cannot understand for the life of me. I'm trying to, like, avoid being, like, like needlessly critical of the game. Because I know it has its problems already. We all know it has its problems, but I also like a lot of it, too. 
However, if someone said, uh, Vinny, I don't care how many TurboTax ads I get on your stream, you can't make me pay taxes. You know, for the record, I don't really care what you do. You can do that if you want, but uh, I want you to know that the, the ads that you see are chosen specifically by me. Every day before I stream, I go into... <laughs> Every day before I stream, I, I go into the, uh, the, the ad um, program, and I look and see to myself, Yes, I would like for my audience to pay their taxes tonight. I would also like for them to play Apex Legends. Switch to Luigi. It would have been this sprite, but green. The truth is this, though, about about the ads. Um, you know, I don't I don't mind if you use ad block. I'm okay with it. If, they, if it even works on Twitch, if you can find a way to block those things, you have my absolute express permission. I don't actually press the ad button until I'm just about to end the stream. Uh, so so if you're getting pre-roll ads or whatever, uh, then I I don't know where that's coming from. But I am using it to buy a yacht. Not the boat. A yacht. A Y-O-T. Are the fell beasts gone? So is it safe for me to come out thither? By the way, who out art thou? I'm a monster. A monster thou with lieth! No monster would admit to being a monster, huh? Hold a moment. That meaneth thou art not a monster. I think I accidentally solved the puzzle. What the fuck is a yacht? It's like, uh... It's like, um... No. Oh, it's, it's, it's got hair and it's, fl it's flesh. Um, you know what? I might have a picture of a yacht. Give me a second. Okay, no. No, I can't find it online, but I do have a picture of it. It is definitely in here somewhere. If you'll grant me... 30 seconds. That's all I need. 30 seconds. And I can show you what a yacht is. That's not it. That's not it. Almost. Shit, I don't know if I have it anymore. That's not it. Damn. You know that picture? It's It's been a picture on the internet. It was like a weird mass of, like, flesh and limbs that didn't make any sense, and it had, like, hair connecting them. And it was just like... It was like a flesh pile. You've seen it? No? Yes? Someone has to know what I'm talking about. Also, someone in chat said this is a 2 out of 10 bit, as if it was planned in any way, shape, or form. I just wanted to find a flesh picture. Like, I had this plan for weeks. You know, I wrote it and everything. No, it's not this. That's not a yacht. Never mind. All right, well, I tried to break up the game a little bit with some with some levity, but, you know, whatever. My bit failed. Yeah, someone said uh, th there is an artist that made... Uh, and we, we use the word artist with, um... Lots of, of air quotes. Uh, <laughs> hey, you know what? No, they are an artist, but the point is they made these meat sculptures. It was like human flesh sculptures. No, it's not the bean cube. Good system, but not quite that. It was a human flesh sculpture that... Whoa. It wasn't real flesh. It was just some, like, like silicon... Silicone. Which one is it? Cone or con? I don't even know. Not quite this, but we're in this- we're in the ballpark now. Also not quite this, but we're- yeah, we're getting there. Um, is it on this page? Not quite, but I'll tell you what. That's a yacht. I'm saving up to buy a yacht. Bit has been- it's over now, finally. F fucking hell, what is that link? Some mentalist just posted a crazy fucking link. I can't even- I can't even click it. People are now linking to, like, weird SCPs and- Hang on, I, I wanna check one more link. It's a, that's a fistula. I don't- I don't wanna know about that. Okay, alright, you know what? This is bad. I'm done. Nope, no more links. 
Someone just linked me a flesh tire with hair on it. I'm good. I don't- I don't want to see any more of this stuff. I just thought it would be funny for a second to- to- Oh, whatever. My mind immediately went to Plumbus when someone said, what's a yacht? And I was like, well, maybe a yacht is something like a Plumbus. Um, someone named- Someone in chat typed the same question many, 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 many times. Uh, for anyone new to the stream, there's almost- there's a lot of annoying stuff you can do, but it, copying, pasting, copying and pasting the same question over and over again is very frustrating to a streamer, and I want you to know that that's, uh, very not good, if that's okay for me to say that, okay? That said, I'm gonna answer your question this one time. I live in New York because I like it here. Where am I? When is it? Hold on a moment, I remember. I am... I am Blueby. How convenient that Blueby finally remembers. Ramby's in danger. If thou speakest truth, then here taketh it. Takest it. God damn it. That amnesia was a scum mechanic. So I'd be forced to backtrack. The question is, we f I feel like you've been... I feel like we've been generally very critical of this game, so what moments in this game pleasantly surprised you? I mean, a lot of the story stuff is good, the writing is pretty funny at times. I, I like the game overall. Um... There's been some, some clever, like, you know, funny moments with fights. Uh, I like some of the pixels, I like the secrets. Top 10 Paper Mario Funny Moments. Number 10. Vinny, wow, I hate that voice. Never do it again. I w <laughs> You're what? Yeah, sure, I won't do it again. Vinny, sorry I kept asking, I just assumed you didn't see it. Well, no, I didn't the first five times. But that's- that's the thing. A lot of questions get lost and you have to- The stream... chat... is like pissing in the wind. And sometimes you get piss on yourself, and sometimes you just have to let something go. You could type up a really clever joke or a really great question, and maybe ask it like one more time if you didn't get it. But a lot of times it's it's actually uh it's it's best to just let it go. Like that frozen song. But I, I did see it. Yeah, I did see it the first couple times. But I also kept track of um I saw that I had answered like three of your other questions. You know, I, I kind of do take a mental note if I answer the same person's person- the same Persian's questions three or four times. I like to, you know, spread the love a little bit. Just ask again- yeah, exactly. Ask the next day one time, and if you ask 365 days and I still don't answer it, your question is terrible. Okay. Okay. Body odor. It's a miracle. It's Tetris, but with only line pieces. Butterfly in the sky. I can fly twice as high. Take a look. You stupid fook. It's reading rainbow. You fook. That's right, you bastard. You fucking owl bastard. <laughs> fucking owl. Ah, oh, Pokemon set in the Manchester region this time. Ah, oh, don't throw it in the tip, just leave it outside. It's a little Scottish, actually. Shuttest thy trap, foul one, speakest. Doth my father farewell? If thou hast hurt a whisker on his face, I shall end all that is you. Wow. What, you little brat? Hey, you guys, fall in! So you want to see how scary we can be, little girly? Wanna take a good look? Oh dear, there seems to be a lot of them. I didn't know there were so many left. Calm thy mind. I shall handle them. You. At long last, my strength returned to me. And now these fiends shall reap the grim harvest of my nimby fury. The hour is nigh. Nimby Brigade, are thou ready? Yay. 
one million troops. And now, NIMBY Brigade, ahem, charge. No mercy. Cool fucking battle. Honk honk. Yeah, hundreds of thousands of dead grumbies or whatever. Father, Father, art thou all right? Of me. Thou should not have come. Flee from here. Oh. Ooh, ha ha ha. Touching scene to be sure. Hey, you're the boss of all the crazy guys who escaped the underwear, aren't you? Pleasure to make your acquaintance, I assure you. My name is Bone Chill. Oh, you dear ignorant child. You really don't know a thing, do you? How charming. Wh what dost thou mean? I speak of the pure heart. I speak of you, love me. It is you? What? Say it now? Pure heart was hidden ingeniously to keep it away from evil sorts like me. Granby changed the pure heart into a nimby that he called his own daughter. That's no. Thou liest. Father sayest something. Love me more. The old fool can weigh the sins of others, but not his own. Many thanks for delivering the pure heart. Once I deal with you, none can stop me. I shall be invincible. Please, as your game ends, remember it is run all hard to have it ended by my talons. Thou hast done a fine job. Thou hast saved our realm. Mother! I had not received word of your safe arrival, so I came looking. Are you well? Speakest to me now, mother. Father and thee, art thou verily my parents? Love be you. You are not really our child. So it is true. Your heart was always in danger of falling into the hands of evil, darling. So Grams and I decided to transform it into a shape that no one would suspect. Isn't the underwear full of evil people? P E E P I L. Peepio. And that was me. Ah. What was that? The pure heart doth struggle against the love be identity. It seeketh its true its true form. It doth sense someone nearby worthy of possessing it. It must be these fair folk. So, uh, haha, -ha, thou sayest I am meant to be with him. He verily is my prince. This doth stink. He is completely wrong for me. I speak seriously to you. This hath no humor to it. Fine, I shall return to my pure heart form, and I shall go with Mario and his friends. Thou art certain? If thou turneth back into the pure heart, the nimby known as love be will cease to exist. Nay, perhaps I already have. I remember being the pure heart now, in truth. And the world will end if I did not do it. Is this not so? So I should just... Wait, why do I explain myself to thee? Thou art not my real father, so quiet! There isn't much to love be anyway, really. I mean... You know, we're not losing... a Robert Zadar, or someone of similar caliber. To think of all the times thou hast scolded me. Thou didst know I was not long for this world. Why didst thou not let me have fun? Nay, instead I suffered an angry fake father and a nagging fake mother. I had no life. How dost thou plan to make that up to me? 
love me. Sayest thou what thou wilt to me, but takest not to thine mother, that talketh not to thine mother that way. Perhaps thy sass shall end once thy, thou changest forms. What thou, thou, thou why wait for? Perhaps we were wrong to create you, and we only po caused pain. We apologize. Oh, mother, thou needest not apologize. And now a reading from the Book of Love Be. My dear mother, thank thee. The pure heart dost wish to assume its original form. Love be. Tippy takest good care of the real me, and savest the world, yea. Such is my final wish, so if thou dost not do it, thou art most unkind. I understand. Father, mother, fare thee well. Love me. Oh, my darling. Oh, I'm sorry for lying earlier, because in truth I love thee both. Time to go. Can I show you Robert Zadar for a second? I want you to see th this um, this beautiful man. Lovely. Now, ye prophesied ones, destined heroes. That's really him, by the way. Let no one else in the universe feel this sadness. Robert Zadar is an angel. Okie dokie. Very well, then I am satisfied. Now, love be, thou must go. Oh, Grams. I hear you like that. I hear you like cars. It's just that chapter was so boring for me, and the, the fucking old English was driving me fucking crazy. I didn't mean to like ruin possibly a good moment, but I mean even that the moment itself, as cool as the idea is, it just I, it felt so ham-fisted. Thou taketh my allowance. I couldn't I couldn't do it, mate. Someone in chat just said, I feel like this quote-unquote serious story would be much better without the wacky Mario characters. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna do the Pit of a Hundred Trials. I'd prefer not to prolong. But I'd like to at least see a little bit of it. This is the entrance to a dangerous dungeon called the Pit of a Hundred Trials. Once you enter, it's not easy to leave. Yeah, sure. So, apparently you get a pixel that makes you go faster if you do this. The flop side one gives you infinite flip. I don't know, these aren't, like, appealing rewards. For completion's sake, you know, go for it, but... You have to do flop side twice. So, wait a second, you have to... Kill all the low-level enemies, and- and randomly find a key, and then use it on a door. Is it this 100 times? The enemies get stronger. Well, well yeah, yeah, I can imagine they would, but... Well, I didn't do the trials in a- in Thousand Year Door, either. Was it the same thing? It was a- was it a hundred trials, or... It was just battles? And it- and it wasn't a good badge that you'd get from it? It was a hundred trials with a motherfucker of a boss at the end of it. Oh, okay. I mean, a lot of RPGs have really grindy stuff. I mean, Zelda has... Twilight Princess has the, the trials, right? I don't remember if there were a hundred of them, but... At least in that game... You know, they threw different combinations. Wind Waker had it, but, um... The combat... Kept it... Pretty interesting, and, and the enemy combinations... Kept it interesting. I wouldn't... Want to do a Paper Mario one... Th those are action games. This is... This is a little different. <laughs> well, technically, this isn't very... This isn't turn-based. 
It's an RPG to some extent, but it's still just whack the thing with your hammer. But yeah, a lot of RPGs have trials and, you know, areas that take hours to do. Didn't Final Fantasy XV have a boss that took, like, two hours to kill? It's optional. Oh, the, uh, 12? And Adamantoys, that was 15. 12 hours? No, Final... Okay, Final Fantasy 12. Sorry, communication error. How long did the one in 12 take? Yizmet? Two to four hours? Dear God. I remember 30 minutes for Emerald Weapon seemed like an eternity when I was younger, and now 30 minutes for one boss in Final Fantasy? That sounds about right. Have you ever thought of playing Final Fantasy XII? I've considered it, and I'm still considering it. The Switch version seems like it's going to be... ...a good version. But I, I don't know. I mean, there's things that scared me off of Final Fantasy XII years ago... ...that still kind of scare me away from it now. Um, I'll, I'll look into it. I'm, I'm not gonna say yes or no right now. There's a four times speed button for Final Fantasy XII. What, in the Zodiac Age version? Well, um, yeah, someone said it's like a, a single-player MMO in terms of combat. That was something that kind of scared me away from it when I was younger. I heard that the main character was just terrible and was a last-minute addition because they thought that the audiences wouldn't be able to relate to an older, older man. Was his name Bosch? Was the older guy, and then Vaughn was the the replacement. Or Bosch, Balt Balthier, Balthier. Where did Bosch come from? Is there a character named Bosch in that game? Captain Bosch. Yeah. See, I know a little bit about the game. It, I'm, I have interest in it because there's some things about that game that I've seen it streamed and it looks really cool. Huge. So, if it, you know, if some of the stuff is fixed, like the grindy stuff, and, and you can speed it up, that's cool. That's something that interests me. I might pick it up on the Switch. Here's the thing, guys, I might not fucking stream it. If I get that game, there is a chance that I'll just play it, because I don't want to- if I don't like it, and I feel like I've, I'm in over my head, I don't want to feel like I'm letting people down if I stop streaming it. If you like the broken game systems in 8, you'll like 12, probably. I didn't really like the, <laughs> the the weakest part of Final Fantasy VIII were the broken systems, and I like a lot of Final Fantasy VIII. I just don't like that draw system, and the the, the GF system gets a little old. What are we doing here? Um, we're going to flop side. Oh, it was just right there. So, the time has come. Vinny, this isn't too long. You could probably beat the whole game tonight. Um... No. Most people are saying no. Save chapter 8 for one last stream. So, okay, um... How long do you think the next chapter is, in total? It's around an hour if you rush it. One to two hours. It's a lot of reading. Okay. Here's what we'll do. Next time I stream this game, I will start the stream with it. That way I have energy, I'll grab a little bit of caffeine, I'll be able to fully invest and enjoy it. And we can take as long as we need to beat it. Someone just said, Vinny, you shouldn't drink coffee at 10 p.m. I, I wouldn't. It would probably be more like tea. Just, just like a, a cup of tea. Tea is caffeine. I would do uh, low caffeine. I do low caffeine tea unless it's Earl Grey. Um, but I, I usually... I'm still able to- I- I can have tea and then sleep just fine later on. Alright. I'm good. Let's end this a little early. Uh, this is a shorter stream, but in order to get everything... ...all, you know, tidy and cozy for next stream, I think this is a good stopping point. And it gives us all a chance to get some fucking sleep. So, I'm game for it. Um, I did start early. And I did bullshit about the hobbits for a very, very long time in Astroneer, so I guess it all worked out. Uh, thank you for joining me for Super Paper Mario. This wasn't the most exciting stream of this game I've done yet, but I, you know, 
I still had some fun with it. And I think the game is now that we're approaching the end, we're going to wrap it up. And I think it could be cool. When I'm done with the game, I'll kind of go into more detail about how I feel about it overall. Because... Shut up, Mario. Why are you sleeping? Mario's bored of my shit. Because the game is good. It is... It, it is fun. The game is fun. Some of it. And other bits of it, I'm only invested because of the cool environments in the story. But that's a whole thing for another time. So let's, um... Let's stop now. But I can tell you what, I see the problems, though the detractors of this game... I think are a little bit... Like, they go hard with how much they dislike it. And then the people that love the game, I guess this is the same for anything. The same could be said of all religions. But the people that love the game, like, kind of, I think, ignore some of its flaws or just don't care about them. But I've seen people say that this is a shit game, zero out of ten type shit. And I don't, I don't see that at all. I just don't, I don't see it. It's Paper Mario. They tried something different. That's pretty okay. Welcome to Friday Night Vine Sauce, one word at a time, unless they're two words, in which case I say a couple words at a time. This is the f Super Paper Mario, Super Paper Mario finale. And Rocket Man. We, we're gonna, we're gonna finish this thing. This, this is, um, you know, be not sad because it's over, but be, be not, ha, ha, be, remember the hap, in, in, in happiness. Who, who did, who decided that the word paper should be pronounced with an A sound? As opposed to pap, apper. Anyway, um, welcome to Super Paper Mario. This is Super Paper Mario Crisis Mode, meaning... My, um, the batteries on my Wiimote are about to run out, but I'm not changing them. So, yeah, no, we're gonna clutch it, but here's the, here's the difference. The difference is I'm not just doing this for a jape, but rather I use these batteries from day one of Super Paper Mario. So you know what I'm gonna do? When I'm done with these batteries, I'm gonna put them, I'm gonna put them in a little bag. And I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to raffle them off for charity. And then you can say you own the batteries that beat Super Paper Mario live on stream. And then, like, it just turns out, like, 40 people get two batteries. And they're like, wait a minute, you got them too? Wait a minute, you got them too? No, um... This is the final stream of Super Paper Mario. We're on Chapter 8. But first, we're gonna do the pit of a hundred trials, all four times. Should we save, chat? I want to make sure I'm making the right decisions here. Are we? Am I saving? No. Want me to live that dangerously? All right. <clears throat> so Weezer's doing a promo with Fortnite, and I've heard about it a lot lately. And when I think of Weezer, I think contemporary. I think Fortnite. So, you know, good good job, Weezer. I, I just, I, I feel like, you know, I like Weezer. I like some of their music from back in the day. I like the first two albums quite a bit. And um, I like a couple other songs here and there, but someone asked me if I wanted to see Weezer recently. And I was like, no. No, I don't. I like them, but I don't want to see them live. Like, I like the first couple albums. Like I said, they're good. Pinkerton's great. Binyat, what are you doing? I don't know, what am I doing? Where am I going, chat? Help me. The final chapter? Top of Flopside Tower. The final door has spawned. This is the final door. Eight, oh, did I do this guy as, as Dr. Light? I don't remember. Eight pure hearts versus the dark prognosticus. Count Black... Castle Black awaits. You know what? If I didn't... 
Let's just do it now. There was something on the last page of that white prognosticus. Only those who have not abandoned hope can turn back the prophecy of doom. They walk forward into the future no matter how dark and uncertain it may be. You have fought all this way because you believed the future could be b bright. I can't go through this door with you, but I send you with all the hope in my heart. It's getting worse, chat. Isn't it weird that the longer I play something, or the longer I do a voice, the worse it gets? Let's go. Let's defeat Count Black. Let's save the world from destruction and things. And hurry, for the world may not have much time. It's that black span of nothing. In that black span of- Yeah, it is a black span of nothing, and you will find Count uh, Castle Black in it. I, c I can read. You may face battles harder than any of you have endured thus far. If you feel ready to face this challenge, then please go forward. Okay. Mario, Princess Peach, Bowser, Luigi, be strong. Bowser's always strong. Except for every time he gets defeated by Mario, which is every time he fights Mario. After finding every pure heart, the band of heroes set off for Castle Black. The stakes were- I re almost read this Castle Black, which is the Game of Thrones castle on the wall. It's like right at the, you know, in the middle there. Um, the stakes were high as the ominous void grew larger, and the end drew near. Castle Black, could Mario and his friends stave off the inevitable? Over and overturn the prophecy. They didn't finish the graphics on this, I don't think. Vinny, what voice do you enjoy doing the most? What's the one um, I've been doing a lot lately? Uh, not Jay Leno. That, that the voice is ridiculous. What? Um, I like Doctor Light. It's some, something cathartic about that and fun. Even if it is terrible. That's Koopa Patrol, a merciless minion wrapped in spikes and armor. I like going D's. Mother Brain's fun. Hurts the throat. F T throat. F H T. That's how you. That's how you spell that. That one. That's my my best bit I've ever come up with on the stream, and my favorite voice that I do. And uh, had a had a long day today. It's good, though. Um, productive. Worked on, on some music. That pedal that I got, the Monosynth, has some of the crustiest tracking. Y you, you gotta hear how bad it glitches out. It sounds like Corruptions. Because it tries to take the note that you're playing on the guitar and turn it into a synthesizer sound. And it gets real weird. It's a good pedal. I can make it work, but it gets real fucking weird. I'll record, like, a version of it. Next time I play, um, I'll get like a little a little sample of what I mean because it just glitches the fuck. It sounded like that weird glitch plugin I was doing with my voice on my compressor a while back. Still good though. It just you need uh, you need to play the notes very deliberately, and you need to maybe throw some like compression on them, or maybe play a guitar with a lot of sustain. If anyone knows what that means. But anyway, um, but yeah, it's a cool pedal. It's got some good sounds. I'd recommend it, but maybe not. If you're trying to do chords, you can't. Really weird. Vinny, have you seen the turd pedal? What? Is it flat? I've taken a lot of damage. I'm, I'm actually, you know, getting hurt. This game is hurting Mario. And then amidst all this chaos, they're just throwing little goombers at me. Yeah. Should I go back and go upstairs, or, or is this... Is this trash? Oh! This is where Peach almost got tooken. Fold of a tuck! Sorry. <laughs> hey, if you guys wouldn't mind, I'd like some, some more outrageous uh, theories. Maybe you can tweet them to me. If you have any, um, outrageous, fun theory crafting involving the ring and Lord of the Rings, um, like, the one who was like, what if Swal- uh, Swallow, Frodo the ring, what if Frodo swallowed the ring and then Gollum ate his ass? If you got anything like that, just, just let me know. 
Like, I wanna, you know, I wanna be prepared when I go to the Tolkien exhibit. And I want to, um... I wanna, you know, have my theories firmly in place so that way I can, um, feel a deeper connection with the material. Yeah, I, you know, I see a lot of people talking about Cockring. That's been probably done to death. I mean, it, it's, it's obvious, you know, it's, it's the, the inevitable first... ...thing that you would think about, I, I'd imagine. Probably when the movies came out. The first person who ever saw it in the theater was like, what if it was a penis ring? Propose to someone with the ring so they can't say no? That's not how the Force works. Vinny, do you plan on playing Tur- Turjam and Earl? Not really. No. I never really played- I never played to the original. And, um, I don't think it's anything that I, um, that I ever really wanted to check out. Though I did get an email from someone saying that I need to be more open to playing, um, 90 hour long RPGs. And that if I don't like it halfway through, I just give up on it. They were like, the chat will be fine with it. No, that's the truth though. I, I do, obviously, pick my games carefully. Some would say too carefully. But, um, you name it, it's been requested. Every game that's ever been made at this point. <laughs> okay, it's a little hyperbolic, but... I have to still be selective, and I, I, uh, I don't want to play through 40 hours of a game and then get bored and give up on it. I just, you know, I'd rather spend my time being a little bit more selective. So, for anyone who wants to see me play any of the Xenoblades, for example, you have my sympathies. Vinny, play real-life football? Vinny, will you be playing Sekiro when it's released? I will, actually. It may not be, you know, um, a consistent stream. It might be like Bloodborne, where I really like it. But, um, they want to send me Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, and I... I said, okay. At the very least, I'll check it out on stream and see if it's any good, you know, for me, my tastes. I might not like it and someone else might like it, it might be amazing. But, um, uh, I thought that was, that was a nice... I thought, yeah, I want that game. That game looks cool. Vinny doesn't want to get dunked on. Did you see me play Bloodborne? I got dunked on every night. Anthem, full playthrough. Yeah, I don't know about that one, dog. Vinny, Bloodborne was the birth of meat, not Castlevania. True. However, Castlevania made it a thing. Like, meat just showed up. I'd say that the two games together are responsible for meat. Because I, I was able to make party meat and vengeful meat during Castlevania, but meat just kind of showed up at the bottom of the screen, real, real, real small. And, uh, so I'd, I'd say, yes, Bloodborne was the birth of meat, but the maturation, that's a good word, isn't it? Uh, the maturation of the meat was during Castlevania. And I think that's what really solidified its, um, continued presence. Some would say it was the apex of meat's legacy. Um, a couple other games I'll be streaming, if only one time. Just because they, um, my YouTube network was like, Paul was like, hey, do you want these? And, like, it was, it was a bunch. It was like, you know, seven games, including Anthem. And I was like, nope, nope, nope. And then they were like, do you want Devil May Cry 5? I was like... Okay. Now... I'm only really, I'm not even really obligated to stream it. So I'll stream it, I'll check it out. But if it's something that I see, um, you know, maybe I'm not feeling it, maybe I don't want to do a full stream of it, I'll let you know immediately. That way you don't get invested and wait for a full stream. But, um... I've got a little bit of experience with Devil May Cry 5, which, uh, Devil May Cry series, which is Devil May Cry 3, which I liked, never finished. And so I feel like being a Bayonetta fan and, you know, having a little more experience with that type of game, it could be something I enjoy. But Capcom's been really fucking mental lately, in the best possible way. And, uh... I like what they're doing so much that I wouldn't mind checking it out. Oh, another game I'll be, uh, doing... And this one's not gonna be as popular. This one's actually probably gonna piss some people off, but, you know, whatever, you have to deal with that. Uh, The Division. Division 2. There you go, there's the Resident Sleepers. Yep, full game, start to finish. Every secret, every bullet sponge enemy. Someone just said lame. Come on. 
It's gonna be a one-time stream. I wanna stream that whole fucking game. I played the first one. There were some good ideas in there, and I, I liked the idea of it to the point where I wanted it to be better. And it just, it never got better, really. It got worse, and it glitched. So... It'll be, you know, me just kind of, I'm gonna put my reviewer hat on. I, that one was a little bit harder of a decision. I wasn't sure I was gonna do that. And I was probably gonna pass on it. But then I thought to myself, well... I put like 12 hours in the first one, I enjoyed it. Uh, someone said Division 2 is V-dub material. You're, you're actually not wrong. But I do like to shoot every now and then. I grew up with shooters. And, you know, I like playing them. I don't particularly love all shooters, God knows, but, uh, They offered Division 2. I said yes, and I'll play it on stream, and we'll see if it's any good. Something tells me I'm gonna end up liking Devil May Cry, and I'm gonna end up being lukewarm to Division 2. I hope I'm wrong on both accounts. I hope I love Devil May Cry, and I hope I love Division 2. Anyway, um, I'm gonna take a guess on this one. You ready? Horrible day! Did he just say horrible day? Slap me down with a slab of mutton! I never would have thought you'd have made it either! I'll tell you this, though, you shouldn't have been such a fork in me rumpus! Now I'll have to hit you with the full force of me chunks! I'm gonna hurtle you with the force of a massive airy coma! You great cry, baby! Chunk up! I, I know it's supposed to be Irish. I can't really do an Irish accent, so it's just this weird Scottish English Irish amalgam. But you weren't expecting that, were you? Where's your flapping mouth now, eh? It's time for an old fashioned Nord Bard Rumble! M move left, turn, shoot. Move left, turn, shoot. Hark! Oh, could you be chunkier than I? You're not like a blooming turtle! How can I go on living with the shame of it all? Hey, Bowser, let me keep my dignity as my game ends. Finish me quick! Hey, there's no shame in being smacked down by a huge studly boss. Oh, what's that shaking? Oh. Oh. oh, Chunks, you saved us? What are you waiting for? Get out of this place! But why'd you save us? Because you spanked me. Hey, you earned right to pass. No, I'm making sure you do just that. You got more chunks in your head than I thought. Bowser, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, super stupid bros, get the princess into the next room now. But I said go. But all right, Bowser. Get out of here, too. Don't worry about me. I can hold this thing up all day. Hey, you stole me, Elaine. Your hands are quivering like a ladle of my mum's lard gravy. Don't be a tip guy. Go! Master FOV. I am a tough guy. You get out. No, you get out. No, you. Arr! They're trying to out-chunk each other. Oh, uh, Bowser! Oh, the door! It won't budge! Oh, no. Oh, dear. Flattened. We... We don't have time. We must keep going. Are you sure, Princess? I'm not worried about Bowser. He isn't easy to get rid of. Oh boy, she's right about that! Bowser has survived worse! Alright, 
let's move on to Count Black. Wasn't Bowser, like, hurled into a fucking star at one point? Bowser literally survived the second Big Bang. Jesus Christ. A uh, quick thing... ...in regards to, um... Uh, the Orville and Star Trek Discovery. I I'm caught up with Star Trek Discovery up until the... I didn't see last night's episode yet, but... You know, I feel like I got Star Trek back. It it's good. It's better. And the most recent episode I saw was the Saru episode with the Kelpians. I thought that was really nice. It was a good episode. It is starting to feel more like what I want it to be. I still don't like a lot of the characters. And I still don't like the explosions and the infallible characters. But... That's pretty good. Um, but I want to say another thing, too. The Orville TV show just did a two-parter. And last night was the conclusion of the two-parter. And it was one of the best space battles I've seen on television. Maybe ever. Like, it was up there with Revenge of the Sith. I'm not gonna spoil anything, I'm just saying the battle was, was fantastic. Hang on one second. Okay. Sorry about that, chat. I had to take care of some something in chat. Ah, uh, someone was just spamming. It was just like a- it was like a robot. It was like a human robot who was doing robot things about a YouTube channel, something like that. Someone said, Discovery doing cool story and Orville doing cool fights. What a world. I know! I couldn't- I don't know what the hell's happening. It's really... I'm really happy. It's- it's really nice to have two shows that I can watch for different reasons. But, um, yeah, it was a really good Best of Both Worlds-esque two-parter that didn't... It wasn't the best thing I've ever seen, ever, but the, the, the fucking whole two-parter was great, overall. And, uh, feels good, man. Merlin, what are you doing here? I found a fascinating passage in the Light Prognosticus, so I rushed here to tell you. To get to Count Black, it seems you must hit this totally unsuspicious block. So why don't you give it a jolly old whack? Yeah, I don't trust this guy. Why, what seems to be the problem, hero? Better get to bashing that block. It's Merlin, the descendant of the, uh, who's offered us so much guidance, but what's he doing here? So... Me, 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 me... Perhaps you had better do less thinking and more bashing. Urgent bashing is required, you must believe me! You don't believe me? Look at this beard. Has this beard ever lied to you? Hit the stupid block! Hit the stupid block! Hit the stupid block! Hit the block, stupid! Just, just hit it. Let's just stop and talk hypothetically. Say there's these things called flags. Say you want to eat some ice cream, but you haven't hit the ice cream flag yet. Oh, well, you'd never get so much as a lick of ice cream until you hit that flag. This is one of those times. Now just bash it! Please just bash it. Please just bash it. Please just bash it. Is that a game dev thing? The flags thing? <laughs> what a bunch of... Suckers! The plot twists of the century. The japes of the millennium. Um, just to let you know, I got some of that Lord of the Rings theory crafting. I'd like to read a couple. What if Gandalf magically sealed a box with the ring inside of it, gave it to Frodo without telling him, and was just like, throw this in Mount Doom, it's super important. I think the, the ring would still have some kind of pull. And even if Frodo didn't noto what it was, it would still, it would still, uh, the ring rays would get him, and he would be even less prepared. And Gollum would then show up and steal it from him and bite off his pinky or something. Maybe more than his pinky. The ring would find a way. Vinny, does Dead Cells run well on Switch? Not really. No. They fixed some issues, but more cropped up. Wait for another patch. Anything poison? that shows up in Dead Cells now is just broken. What if you tie an earthworm around the ring? What if Kirby inhaled the ring and swallowed it? 
That's a good one. I don't know. So now you have two whole... Like, there's- there's lore here that- that are from two different... things. Would Kirby... become evil? What if the ring was destroyed to prevent the possible onslaught of the hobbits? Well, that's what they tried to- that's what they did. Eventually. I mean, that was the- that was the point, right? What if Gimli was a tall dwarf, and then was punished for being tall so they cut him in half? That's why Gimli never shows his belly. What- what the fuck is that- what, that's not theory crafting, what are you- Well, I guess it is. Alright, that's- that's enough. That's, thank you for those theories. Uh, it was only those. Uh, just a couple good ones in there, I guess. Someone said Kirby is both incorruptible and innocent. And a cosmic horror much greater than Sauron. I think Kirby would make the perfect, most ideal ring bearer of anyone in any situation, in any- any story of- He could swallow the fucking thing, and if that didn't destroy it, then he could bring it to Mount Doom. He could just fly on over. He's powerful, he's incorruptible, he's innocent, and therefore Kirby, we've decided now, officially, in uh, official Vine Sauce canon, is the ideal ring bearer. And for those that say they should have just brought the ring on the eagles, Fair enough, but, um, again, if you want to go into, like, some heavy theory shit, Men of the West, the YouTube channel, did a, um, a video about the Eagles, and how they would just get shot down, or, uh, you know, give up the, uh, give up the game. Yeah, the Eagles, like, Joe Walsh would easily be corrupted. Don Henley. Vinny, isn't that the plot of Hotel California, basically? Yeah. Vinny, who, as someone who doesn't know Lord of the Ring at all, what even is the ring and why is it so corrupting? Um, watch my Astroneer stream from yesterday. Two days ago, from two days ago. That will provide you with every information you need. But it's, um, it's a MacGuffin. It, it is, you know, it's the thing. Was there a- what, what other game, what game had an amalgam to that. I wasted a life shroom? Oh, this one. Yeah, I don't- I don't really care. It's fine. Vinny, why'd you use that life shroom? Uh, it was an accident, but I'm not too worried about it. I thought there was- I, it's not the Triforce. Like, the Triforce is not a good enough analogy, because the Triforce can amplify good as well. But... Oh my god. Picture if the Triforce took what was in your heart, and- and made bad things happen, and tried to get itself back to its master. Which was an evil dark lord like Ganondorf or something. Oh my god! The Black Soul Stone in Diablo 3, the Medallion and Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, the Soul Edge, that's good, yep, the Soul Edge. Frostmorn, maybe. I remember Frostmorn. That was in Warcraft 3, wasn't it? As well as World of Warcraft. The Mask? What, like, from the movie, The Mask? Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask. Vinny has gone full autopilot. Yeah, kinda have. Again, it's not that I don't like the game, it's just... We've been doing this for 20 hours, and... The game isn't really that in... I mean, now I'm taking some damage, sure, but it's... It's not, like, the most engaging game. It's not Donkey Kong Country. It's just, you know, jump on a couple turtles, use some pap... And, um, and, you know, I'm, I'm waiting to get to the story stuff. That's the stuff I like. <laughs> I don't need them. <laughs> they're, they're amazing, but I don't need them. It's a mushroom being offered. A mushroom like this feels familiar. Yeah, it does. <laughs> the ass room. Someone just said, imagine the smell in that room. The Brat Zone. Oh! Boy! Um, Jonathan Frakes has been confirmed to be directing some episodes of the Picard Show when that comes out. Directing. Well, that's right. Vinny, playing Dead Cells right now on Switch, it runs just fine for me. 
get anything that does poison damage. And you'll see it stutter. I still don't know if, if I have any hopes for the Picard show, necessarily. But... You know, if they're getting two takes Frakes involved, maybe, uh... I mean, that's a good thing. What if Meat wore the ring? He would become vengeful. Almost immediately. Oh boy, gotta jump on paper in, in 3D space now. Oh. I that was the wrong pixel too. I meant to do I meant to use Barry. But I just comboed the fuck out of that. So all right. What if the ring was somehow shot into space? I think it would eventually the again, the point of the ring is that it would eventually find its way back to Sauron. Even if it took 2000 years, it would hitch a ride on a meteorite through all kinds of random ch coincidences and chance, it would eventually make its way back. Batteries are low? I know, I'm, I'm playing Super Paper Mario Crisis mode right now. Heroes, do not flee, for I am the lovely and mysterious Merly. My beauty in the stars led you here. Rest now, for you have nothing to fear. Um, are you really Merly? Whatever is it you imply? How could anyone wonder if it is I? Look at this lovely aura glow. Does it not tell you all you need to know? Uh, uh, I will now ask you questions three, and the answers will hold your future's key. You must answer each and every query honestly and fairly. Here we go. Time to start the show. Which one of these beasts is hardest for you to make deceased? Clipper. <laughs> so that one there gives you the biggest scare. Next, which one of these fearsome three most rattles your knees? Oh, oh, oh! You are most scared of those? Hehe, <laughs> that's very good to know. Now, which of these do you despise like fleas? Francis. That is what makes you very, so very furious. Indeed, how very curious. Well, it has been a marvel, it's been marvelous fun, but I'm afraid our time together is quite done, but do not fear or fret. No, we shall meet again yet. He 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 he. Oh. Whoa! What if the ring was a necklace instead? Well, that's how Frodo wears it. I, I, yeah. We're still doing this? Yeah, what's going on? Oh, it's my sweet, sweet Francine. It's you. What are you doing here? I don't know. I was in my comfy chair watching Starship X North and I morphed here. Maybe my Reclinatron 4500 extrapolated my dreams and couch warped me to you. Nothing's going to take you away from me this time, Francine. Did I just voluntarily give myself a Francis boss battle? I'm okay with that. Nope! I think the hammer does a little more damage, right? Yeah, twice the damage. Let's let's try to get Francis hammered. Oh god, I feel so drunk! Francis, you had a Zima. I know, that's crazy, right? Yeah, that's impossible! My high technical battle moves failed me. That's it. I'm gonna run a simulation on my computer to figure out what went wrong. That was odd. What was he doing here? Eek! What are you trying to pull? Impossible! Put everything you hate in there. How'd you get through all that icky stuff? Unless you bad people were lying! How dare you lecture us? You were just pretending to be Merlin and Merli! Talk about a dirty trick, you should be ashamed of yourself. Ashamed of myself? I like getting what I want, so I'll do whatever I need to to get it done. Or to get it, rather. You're the one that always... 
That's always having to get rescued by boys. That's embarrassing. Golly, you sure are a lot of talk when you have your little boyfriends to protect you. Oi, what the fuck did you just say about me, you fucking cheeky reprobate? Me, 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 me. Wow. Oi, slag. Mimi, try not to cry. Or all your pretty makeup will run. Time to go bye bye, princess. I'd like to take this opportunity to say something while I have a minute. Something kind of, uh. Kind of important. Important announcement. I wanted to say, I am Torak! But I also wanted to say that if you're on Teespring and you order anything vine sauce related, like the trash thing, if you use code word fruit, F R O O T, you get $2 off your order. It's real. It's actually real. Promo code fruit. Why say it now? Oh, uh, it just happened. I didn't know there were promo codes, and then they emailed me about it and told me that there's a promo code for fruit. But no, they didn't choose it for me, they just said, you want to do a promo, here's a link to the page. I haven't used Teespring in like four years. So, not like on a serious level at least, so... They told me you can do a promo code, I said, alright, do fruit. And, uh... So there you go. Oh, right, you have to jump on the- Oh, that's why the fight took so long, because I wasn't jumping... ...to remove the legs... ...properly. I don't get it. I got beat by a princess? Ah! Oh, what's the matter, little girl? Did I spank Mimi a little too hard? You did it, princess. The destruction is spreading. If we dawdle any longer, we're doomed! You're right. Let's go. Peach is a fucking savage when she wants to be. Mimi, you can't stay here. Go find somewhere safe. Yeah, alright. Like you care. What was that loud noise? B Princess? It, it won't open! Oh no. You silly princess, what are you doing? W wait, what am I doing? I just- I just leapt into action without even thinking. Don't want your stupid help, just leave me alone. No, I can't do that. You've been very, very bad, but I can't leave you here to die. I don't know how you were raised, but I was taught to help people in need. Peach. Wait, I've got you. Eek. First Bowser and now the, the princess? What do we do, bro? We have to keep going. B but we can't leave the princess! I know it's horrible, but this is, well... This is the end of the world. Of all worlds, really. We must press on. Princess Peach would want... Would want it this way if she were here. I'm worried about Peach, but she'd probably be mad at us for wasting time. Oh, okay, bro, let's go. Barry looks sad. Barry, Barold is very sad. You know, I, I thought of, I thought of a lad that could help in this situation. Luigi's head. Hey Mario, they, they told me to squeeze the, the hog. I don't, I don't know what that means. Well, that's one way to do it. So wait, how did you guys do it? Go into 3D? Oh, or Fleep? Use Fleep? See, I don't know if you mean use Fleep, or just flip into 3D. I, I don't know. This is the first time I've, like, 
experienced any, like, real difficulty in this game. I mean, a little bit here and there, sure. But... It's a little bit of a challenge here and there. But, um, that one boss I fought at the end of Chapter 7, was it? That I killed in 15 and a half seconds? Not even 15, 10 seconds? And that's not even to my credit, it was just an easily cheesable boss. You know, I'll give myself credit where credit is due, but that wasn't really necessarily any kind of real credit. It was just there. And it was like, oh, just Luigi get up. And then he, then he dies. Um, and then the rest of the game has been just, you know, use Bowser. So now that they've taken Bowser away from me... I have to figure out what the hell I'm doing. Oh my god! Oh, this block. I think you can probably hit it. Do you, Vinny, do you remember that code from the crack person in Chapter 5? What? No. Red Letter Media released a video of Mike in the Plinket voice just reading off the VHS movies that they have in their collection. It was borderline experimental. Good. Thanks for recognizing that my controller was- was not flipped, even though it was. That's cool, right? It happened again?! What a fuck- <laughs> Why would they- Why would they do that? Why would they upload a video like that? Oh, this is- this isn't that great. Love. So they don't have to send the same thing? Oh, that makes sense. Well, they could've just made a list. Then I guess who- who would fucking even bother reading that? So- Please explain why I just went through that door, if anyone knows. Oh. Like, I can't even imagine how many of the same movie- aside from Nuki, they would get. Like, that's gotta be- at one point, what are they gonna do with all the VHS? They might end up becoming, like, one of the largest repositories of old VHS tapes of anyone in the world, at that point. Melt them in as acetone. It's like, actually, one of the things that I- I was getting for a while, and I had to tell people not to send them to me anymore, but one of the- I have a lot of shitty shovelware games, and I have, like, um, like a- like a CD book that is just filled. I- they can't hit- I can't close it anymore. There's the, just that much trash in there. A CD book. Yeah, it's, um... Oh, God. It, it's a, um... What would you even call it? A CD wallet, but it's it's massive. So, I also have a bunch of plug and plugs. I haven't gotten rid of them. They're in boxes. But I realize now I'm hoarding, like, old plug and play. Like, Spongebob... Eat Pant plug and play that I did one time for a half hour, and I still have this giant hunk of plastic. It's not a fucking full wall of Nuki, but it's... it's annoying. Will you play them all eventually? I- I have. Goodwill? Is there anything that they can do... at Goodwill? With this shit? And these horrible PS2 and Wii games? Like, I feel it would just be, like, it would be me... ...getting rid of it. Like, like giving someone else my trash. I'd feel kind of bad about that. Auction it off for charity. Melt them in acetone. Well, I thought about bringing the CD wallet to too many games, and then whoever's just at the panel come up and get a CD. It's not acetone? How do you say it? Acetone? Chat, did you just want me to say ass? Oh, that's a platform. Yahoo! Oh my god! <laughs> Man, the Wii sure is a very powerful video game system. Those Dementios are really crusty, though. It's like, uh, I think in Thousand Year Door, they have a high... They have a high-quality Toad model, 
and it looks like the toad is smiling, but when they they do the 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 low quality version, it looks like the toad is sad. I just saw that today on Twitter. Hell Jesta, Hell Jesta, Hell Jesta. Hang on a minute. Let me uh, play the clip. Ah! Wrong clip. Kill Jesta. Kill, kill, kill Jesta. 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 Kill 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 Jesta. Oh, they're infinite. This seems to be a little bit more effective, even, because you can move around like this. You could have used one shell. You're right, I don't have any shells, though. Someone, like, tweeted a picture today of, of like, they, they turned a... a thing into something that said Cicerussi. I don't know. I just, my Twitter's full of fucking weird cats and... Frodo's getting it eight and shit like that. Just a lot of weird shit. Vinny, just wanted to let you know that my friend got me a straw that says Cicerussi. Hey, can I... Let me just show you, you this. I'm gonna cut off the person's face just in case they don't want to be on stream, but... Someone said, Vinny, you reset the game, now you have to do all the chapters all over again. Well, the beginning of this game had a pretty good jape. So, I mean, you know, maybe. Either load your save file or play through the whole fucking game again. Still waiting for the controller to die. Crisis mode engaged. If this game were to play hockey, would it be a goalie? Because it's wearing a lot of padding. <coughs> What's the difference between me and you? I thought we were in hockey pads. Vinny, I would have made a breast joke. You know what? I should have made a Robertson joke. I actually had someone email me the other day, Vinny, you seem to like Robertsons. Let me tell you about the Robertsons I like. Sorry if you're here and you're hearing this and you're like, oh damn, he called me out. I don't know who you are. I don't know where you came from. But uh, that was a, that was a weird email. I, don't, I won't be responding to that email, just to let you know, concerned citizen. Vinny, you just did. I guess I kind of just did then. All right, well, you got your answer. Vinny, are you ever going to do more Wargroove? I would love to. I just really would like that quality of life patch to come out first. They've been taking their sweet fucking time with that thing. It's been a, almost a month. In its current form, the game is, is just a little frustrating. Someone said this game is worthless in its current state. That's better. What, this game or Wargroove? Worthless? Vinny, it's a flex tape reference. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. But, uh, alright. If, if it was a joke, that's fine. I just, I thought, like... Maybe there are people out there that think the game is worthless. It's possible. I wouldn't fault you for it. If you don't like a game, you don't like a game. I got plenty on that list, but... I just sometimes have to wonder, like, what's the rationale, you know? Jokes are hard to tell from text. In other words, jokes are, like, fucking impossible to tell from text. Oh, not always. Uh, left or right? I didn't see wh which way the J-Star went. Vinny, do you remember that time I kindly told you to kill yourself? No. Did you? That's- that's a cool joke, bro. No, I mean, that's- it's a good example of what some people do type. That's like, uh... That's a real thing where they're like, nah, dude, it was- I was just joking. Wow. It's quite a joke you got there, buddy. You should- you should- you should write for Key and P- oh wait, that's an outdated reference, never mind. But, uh, yeah, no, I mean, again, there's no nuance, there's no subtlety in chat whatsoever, there's no inflection. By the way, Twitter is apparently banning. If you tell someone, like, kill me, or kill you, or something, I think Twitter actually will fucking ban your account. It, it just detects that you're saying that. Or if you say, I'm, you know, I'm going to... Like, if you just angrily, as a joke, tell your friend, like, if they say something like, I'm gonna get this Cicerussi 8. And you're like, I'm gonna kill you, mate, as a joke? I think, and don't, don't quote me on this, this could be improper information, but this is something I've read. I believe it is possible that the algorithm will bean you for that. Someone said, just learn better insults. I like that. That's a good option. You fucking reprobate! 
What was it? Cockwomble. You fucking cockwomble. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's- that's how- that's how it be. There's, a uh, what, what else was- there's another thing in relation to- was, was, um, there's a Twitter censorship thing. What else was there? Not censorship, necessarily. More of, a just the system. Auto-detects. And then removes. It does it- it's not even like a human is behind the decision, for the most part. Just go underground, please. We're- Fall? I don't remember. Listen, I don't remember. Yeah, it's supposed to fall. Here's something I just saw on uh, Twitter. Someone tweeted something at me. I'm gonna get off Twitter after this forever, thanks. Texas man admits to kidnapping 79 people to anally probe them disguised as an alien. What the fuck is this world? I- I want out. I just... I just don't... I don't- I don't want to exist in a world where someone disguises themselves as an alien. And that many people, what a fucking scum. What- what a scummy a and- and like, the aliens are probably not even doing anything wrong. That's the worst part. Well, no, actually the worst part was the probing, I think, but... Just all of it was bad, and the, why- who would tweet that at me? Vinny, it's not real. That's gotta be fake. I don't know. You're saying people could just make up anything they want on the internet? WorldNewsDailyReport.com I've never even <laughs> It sounds legit. It's got World, Daily, News, and Report all in the fucking title. Enjoying my game of tag? Hey, stop messing around and fight us for real! Messing around? Oh no, magic is no laughing matter. I'm always deadly serious. I've been watching you. You are the only ones who can stand up to Count Black. So I have a favor to ask. Will you help me destroy the Count? What are you talking about? You want to betray him? Betray him? <laughs> oh no! It is Count Black who has betrayed me! He said he would destroy all worlds to create a new perfect world in their place. But he was lying! He plans to obliterate every world and then keep them all in ruin! I have always known about his nefarious goal, but I could never hope to stop him on my own. I feigned loyalty to him as, su as I searched for someone who could defeat him with me. Well, you see, that is why I rescued the princess from certain brainwashing. It's also why I sent you to the underwear to fix the pro broken pure heart. It's why I freed a man to be reunited with his brother. Now do you see? You've been helping us all this time? Ah, you've got me pegged! Now, how about you return the favor? I'll give you the power you need to crush Count Black. Just fight by my side. No, still you refuse, but this offer it drips with generosity. With the Chaos Heart in our hands, we can rule every world. Do you still refuse? Forget it. So you spit upon my offer? You have wasted my time! For that, your game ends! I think I'll start with the green one. The shag upon his lip will make a fine trophy! Shag? This mustache is all Luigi! Leave this one to me, bro! You run ahead! You've got worlds to save. You don't have time to fight this baddie! Don't let Bowser and Peach's sacrifices be for nothing! Or, or mine, either! Besides, he made fun of my stash, bro. You know I'm sensitive about that. Vinny, the scene was censored in the PAL version because of the word shag. I'll behave. Run for it, bro! No! What would have happened if I said yes? Same thing? I cry, Uncle Mercy, Uncle, I say! Game over? Oh, okay. Had enough, Dementio! I didn't need my superstar bro to take you on! If you join him, he brainwashes you, and... You... game over. Cool! I see that now, your power is formidable, which is exactly why I can't let you fall into Count Black's velvet-lined gloves! Whoa, what, are you, what are you doing? <laughs> I have you now, Luigi! We will both taste the agony of game-overing by magic! 
No! Whoa, 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 whoa! Ciao! Wow. That's fucked up. Luigi. Tommy Wiseau tweeted an image of himself with a, uh, a green hat. And in Comic Sans, on the image, it says, Oh, hi, March. And it's got 108,000 likes. That's, um... Oh, hi, March. Good. It is March 1st. Mario ran to the Count's inner sanctum, his mustache fluttering in the breeze. What a description. Vinny, turn off chat. Alright. It's Earthbound and Mother 3 all over again. Sure, why not? I'll turn off the chat. Instead of chat, I'll just have this image up to my right. I'll pretend it's chat. I'm so sorry, Mario. I promised you that I would help you find your friends, and now... All of them are gone forever. No, no. No, no. What? You're saying you know they're still alive? Maybe you were right, and they did somehow survive. They are heroes. I'm going to believe in them. I'm going to believe in him, most of all. Well, it's just like the old days, isn't it, chat? Oh, wait, you're not there. Wait, if I can't see the chat, then it does- that means it doesn't exist anymore. It's, um, what's that cat experiment? With the cat? It's the Schrodinger? It's Schrodinger's chat. I like Schrodinger's chat. That's- that's a really, um, interesting concept. I have to apply that further. If feelings aren't real, how can they be hurt? I'm gonna miss any secrets. If there's a secret, I'm not getting it. Yep. I have nothing to talk about anymore. I have nothing to talk about. So I'm gonna walk through that door. I get no. Uh, how about, no. Human-animal hybrids? No. So, it's, it, it's somewhere, it's, it's probably hidden. Right in a flip zone or something. 4 a.m. stream confirmed. There we go. There we go. Sometimes I come prepared. With things I read throughout the day. Things I learn about video games or whatever. And... I had, uh, several things that I'd like... I wanted to bring up at some point. Forgot all of them. Life is weird. You know? Like, I'm not gonna even remember this moment. I'm not gonna remember me talking about this moment. In... A couple days. A week. A year. So, how does it... How does it mean it, it's even happened? Like, if I don't remember that this moment happened... ...then... did it really happen? And if so, what is the nature of consciousness? Chat, does anyone in chat know what the nature of consciousness is? Like, what does it mean to be alive and conscious... ...and, and, and experience the world through your senses, and, and also... ...be a sentient being? I'm sure someone in chat has the answer, but it's closed, so... I mean, we're smart, right? Well, you guys are. There's 6,000 of you. If you- you're all, you know, like- like a fucking supercomputer. If you put all your brains together, all- all the experience... All the... the learn... the smart, the math... that you all have accomplished over the years. Some of you are professionals in your fields. Maybe. You put you all together... <laughs> You put you all together, and then you have- you have what is essentially a supercomputer. Gee, sure is dooring a lot- mm, never mind. It's supposed to be like a door joke, but also maybe like... You know, like... If something's happening during something, it's happening in the moment, which was going back to our previous discussion about... Like, you know, consciousness and experiencing things as they happen in the moment, it really wasn't... ...that at all. But I tried to hindsight that bitch. Didn't... didn't happen. I also realized that there's no... ...reason for me to kill enemies... ...at this point. So... there it is. Okay, I was about to, um... I was about to... ...give up. Come on, really?
Hey, Super Ma Super Paper Mario, are you a titty? Because Super Maple Pario. Super Maple Pario. You know, someone sent me maple syrup from Canada a while back. And I never tried it. I think it's called like Jack's Maple Syrup. Something like that. And I just, yeah, I never tried it because I have not made pancakes in a very long time. Tonight, I made pancakes. And I'm looking around and I'm like, oh shit, it's that maple syrup that I got from Canada. It was so good. It was like I never had maple syrup before. Alright, maybe, okay, maybe not that good, but it was, it was really good. I didn't think there would be a difference between, like, you know, pure Canada maple syrup. I was like, oh, well, obviously they know what they're doing. That's kind of what they do. It's on their flag. And then I tried it, and then I immediately got diabetes. And... Is this... Is this the way to go? Their money smells like maple syrup, really? I had to check the chat real quick, just because I wasn't sure. But that looks like... That was not the way to go, mate. Alright, here we go again. Going through here and stuff. Yep. I don't know, this segment wouldn't be so bad if there wasn't a limited amount of time for 3D mode. Sure, it's one damage, but it's still fucking annoying. And, weirdly enough, yeah, I had Trader Joe's butter. I don't know what's wrong with this place, because even their butter tasted a little bit better than regular butter. I don't know what kind of fucking, like, magic, what voodoo, witchcraft, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what's going on with the Trader Joe's shit. But I was like, oh, there's a noticeable difference between this butter and other regular butter I might get at the supermarket. I'm at the point where I hate Trader Joe's because I just don't like... You know... I don't want to drive there. <laughs> I see you've come at last. So you really are the, tr the hero of the Light Prognosticus. Count Black. But you are far too late to stop the Dark Prognosticus and me, Count Black. All worlds will end soon. Come to grips with that now, or you cannot stop it. I suggest you make yourself comfortable, comfortable, and enjoy this one final spectacle. But why? Do you really want to destroy everything? Why would you do this? How could you do this? Hot Black does not care about any world. They are all meaningless. Better that I destroy them. Better yet, I shall make it as if they never existed at all. The worlds have no meaning. Was our meeting meaningless as well? Answer me, Bloomy Air. You know the answer, dear Timpani. Count Black does not have to tell you. But the hour has grown too late. You should know that by now. Bloomy Air. My love, Bloomy Air. Or rather, Count Black. The only way we can stop this is to defeat you. And that is exactly why Mario and I have come here to stop this. Count Black is the deleter of worlds. My fate is written in the dark prognosticus. Do not think for a moment that I will hesitate to strike you down. All ends now. All now ends. Bloomier. Sorry. Bloomier. <laughs> My Bloomier. Malfunction. Human malfunction. Leave me, Anastasia. I will deal with these two alone. That's Count Black. This dark figure wants to destroy the universe. He was once Bloomy Air, a man that I loved. Max HP 150, attack is 8. He will use all the powers the Chaos Heart grants him. But you can beat him if you give it your all, and beat him you must for the sake of all worlds, and to save the Bloomy Air I love. You can't so much as tug on the cape of Count Black. You have failed! Mario, your attacks aren't working at all. Black, I expected more potency from the hero of prophecy. I will watch your game end, and then your precious world will end soon after! Is this the end? Oh, come on. You're giving up already? Oh, you go. Come on, man up a little! You never give up this easy when you attack my castle! <laughs> so you are alive, then! 
We would never let you destroy everything, you awful count. Just remove the O there. Yeah, you tell him, princess. We aren't gonna let you get away with this. We aren't giving up. You'll never win. You're all here, but how? I fell through the floor before I got flattened by the ceiling. I fell through too. I landed right on Bowser. It was a surprisingly soft landing. I died! I don't even know what happened, bro, but the princess found me out cold. But we're all here now, so let's do this! You heard him! Now you've got to deal with all of us! <laughs> when the four heroes are united, it is all as I foretold. As foretold. What? What's this? What is happening? Whoa. Sorry, <laughs> what is now happening to Count Black? The Pure Hearts. It's so... familiar. It's like Chrono Trigger ending, or rather Chrono Cross. Oh, huh? my, uh, my barrier is gone? Four heroes unite, their hope burns forth light to shatter the walls of blight. Just like Merle said. So be it, says Count Black. But don't celebrate just yet. Your precious worlds aren't safe until my last breath. Let us finally end this. Now the true battle begins with Count Black. Not entirely sure why people wanted me to close the chat, but I don't know if it was anything similar to Earthbound. But we'll I guess we'll find out. Still not using my items. I'm like at the end of the game, I'm still hoarding. Boy, those elixirs are sure gonna come in handy in Final Fantasy, aren't they? I can't wait to hoard elixirs in Final Fantasy IX when I play through that. Okay, there. Oh, we've got the problem there. Okay, then, mate. I realize that Count Black probably has a second form. Probably don't want to spend too many of my items. That's why I don't use the elixirs. You never know when there's a second or third form. Or fourth form. Probably had to, like, do something with the power of love for Count Black. It's probably gonna be a bad ending now. <laughs> Um, Count, you have won. Now finish, Count Black. Dispatch me and the Chaos Heart will disappear. The prophecy will be undone. Why does it have to end like this? He did this to you reunite with Timpani. That's my guess. Prophecy it was the only way he saw that it could go down this way. I don't know. Timpani, when you vanished, I searched long for you. I never gave up looking. I searched and searched. But I never found you. Without you, the world had held no meaning or joy. So I used the forbidden prophecy of the tribe of ancients to end all worlds. I wanted to destroy everything that had been taken, that had taken you away from me. But I'm here now. No one can keep us apart anymore, don't you see? It is too late. Count Black has done so much evil. It must end. Just knowing that you are still alive. And knowing that the world... The, the world... You still live in will continue. It gives me peace. I do not have long to live. You must end my game before the Void destroys all. But we're finally together again. Count, look out! Nastasia! Silly assistant, absorbing my attack to protect him. What an adorably hopeless gesture. I was about to give him the everlasting peace he so desperately wants. Dementio, you're alive? <laughs> of course, this is my moment. Even if 
count dies, the Chaos Heart won't disappear if I continue to control it. But I needed the power of the Pure Hearts to beat him. I couldn't do that on my own. So I had you do all of the sweaty labor for me, and you even used your Pure Hearts to defeat Count Black. If they make greeting cards to thank people for helping with evil plans, I owe you one. What are you saying? I'm saying that you no longer have value to me, so I'm ending your games. They're all yours, Mr. L. Excuse the fuck what? Huh? Oh, ah, why am I flapping my arms? This, this isn't good. I don't believe it. I am Mr. L. Master Dementio, what is your bidding? When did this happen? When I sent Luigi here, I planted a seed in his fertile soil. In the fertile soil of his unconscious. And now that seed has sprouted spectacularly. Mr. L, run along now and get ready for your big entrance. Now, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the greatest magic show you'll ever see. Okay. Or sorry, Luigi, I don't know. The Dark Prognosticus says he's the ideal host for the power of the Chaos Heart. And now I'm going to add my own power to this spicy little concoction. No, stop. Count Black, you look so tattered and pathetic. I nearly forgot about you. I'll squeeze the life out of you later. Just wait over in that dimension, okay? Great. Now the Chaos Heart is mine! I will use this to destroy all worlds and create perfect new ones! So shall we get started? Now I have all I need to become the king of all worlds! Maybe this was the reason chat wanted me to hide itself. <laughs> I am now invincible! There is nothing you can do! It is time for the destruction to begin! Let us begin with you, as you wallow in helplessness like the upside-down turtles! L power! Luigi was the perfect vessel. The world's, tre the world's tremble. As the end finally came. Come. How unfortunate. Frankly, hi. I, for one, am glad that this finally happened. We, we have to do something. We have to save Mario and the others. We cannot. Without the power of... Without the pure hearts, there's no way to counter the Chaos Heart. All we can do is give up. What are you saying? You promised we would find happiness together. Is it all just a lie? There's no lie, but without the pure hearts, all worlds are doomed. What can we do? Lumiere, snap out of it. How can you think it would end here after all we have suffered without each other? We found each other again because we stayed alive. How can you admit defeat? I will not. I will not give up. You promised we'd find happiness. You promised! <laughs> but you're a butterfly now. I have no interest in such things. That's right. Uh, sorry, that's right, Count. My minions, how did you find us here? Gosh, I could follow your big smile anywhere, Count. Ah, oh, uh, she lays like a wee rug, uh, this lass. Uh, Anastasia told us, Count, she said you'd come here. 
or she said she felt you'd be here or something along those lanes. Nastasia. Talk about going the extra mile. She even sacrificed herself to save you. Listen, Count, you promised, I promised me life as well. I'm not afraid to leave it up to it. So you've got to let me, uh, help. Yeah, I mean, there's no way Dementio's getting away with this. He pulled a really dirty trick on you, but we'll always stick by your side. My, my loyal minions. <laughs> They have their own pure hearts, but they're dark hearts. Oh, wait. Mm, what's this? Pure hearts? But why? Isn't it obvious, Blumier? Pure hearts are the very feelings of our souls. As long as we feel love, they live on. I will take these to Mavrio. Hmm, let's stop wasting time and finish this, shall we? Ciao! Italians exist in this world? I just realized that now at the end of the game. What? What's going on? No, the pure hearts! I thought you wasted them all fighting Count Black! Mario and Luigi are Italian? Get out of here. What's happening? I'm not invincible anymore! I believe overhead the albatross hangs motionless upon the air. Now's our chance. The pure hearts have given us power. Let's get him. Tippy, you might be right. Come on, let's jump him. Bowser wants to jump him. Well said, Bowser. Luigi and the Chaos Heart. The power of Luigi. What? Is he that powerful? I don't. I don't know. I guess so. The game says it. The prophecy has it been undone. I think the prophecy was wrong all along. You believed your prophecy, and we believed in mopping the floor with you. Nothing is decided entirely by fate. You know, all things determine their destinies. Goodbye now, Dementio. I'll add a footnote to the prophecy about your failure. Oof. Oh, you think this is the end? This isn't finished? You can't stop this now. You can't escape. I've been saving one last surprise. <laughs> Ciao! Ah, huh? What am I doing here? It's a theory that Luigi's negativity from being in Mario's shadow is what made him the perfect host for the Chaos Heart. That's kind of amazing. So it seems the end of all worlds is really upon us. There is only one thing left that we can do. Go back in time and play through the whole game again! crack in there for you. That's just for you, chat. It's for your enjoyment. Hey, I remember this place. Oh, sorry. Hey, I remember this place! <clears throat> Timpani, do you still... Do you still love me? 
Yes, Blumier, of course I do. Then you must come with me. Hey, Kate! What are you doing? We will use the pure hearts again. This time to banish the chaos heart. All we need is true love, and that is something I am lucky enough to possess. But, with the chaos heart gone, the pure hearts and those linked to them, they may cease to exist. You mean you might go away? But, but I don't want you to go. All of this is my fault. The price is mine to pay. I do not have long to live anyway. But you, Timpani. Pains me to know this may cut your game short. Still, there is no other way to end this. I know, Blumier, I know. Timpani. Don't say another word. As long as I am with you, nothing else matters. Ah, uh, it's happening. Oh, said that. We must go, Timpani. Yes, Blumier. Uh, there were so many things I wanted to say to you, but I could not find the words. Oh, Blumier, only one thing matters to me now. I never had the chance to return your question. Blumier, do you still love me as well? Of course. I have thought about it through every moment since you disappeared. But I have caused you so much suffering. Perhaps my life would have been more carefree without you. That is true. But I had to be with you, Timpani. I will never apologize for that. I know, Blumier. And I do. And I love you. And I love you, Timpani. Hundreds of thousands of years from now, the fact will not have changed. Someone just said, saddest game about forbidden love between a vampire and a butterfly that I've ever seen. I know. I know, I've seen a lot of them. Everything's shaking, are we too late? Wait, wait, can you hear that? I hear bells. How lovely, the bells are giving their blessing to Tippy and, Be and Black. Binny, your Black is becoming the pawn shop guy from Star Wars Episode One. The pawn shop guy? His name is Watto. How do you- what the fuck? Never heard him described like that, ever. But now that you say it, I mean, you're right. Anyway, uh, yeah, so, that's nice, we, you know... True love saved the world, and- and that. Oh, little caveman fella. Knocking about, you know, with the dinosaur. Yeah. Gonna get that crag on. Oh shit, even these lads didn't fully die. Master Kickface. Timpani, do you remember the promise we made to each other that day? Yes, I remember. If there was a place where we could be happy together, we would find it. Will you come with me to that place now? Lumiere, of course, I will always be with you. Very Chrono Cross. In some ways. Oh, not really. Never mind. Bro. Big bro. You, you awake, bro? Oh, Nastasia's alive. Great leaping bog monkeys. Nastasia, she draws breath once again, lads. Nastasia! Oh, Nastasia and miracles, oh, miracles! Grogra, googly, googra! Whatever the fuck that just said. Hmm? Oh, I, I'm, I'm alive? Oh, yo, check it out! The void is closing. Yes, it's proof that the prophecy of destruction has not come to be. 
in all worlds have been saved. The Propcher has lost its power, thusly the world that was lost returns to Narmoser. You have done well, heroes. It is all thanks to you. But where is Chipper? I see, so she has gone. Oh, this too must have been under the guidance of the pure hearts. <laughs> Both Tippy and Count Black gone. What could have happened to them? I shudder to think about it, but surely when the prophecy is not fair. Was not, was not, oh no, um no. Um no, they're alive. Yeah, they're finally united. They overcame time and fulfilled their old vows. Somewhere, the Count is living together with Tippy in, um, happiness. And I, yeah, I, uh... Wah. Count, no! I'm all alone! What am I gonna do now? I know you mean, Anastasia! I believe in the kite is still alive, too! <laughs> And, and if he if he is alive, lost, we wouldn't want you to be shaming him with blubbering. Pull it together, eh? Oh, we have to create the ideal world that um the count wished for in his heart—a world of love, not war. Yeah, sure, okay. Yeah, let's all pencil that in. An appointment of hope. Farewell, our bitter sweets, but. As long as you live, you can never escape them. To feel sadness is to live, but as long as you are alive, the future is a blank pad. And with that, I am hungry. Merlin, what is it? Ah, Princess Peach. I am thinking of Chipper. I mean, La Lady Chimpernet. I wonder if she truly is happy now. Of course she is. Ho 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 ho! Yes, yes, of course! Well, let's have out those snacks. <laughs> so the dark prophecy was averted and peace reigned. The Dark Prognosticus again faded into history. Count Blumier and his love, Lady Timpany, both vanished. Where did the pair go? None know. And so the story of the Lost Book of Prophecies comes to an end. May we meet again in another time and place. Like Super Mario Paper Sticker Star. Apparently there's a post credit scene, so I'll just wait for that. You see, I like... Mm, I like the game. But you see, I like Mother 3 because it was willing to kill off characters. No, I mean, it's a, yeah, it's a Mario game. I'm just saying... You gotta be a little bit more careful if you're writing a Mario game. You can't, like, kill off a character. But they kind of just did, even though something tells me post credits are gonna change that a bit. Overall, though... I would say I liked the game. I got, like, a little done with it at times. Dementio died. Oh, okay. It's a, little, it's a little rough. It's a little rough. I mean, I get what they were doing. There's Charles. I, I get what they were doing, and uh, wow, three voices. They attempted something. They tried some new gameplay ideas. They tried some new story uh, narrative ideas. I like I liked the narrative. I like the characters, as I've said. I like the music. The setting was kind of cool. The Bowser stuff was great. Even some of the gameplay was all right too. I, I actually liked the pixel idea, and I liked um, jumping on enemies here and there. But you know, if you watch the stream and you did, you you saw when I got a little bored, and you saw what didn't really hit for me. I think um, there are people that hold this in high regard. I can see it. There are people that hold this in not so high regard. I can also see that. Glad I played it. Glad it's over. Good game. Not great, necessarily, for me. But I definitely liked a lot more of it than I disliked. And I feel it was a thoroughly enjoyable stream. Start to finish, despite some of the weaker moments. 
There's no Mother 3. But what is? You know what I mean? Coming, you know, playing Mother 3 and then going to Super Paper Mario like a month later. You know, what can you do? That's a, that's a hell of a motherfucking shift. Vinny, you had fun and that's what counts. Yeah, I'd, I'd say so. I'd say that it was... Is I. Right. Someone says I have a lot of nostalgic value for this game. I mean, nostalgia can add a couple points to a game score. Or many, many points. In my case, I, I have none of that nostalgia, so I was able to view it, you know, now. And, um... There they is. Well, I guess she wasn't a butterfly, or paper. And they live inside the moon of Majora's Mask. It's a, it's a, you know... It's a nice little story. Batteries are low. Well, crisis mode has been averted. Oh, rousing success. Max out your coins and then go to Francis. There's a ton of post-game stuff. Okay, I'll do the Francis thing and that's it. It's been a while. Thanks to all of you, this town, and indeed all towns, are now safe. Please accept my thanks. Now tell me of Tippy. Have you heard anything about her at all? I see her. Nor have I. It seems no one has seen Tippy at all. But somehow I can't shake the feeling that she is alive. Yes, alive. Alive and living somewhere happily, I am sure. Oh, ho, our tale almost seemed to turn sad there for a moment, didn't it? Well, you've been gone so long, there must be many people you still wish to see. Please take your time, I will be at home. Please come by if you feel the urge. Goodbye, my friends. You can find Blex minions wandering around Flipside. Which, um... Samur's Kingdom. Apparently you can do all 100 fights in Samur's Ki Kingdom. All you get are cards, so it's not worth it. Um, I just want to say rip Tetris tonight. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that, because it would only be a half hour of Tetris. Because I am trying to fix my sleep schedule. I'm sorry. I didn't know there was this much more. I thought the game, for sure, was just two hours more. Excuse me, we've gone... This is three we're hitting. These coins are just elusive now. Hey, what are you? What are you, what are you doing? Okay. I'm losing my fucking mind. We're good. We'll just go in there and talk to Francis, and then I'll check on the minions, and then I will probably, you know, end the stream a little early. Again, deepest apologies to anyone who's waiting for Tetris tonight. I did not foresee these consequences. Someone said, Vinny, would you say this game is comparable to previous Paper Mario, or, or is it, um... Is it its own thing? I think it's both. They did something different. Some of it paid off, some of it didn't really. Not for me, at least. And... It feels like Paper Mario, it sounds like Paper Mario sometimes. And the story's cool, and the writing is quirky, and you, you know, the, all that stuff. But yeah, it's... it's. If you're looking for Thousand Year Door 2, you're not gonna get it here. I see something super rare, I must own it! Ah, but trying to get a hold of a digital butterfly against her will landed me in the hospital. So I'm, um, I, I think I'm done with that stuff. This time I've harnessed my inner gear to create something beyond high technical. Dying to see it, aren't you? Behold! What the fuck? My masterpiece! A one-to-one -one scale replica of Tippy with real fluttering action. I like to call her Tiptron! Hey, that's not my name. I'm Tippy. Did you hear that? She can perfectly replicate Tippy's voice! 
Tiptron can even flutter. She's pretty much the pinnacle of high technicality. Tiptron earned me the coveted Elite Nier status on the Digibutter.Nier forums. Oh, would you be, uh, by any chance interested in buying her? I'm saving for Starship x naught issue number one, so I'll sell her for just 999 coins. This is a sweet deal on a super real collector. What do you say? Yeah, I knew you couldn't resist something this high technical. You're now the owner of the only Tiptron in the entire universe. That's interesting and also kind of funny how you love this thing and you boast about this thing and then you're willing to sell it. She looks and talks just like the real Tippy. Well, are you ready to go? Wow, okay. Well, that's how they get around that. You know, I can feel my creative juices inflating my brain. I have inspiration. Look out, world. High Technical will have a new name, and it'll be Tiptron MK2. This time, oh man, I'll make her twice as rare and collectible. Meow, maids. Master requires cheesy nibblums and the robotics lab. Meow, meow. That's Francis, a chameleon who lives for anime, games, and comics. He may not know a lot about a variety of subjects, but he's a master of geek lore. He constructed me. Constructed me. No, no, I'm Tippy. I wasn't constructed by anyone. Oh god, we were talking about the nature of consciousness earlier. What does it mean to be alive? Yeah, this, this is like a kind of a fucked up thing. And it's... Uh... Can he go to the dead world? Go see Merlin. Someone just said it's gonna suck when Vinny realizes he was constructed just to entertain us. Yeah, well they could have done a better job. I need an update. I need a firmware update. Especially in the memory department. I have, I have multiple memory leaks. If you think about it, all human beings have memory leaks and then eventually succumb to them. Oh, Chippy, is that you, Chippy? I... I... Oh, I see you're one of Francis's creations. Chippy was loved by many, wasn't she? Well, do care I'll take care of this one. I've been researching towns and other civilizations. I have a feeling there are hidden hints on how to make this world better. Tippy loved this world, and wherever she is, I know she wishes for its betterment. The world that you say. One thing I do like about games like this are when they end... ...with, um... ...you know, you save the world. Now you can explore the world after completion. You have to see everyone's reactions, maybe some of the things are a little different. It's... you know, that's that's better. I, I don't like it as much now, because when I'm done with a game, I'm pretty much just done with it. But when I was a kid, I would have liked it a lot more. Top floor of Flipside and Flopside and Merle's Mansion. I don't know if I want to do all that. Yep. Oh, the fish has little fish now. That's Gil's V. Five, sorry. Looks like the story... The, sorry, looks like the stork brought Captain Gills a few guppies. This is the runt of the family. He swims at his own pace and peeks at his siblings. So they, they all have their own descriptions. That's Gills Jr. Looks like the stork brought Captain Gills a few guppies. This is a strapping male. See how he watches his siblings with that protective gaze? But... Who... Wait a minute. What... Where... Whomst... did they... That's Gills too. Healthy female, patches things up when her siblings fight. It's the fish stork. Of course. Okay, so where are the, the minions, at least? Top floor... the top floor here? Okay, let's go to the top floor here, then. Oh, they're at top floor flip side and flop side and Merle's mansion. Okay. Did anyone actually collect all the cards in this game when they were younger? <laughs> tried? I, I see a lot of people saying, I tried to do that. Then you know, jump off the right side and head left. I know someone who did that for his Let's Play. It was quite fun if you farm Amazing Daisies, whose cards are worth a ton. Okay. Hey, where you been, eh? Good to see you eating healthy. Ah, oh, the kite's gone, but I'm still around, ain't they? Oh, this world be pretty nice, what with all the peace and whatnot. I like it. Oh, now I've see you've seen Nastasia. 
She was feeling right down, so I wanted to take her out to eat uh, some of the saffron vittles. <laughs> but I can't find her, I said! No, don't get in the wrong idea, eh? We're just chums. And I like to make me chums feel good and bubbly, eh? Ah, that's all. Looking at her being sad makes me get all weepy. So, <laughs> turns out our chunks is a really nice lad. But where is, um, where, where is Nastasha? She's at Merle? Or she's Flopside? Oh, man. The Flopside version of there. Alright. Okay. Is it this one or is it one on the left? I forget. Talk to Breadward. My only regret is that Breadward was, was never real this whole time. I've drawn the bread. I've had other people draw the bread. We've talked about the bread. We've created fake lore for the bread. I have a confession to make. Redword was my favorite pixel. Yeah, so, um, long time no see, huh? I guess I owe you one. Yeah, Bloomy Air was reunited with Lady Timpany and the world wasn't destroyed after all. I guess I should be happy. I mean, I am, but, um, I just don't think my heart has fully accepted the fact that he isn't here anymore. Now, I understand what it was like when Count- when Bloomy Air turned into Count Black. I have to live on with this feeling always burning inside me. Or, oh, okay, I see. I read that the wrong inflection. Yeah, then maybe there never was any point to that other world. I wonder if this is how I'll spend my, the remainder of my days. Yeah, or maybe I'll learn to smile again and look forward to the future. If I can't, then I suppose I could never have matched Lady Timpany anyway. Wow. Yeah, some pretty heavy themes in this game. For, you know, for Paper Fuck Mario. I know Paper Mario doesn't always shy away from some stuff that makes you think a bit, but scan her. Heard she was smoking hot, and man, was she ever. Yeah, the game got a little heavy, and Miyamoto was like, no, don't do that. I love Miyamoto. We all do, right? But... The misstep with the Paper Mario series is just baffling. I guess he saw that some people say they don't like him. You you go tell that to that nice man's face, and you see how you feel about yourself in the morning. But anyway, um, the whole thing with the Paper Mario series, I wonder if the sales dropped a bit and he was like, nope, get rid of the story. Miyamoto was influential, but he's out of his element. I, I, don't, I don't disagree with that, actually. I think that, yeah, there's... Dude's contributed a lot, but, you know, there's some decisions that are very questionable. That's Nastasia. She was once- I don't even know if it's Nastasia or Nastasia. I've been saying both interchangeably at random. It's been weird. She was once Count Black's close associate. Count Black was her reason for living. Wow. But she knew that at some point this day would come. She'll be okay eventually. To see his face, to hear his voice. She knows he- she can't. But yet, she pines. Vinny, it's literally a Japanese Club Nintendo survey where people voted they didn't care for the story in the Paper Mario games. You got a source on that? Wow. It was that people didn't mention the story in their surveys. I'm looking, there's someone possibly ha uh, got a source. With regard to the story, we did a survey over the Super Paper Mario game in Club Nintendo. Not even 1% said the story was interesting. A lot of people said that the flip move for switching between 2D, 3D dimensions was fun. Huh. Uh, fun? I mean, it's cool for a little while. It definitely has some... It adds to the, you know, the world a bit. And it... I mean, the whole game was built around it, but yet... At a certain point, I stopped thinking that was the cool part of the game. My line of work, I hear gossip, even gossip I don't give a hoot about. But who knows, somebody might care about this stuff. Maybe that somebody's you. If you ever want to talk, you know where to find me. In this spot, just a few coins to tell you some interesting stories. I'm not even kidding. Uh, no, I'm good. Well, let's check out one of them. You don't have enough coins. Oh, I don't have enough coins! No wonder! This guy wants coffee. Yeah, I find, like, the story... If I wasn't streaming this and I wasn't, like, finished with the game, Say this was years ago, I get it. You know, and I'm I'm like, oh, okay. This this game's kinda cool. I want to find out more about the world. That's the good shit. 
Someone says, even though this game was heavily flawed, I can't bring myself to hate it. The story still makes me emotional. It's probably the last true Paper Mario game we'll ever get. I think it's okay to acknowledge a game's flaws and not hate it. It's okay to realize Blade Runner is my favorite movie. That movie has some fucking problems. It's not a perfect movie, and I've showed it to people that have fallen asleep watching it. That's okay. I mean, d fucking de decision by consensus is not always enough. You know what I mean? It's like you can you can have a bunch of people decide that something is not great, and you can still love it. Why do you like the taste of a banana? Can you can you answer that? Like, you know what I mean? You just like it. <laughs> if you like Paper Mario, then you like Paper Mario. Good for you. I mean, I don't know. Being critical of your favorite things is a sign of your appreciation for it. Yeah, I mean, cynical is one thing. Critical's, I think, better. If if you can, and critical's a good, he's a good dude. Um, but <laughs> wait, what chapter am I going to? God damn it! Two two. Shit. I may as well. I'll check out Merle's mansion and then I'll just, you know, we'll end the stream there. At that point. Sorry about that. Sorry for wasting time. Vinny, um, I have a lot of nostalgia for this game. Seeing you play it really made me realize that we really do see everything as amazing when we're kids. I still love this game, though. Definitely the last good Super Paper Mario. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Well, not everything, but when you play something, it's no secret that a lot of the chat is a little younger than me. I was a little older when the game came out. I don't even know how old I was. Like, 21 when the game came out? And I didn't play it then, and I still probably would have liked it. But if you're like seven and you play this game, or ten or whatever, there's gonna be... ...more room. I think you're gonna find things... ...you're more forgiving of the stuff you don't like. And I got plenty of games like that. Secret of Mana I thought was the best game ever made. When I replayed Secret of Mana, I... Got really bored. I love it, still. I still love it. I still enjoyed a lot of it. But there are some sections of that game that go on and on, and it did have a troubled development cycle. There was, you know, it was supposed to be for an add-on, and they had to, like, kind of finish it for the Super Nintendo as is. So there's some issues that were actually just development issues. But yeah, it gets a little bit samey, it gets a little bit boring, and it's not as fun to watch as I thought it would be. And when I streamed it, people liked it, and other people didn't. It's like, oh, okay, alright, I just thought this was the best game ever, because I played it at 8. Oh, and the other thing is, too, some games age poorer in retrospect because of other games that have done similar things better. And that's just life. That's life. Well, hi there. Big welcome. Welcome to Merle's Mansion. I'm Lady Merle's Handmaid. My name's Mimi. But you can call me Mimi Kins if you want. Teehee. So, are you surprised or what? Merle hired me on for real for real this time. You gotta take care of the place while she's gone. She's usually in Flopside, so I just pretend like this whole place is mine. Take a look. I'm turning this place into my own little stable of cutie pies. What do you mean, stable of cutie pies? That's Mimi. She was a servant of Count Black who really loathed Mario and Co. It appears her long-term plan is to create a stable of cute men to command. I believe she's raising funds by making a cutie pie video game in a cutie pie cafe. That Count may be gone, but her ambitions live on. Count may be... Is she a pimp? I have a perfect sound for this. Manslave! Where- where can I go to see her- her manslaves? There were some really clever puzzles in this game that I- I quite enjoyed. And then some were just, you know, point the Wiimote at the screen. Subway. Eat dick. Who's your favorite character? Luigi? No, Bowser's my favorite character. Of the new characters... I feel bad for... Anastasia. Oh, Chunks is... I, I don't... I, I mean, he's a big silly... I hated her at first, but then she... Yeah, she grew on me. Um, also, you like this cool cool thing that's happening here? Her, 
her story is sad. Um, who else? Uh, oh, Chunks is a big silly man. I get why people like him, but he, he wasn't my favorite. Wow. So, so glad I spent all this time to get that. But you know what? It's symbolic. It's chapter 2-3 for the man-slaves. Is it even worth seeing the man-slaves? What, what do the man-slaves look like? You've already seen them? Why do I- like, why do I want to see the man-slaves? What the fuck? What was your single favorite moment from this game? Probably falling down that pit four fucking times in a row. Um... I don't know, I like the Francis chapter. I liked when the Samur guys were killed. And the world turned blank. I liked when it was over. Not in a, you know, not in a bad way. I mean, like, the ending was good. I'd say that all the little twists at the end... <laughs> all the twists at the end were nice. I liked the Dementio stuff and the, the, the love story thing that was actually kind of alright. Count Bleck turning good. 7-4 for music you'll never hear in the rest of the game. 7-4 for something really interesting. I swear on me, Jacobs, this is the last thing I'm doing in this game. Oh boy. This music? This is what- Where? You have to go to the end? Go to the last room? How long would that take? You built the bridge already? Yeah, I guess I did build the bridge already, but I don't even know where it is. Fucking game. Fucking hell, mate. Fucking hell. Someone said I hope he the controller dies before he gets there so we can end the fucking game. Someone said we could have been playing Tetris. Even if the end of the game was where I stopped playing, the Tetris would have been... Nyetris. So this is new music. Good, good, useful level up there. Greetings, how art thou? Ha <laughs> thou hast a very confused look on thy countenance. Thou art wondering how I return to life? We all! That is a secret. <laughs> Just kidding. Truth be told, I know not. But who careth? I am back. Mother and father hath... Yeah, no consequences, the game. Um, that's not true. Uh, yeah, a little bit true. Mother and father hath been all over me since my return. They are so clingy. I guess it's my fault for being so cute. Well, thou should come play whenever. Mother, father, and I are always hither. Thou hast done an amazing job. Such truly amazing work. Thou hast saved all worlds. Love be hath returned. Uh, we owe thee so much. Thank thee. The only person who really died is Dementio. Yeah, that's true. I heard the news and came running. I saw a love bee. I could not believe it. Someone said I thought she was dead for 12 years. Well, now you know. It's a miracle. I feel such anguish that we put this child through so much. Now we are going to make it up for her. Uh, it, make up for it all by loving her as much as we can. We owe it all to you for saving all of the worlds. Thank you very much. Be sure to come see me when your games end. I will tip the scales in your favor. That's Love Bee, a nimby girl, daughter, what? You're asking if she was actually a pure heart? Forget about such details. Look at that smiling face. Just don't worry about it. She's fine. Technically, all three of these characters are dead. Good point. Well, what a nice way to end the game. You know what? I have a better way to end the game. Pretty good, right? You know, this has been... This has been very interesting, overall. And I'm gonna say that I'm glad I played through it. But yet, throughout all of this, there is, um... There is one order of business that remains.
finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? Walked right into that Imperial ambush, same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you, Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Almost got that perfect. Empire was nice. You know, if it was the audio, if I just kind of like started the audio here and then. Yeah, that would have been perfect. Shit. I was like trying to do that on the fly real quick, like super quick to get it ready in time. Anyway, um, thanks for watching.